Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. We are here with, uh, well, they're not, uh, they're right here. With Hatchet. Will you stop, spray Will you stop spraying my ass? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to read the message about this job. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is a power washer. <laughs> Boy, are we Wait. glad you're here. We all woke up this morning to find our house is completely covered in dirt, and none of us can figure out how. Absolutely nothing happened last night, except for the surprise birthday party for my pet snail, Gary. It was amazing. Everyone showed up, even the two worms from Rock Bottom, and the, and the sea monkeys, and Dennis. <laughs> we probably made most mess by... We probably made the most mess by anyone ever, but we definitely cleaned up afterwards. Or did I fall asleep and dream that bit? Anyway, our neighbor Squidward blames us. He says that if his house isn't cleaned by the time he gets home by making comedy history at the gala, then he'll do something that we'll all regret. If you clean all three, we'll give you all the Krabby Patties you can eat. I'm sure Mr. Krabs won't mind. Maybe. Oh, thank you, Sapphire underscore Rose, uh, for following. I'm trying to think while while I was setting up, had like two people follow, and then a ah. new person follow right now. Wait, I just realized does my follower? I think my follower uh, alert isn't working. Oh no. Because it should have just popped up because I got another follower, Cameron Kovola, and Witch of Sky. Oh, and also Sapphire Rosa, if you're um, lurking just to uh, help viewer count, very much appreciated. Yeah. But here's a tip. Don't mute the stream itself. Because that will actually make it so that you're not counted. Mute, like, the tab. Yeah. And it was Patrick Star says, I think Derek came here because it wanted to. Shit. If it was dirt, I, I'd want to live here. And I want all my friends to live here with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to see if I can figure out what went wrong with my... Uh, follower notification. Okay. <laughs> you too long. You you fucking drew a penis, didn't you? No. Fuck a juvenile sack of shit. <laughs> See, I'm washing something else right now. Will you stop washing me? I see <laughs> that I'm being moved. But do you see where I'm washing you? <laughs> I'm guessing in the dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, can test alert. Okay, I guess it is coming through, and I just didn't notice it at the time. Wow. I'm I'm just a dingus. That that explains a lot actually. <laughs> Let me check something. Okay, so I turned off audio output capture, which means uh they cannot hear you for the moment, right? Yay, I can see penis as much as I want. You're still live on your channel, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> yeah, but my channel doesn't care. Okay, so it is working. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just dumb. The, the simple solution was that I am just dumb. Holy shit! For once, I'm not the one dumb one. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Okay. Alright, everything should be working now. I cleaned the box. Congratulations. Hey, look behind Squidward's house. Give me something weird. <laughs> Make sure I have the proper nozzle on so I can like, <laughs> fucking clean up this bullshit. It has pubes. <laughs> Wow, that's really st the fucking gunk is really stuck on there. I'm just waiting to be bonked. You deserve to be harmed immensely. I'm into that. Not in that kind of way. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! That startled me. Are you okay? Remember last time when I kept pressing F on this house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess you've got Patrick's rock. Yeah, I got this area. Okay, then I'll get the Spanish Bog's house. All right, before I continue doing any more, I thought this was bullshit. I thought this was insanely bullshit, but apparently it's true. All right. Orgasms are effective as medicine at treating a blocked or snotty nose. According to an award-winning study, having an orgasm with a partner may help with congestion, a small study found. The research team won an IG Nobel Prize for their quirky inquiry. Oh. It is true. I thought it was bullshit. I guess I can kind of see how that makes sense. <laughs> but it sounds so weird that it's true. And does that work for like every animal or just us? <laughs> it startles you every time. I should. <laughs> Robin said in my chat, I should call him after you said that. <laughs> the power of the washer. Yeah, that sucks for me, though. Uh, I constantly am congested because a lot of people in my family have allergies to uh pollen <laughs> uh, I, I don't have it as bad as they do i'm just I have a runny nose all the time yeah that sucks just post shower my hair is long so it's everywhere yeah yeah so that means since I'm constantly congested, I just need to have a lot of sex. I was gonna say something, but I think I'm just gonna not. <laughs> it was scientifically proven. I mean, yeah, I, I get that much. I just am not interested in discussing this. My brain says no. Because your weird, pointlessly horny ant picks sometimes hit my brain a little odd. <laughs> and I don't know what to say. <laughs> Reading okay, to me it's... over explaining. Yeah, it still bothers me about Patrick's TV, because Patrick's TV most of the time was made out of sand. <laughs> yeah, most of his stuff is made out of sand in a lot of episodes. Yeah. At least the grime on top of the pineapple isn't that bad. Yeah. Coming off with the lowest setting.
think I'm getting the inside first before going the outside. Oh, eh? What have you considered? Fuck you. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Is like it sex. I'm going shit. on the inside instead of the outside first. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Is it a pineapple or is it just shaped like one? I mean, I think it's a pineapple. Yeah, Pat uh, SpongeBob's. I almost said Patrick's house. SpongeBob's house is a pineapple. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what your new followers think of me. <laughs> this is the maddest shit I say. <laughs> I have to imagine they think the same things as I think. What the fuck? <laughs> I think it rot pretty quickly, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, maybe, come to think of it, yeah, maybe Spongebob's house is actually, like, like an aquarium decoration. That could be true. Because, like, that would make more sense why it hasn't rotted at any point. Well, I guess it does actually rot at certain times during the series. Yeah. But it goes back to normal. <laughs> Leave your fan theory as to how... SpongeBob's house doesn't constantly rot in the comment section. There's no comment section. This is a stream. Yeah. Awesome. There, I mean, there is a, a theory saying, like, both with everyone in, in Bikini Bottom as well as some of the houses not rotting or whatever, is that because of nuclear radiation? Is it, it's right under Bikini mean, yeah. Atoll. If I was there, I want to yeah. live here too, Patrick's a Spongebob. Who was that in your chat? No, I'm reading the thing that's popping up. Anyways, I'll, I'll, oh, okay. and I want you to live right down the way. <laughs> yeah, if Spongebob was actually in my chat, that would be insane. And I'd want a dirty little squid flirt to live just next door. SpongeBob! <laughs> SpongeBob's a lot more questionable in person. Yeah. Radioactive <laughs> bikini bottoms. What is the hinge attached to? The rack. And sand, apparently. <laughs> Magic. Okay, I got the inside pretty much done. Ah, yes. Sand. The mighty holder says BLJs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? Um, I'm probably the most horny asexual you'll probably find. Bikini bottom sounds like a bloody gay af- Why did I say- Why did I start to say African? Californian guy. <laughs> in fish- Fish net tank tops and short shorts. This just <laughs> SpongeBob's from Africa. That's not how that works. <laughs> ah, it's so peaceful.
Wait a minute. I just said it. I had a thought. In order to get there, in order to prove the fact that orgasms can clear sciences, they had to test it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's 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 how science works. <laughs> so they probably just got a bunch of people to have sex and <laughs> just noses. <laughs> well, I don't know if they do sex. It's probably just a uh, masturbation. <laughs> probably more controllable. Now the real question is: Is do they watch? <laughs> uh, Robin in my chat says, "Bright, you definitely are not the most lewd asexual I know." Uh, totally can, and Loken three two one two are far more lewd. Ah, uh, also, PLJ says no reason it can't be a team activity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure that every single pineapple leaf on the top of this goddamn pineapple is spotless <laughs> before I touch anything else. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the right voice. It's Three hours later. Yeah, and you're just like spraying this one leaf the entire time. Where the fuck is the dirt? Badger's house isn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we finish Tomb... Not finish... Sp if... Not Tomb Raider. If we finish Spongebob, we can... Hit, and s still want to keep going, we can go to Tomb Raider. Because we haven't finished it yet. Yeah. Cody Lycan is very... Asexual, but literally has a cotton... <laughs> Pussy cold? What the fuck? Okay. That's a thing I just read with my eyeballs. What? I wanna- I wanna hear it. I just read it out loud. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Why did you- uh, I'm not reading it again. If Robin wants you to know, they can go tell you in your chat. <laughs> 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 like, I'm not reading this bullshit. Is it worse than what I'd say, or is it better? It's a thing. It literally framed his whole channel about that cult. So a lot of these are probably just going to be like... Yes! Got it! Alright. Edgy. Yep. Me cleaned. Alright, let me check. Yep, the only thing that's left for Patrick is... His trash cans. Wait, does Patrick actually have trash cans next to his house? I don't remember. Because I barely was allowed to watch Spongebob instead of I watched something else. <laughs> Wait, Robin messaged something. He can come tell you in his chat. I'm talking about Cody Lycan, a extra, extra lewd bottom who literally has a cotton candy bussy cult, which he hated at first but now embraced. Oh. Based on how some spicy uses trash cans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if there's one episode of Patrick becomes a clean freak. <laughs> Instead of being lazy. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now what I was I had to watch instead of SpongeBob. <laughs> Which is probably worse. <laughs> yeah. And one of them is one of the things I had to watch, but uh, two of them actually, instead of SpongeBob to watch, I still like to this day. Which is, uh, Campione and Data Live. Yeah, Data Live is. I, I remember Campione being pretty, uh, lackluster, in my honest opinion. But, yeah, it's fair. Um, but Data Live, I, I still go back to it occasionally. It's still it's going, by the way. They, they add, started adding new seasons. Oh, have they? Yeah. Too bad I don't have Crunchyroll. So I'll just use a different site. <laughs> and all of a sudden you get like a lawsuit in the mail. <laughs> like, hey, you have to use this site. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's like new spirits too. I won't spoil anything. Well... I mean, it, it seemed kind of stupid if they didn't have more spirits show up. Yeah, that's... Okay, I think all of the leaves are clean. I can't wait till Hatch gets his... It gets his Garfish slash Gator model VTuber soon. Then he'll have a VTuber just like you, says Robin. Well, PNG tuber, but yeah. Yeah. I forgot how much tab can be a seizure warning when hitting it. What shows like all orange everywhere? I really switching between oh, yeah. your streams. It's fun to bounce back and forth. It says Robin. Eh. Oh yeah, Robin in my chat a little bit ago said Bright is amazing. I love her. She's my friend now, and we're having soft tacos later. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, th there was one scene that I that was confused as a child, but when I grew up, I was like, oh, <laughs> glad I was confused. It was like in Campione where um, where he uses, I think, the Ram ability. And let's just say it gets real spicy. <laughs> yes, I remember. Yeah. Put down, Evan. Oh, hold on. Wow. Well, rep. Brighted by people with dogs, I imagine. Okay. And then it was just my chat. I really should have opened Bright's chat and have that open on my, on my second monitor as well. I guess now is as good a time as any. Itch. Oh, chat. Oh, I can hear myself through bright stream. Oh, no. There we go. Alright, now I can see what you motherfuckers are doing in Bright's chat as well. 
You will not escape my sight. All right, I'm back. Apparently there was a problem with the doggos. Oh my god, why are you so loud? Wait, what? You were like really loud and like... Uh, your mic was... Uh... Like, peeking the mic for a sec. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, it's still doing it. I think it's still doing it. It is? Oh my god, hold on. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello. A am I still bad? Was there an internet problem? I don't know. No, I just you saw... sound good now. It, it, the mic was in the red. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know what it was. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing some lag in game. Not as much as as before when we did this. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I still love messing with the door with that lag. Imagine how many friends you'd have if you were uh, were at dirt. <laughs> Says Patrick. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> SpongeBob would be my best friend if he was a dirt. <laughs> Why can't I pick up the scaffolding? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm lagging. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> you picked up the ladder. <laughs> oh, you, you placed it, but it's in your hand right now. Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got a bunch of lag going on for whatever reason. Yeah, let me make sure my stream's going okay. Oh my god, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that might explain. Is your internet fucking up? Oh wait. It's slowly turning back to normal. God damn it, computer! <laughs> I found out the issue. What we? What was the issue? My computer connected to the neighbor's free Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I just switched back to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, yep, lag's gone. <laughs> what the fuck? It was because I was on the neighbor's Wi Fi. <laughs> that has to be clear. Anything but Xfinity. <laughs> anything but Xfinity. I can't go back there again. I'm the most efficient yes, pineapple cleaner. Soft tacos some clothes if you want. Yeah, I'll take it. Bottom. <laughs> I am the most efficient pineapple cleaner this side of the bikini bottom. I want to go to Squidward's house after so I finish the boardwalk area. But this is my area, you sack of shite. I'm helping. Fuck you. Yeah, so what? You're cleaning my area. That's my dirt to clean, not your dirt. 
those poor people were probably in the middle of a really interesting movie. You tanked their conversation. <laughs> There we go, path cleaned. Fuck you. <laughs> nice. Oh, down to two viewers. We spray a pineapple. And I still can't unsee I mean the I... fact that Squidward's uh, house's nose and the, and the eye holes look like a penis. Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can't even see it. Well, you can. Well, you may not be able to unsee it, but you could at least not say it. Why? Everyone deserves to know. I don't want to think about Squidward's penis house. <laughs> Why is my phone on the ground? What the fuck? I wanted to escape you. I can't blame it. Wait, what? <laughs> yes, there was a joke the last time we played Power Wash Sim in which Bright pointed out that if you think about it, that looks pretty phallic like an upside down penis. That was the whole joke. Because Bright's a bastard. Wait, hold on. Oh is... no, the scaffolding's fucked. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> we. Scaffolding's so fucked. We. Where's the scaffolding? Uh, I mean, it started out like over here, so I guess try looking for that. Can we, like, pick it up? I wasn't able to pick up the scaffolding any longer. I guess we can only use the ladder now. <laughs> just great. Either that or it could just reload the job. Yeah, we could. I am the best pineapple cleaner. Yes, I clean the sh I clean the shaft. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Sounds like, yeah, for some reason, um, Brody, one of the dogs I have, is getting defensive all of a sudden. That's odd. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. Anything change in, like, Brody's general routine? Now? As far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Can I get it from up here? God damn it, I can. But I fell off. This pineapple will be the cleanest pineapple in the entire world when I'm done with it. Kinky. What? <laughs> you just say things. No rhyme or reason. You just say them. Why? Because I can. <laughs>
That's just the thing. I can actually can use the scaffolding to get up and down places, at least. Wait, you can use it, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> that is some bullshit. I think it's because, like, a big burst of lag happened while I was holding it. SpongeBob is SpongeBob is garage door reef blower. Bring, bring and wash them down at the God, I can't get under this water. goddamn. Mm -mm. I wish I could play this with my boyfriend. He has it on his Xbox. Gods, I'd love to play more games than just Minecraft with him. Yeah, that's valid. That's very valid. Okay. Why is this reef blower so finicky? What is going on? I think I just heard Gary inside this house. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're messing with the dogs downstairs while watching sports. I can hear them bark. Damn. Yeah, I could hear them for a sec, too. Oh, yep, there's a bork. <laughs> I don't think it's Busta barking, though. He rarely ever barks. Ye. It's all coming back to me now. We did clean up last night. This is SpongeBob. Okay. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah. Also, is the implication that SpongeBob got drunk? Maybe. Gary and I got our second wind and tackled the stubborn stains and Patrick's... Oh, hold on. Patrick, steam, sleep clean the follower. rest of the reef blower. Go team. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And Patrick, sleep cleaned. <laughs> Back. Why doth thou sayeth fuck? It's only using the ladder instead of scaffolding is a bit difficult. Ah, uh, I get you. Have you considered reloading the job? I guess we can do that. Just let me finish this front door. That does not help. <laughs> Wait, where does this front door have dirt on it? Will you? <laughs> Stop. Yeah, if you listen closely, you can hear Gary inside. Where is the dirt on the front door? And he got uh, it. I guess it was there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, I guess reload the job. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh shit, I actually quit the game. Oh, you dipshit. <laughs> I quit the game. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, Icarus Rising. Yes. Much appreciated. You're becoming more popular. <laughs> I'm up to 53 followers, probably 54 with Icarus. Following. What the fuck? God damn it, Outplayed. <laughs> Stop recording without my permission. <laughs> Don't you know it's illegal to record us without our permission, Outplayed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me get in and then I can get you the code. Okay. Crossplay. Confirm. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Zero four one. Oh, I was thinking you were just gonna send it via Discord. N no, uh, zero four one. Nine five nine one. Got it? Okay, yep. Yeah. Or someone who uses this. <laughs> Why does your follow button sound like a guy who says the fatality in Mortal Kombat? Uh, well, that was like me doing a deeper version of my Halo announcer voice. Flayer. Lost the lead. Gain the lead. There we go. I can finally use the scaffolding. Congratulations. You are now scaffolding certified. What does that mean? It means you're certified to use your scaffolding. What do you <laughs> think it means? Imagine, like, in order to even do construction work, you had to be, <laughs> like, ladder and scaffolding certified. <laughs> I'm gonna need to see a certification for that hammer. <laughs> Just bureaucracy going so fucking absurdly too far that you have to get a certification for literally every single tool that isn't a foam mallet. Yeah. Halo announcer voice sounds like Melboro. <laughs> Melboro's sig, sig smoker who does radio talk shows. Finally, I got the eyeballs. Now I got the balls and the shaft done. Will you shut up? <laughs> Why do I do this with you? Because you love me. I could be playing Morrowind or Oblivion right now. I don't need to keep thinking about fucking Squidward's house as phallic. <laughs> or how you can take one letter away from the from the jump bucket and make it something else. Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they can't seem to get any sales. <laughs> yeah, they only get sales at night. <laughs> yeah, they need to they need to change their fucking marketing instead of like trying to compete with the crusty crab, just turn into a gay bar. <laughs> yeah. Problem solved.
Oh, shit. I need to bring my, my chat back up so I can see it. Oh, you're gonna come back. Oh, up shit. Up. I just realized what time it is. I need to get what their second co host, which is Busta. So I'll be oh, right okay. back. Oh, God. I almost hit the blue switch scene. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be back. Alright. While Bright goes and gets a good boy, I shall make SpongeBob's house spotless. I love that you can hear Gary meowing inside. Pineapple panels are clean. Two out of the forty pineapple panels are clean. One out of the or all the one to the left. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. There we go. Bottom pineapple panels. Uh, porthole frames? Porthole frame doesn't clean cover this one. Yep. I think everything on Spongebob's house is clean. Now we just gotta finish up stuff on Woodward's house. Oh yeah. I shall now try to finish up my cream cheese one times. Bright clean Squidward door, but she didn't clean the door alcove. Friggin dingus. I'm just gonna put this back over here. I think it's gonna get in the way. And now oh, there's a problem. Hello. Hey, witch. Hell hi, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> don't clear. I still don't understand the purpose of the Oh god damn it. I 
Let's see if I remember the code. Isn't that a thing? Yeah, um, H-E-L, Hell, is the goddess of death. And one of Loki's children. A different thing, as far as I know. Yeah, Hell is, I mean, Helheim is named after Hell. No, yeah, there's no way I guess that. Okay, so now I guess we wait for Bright to get back. I guess it's a good time for me to finish my supper. So yeah, how's everyone in chat today? Both chats. I have both chats open, so how's everyone in both chats doing? How are you? I'm doing all right. My sleep schedule has taken a nose dive into Randomville, but I'm doing all right. Playing Pokey Clicker, being a bum, lol. That's valid, BL. BLJ. I should say, if I just say BL, it sounds like I'm talking about fucking Yowie. Which, to be fair, I might want to, but it doesn't sound like I'm talking about a person. Hell becomes good in What If Episode 7 of Season Two, I watched it. It was amazing. I don't think I've ever heard of that show. Ah, uh, okay. You might want to. <laughs> I'm back. I thought you that stuff as much. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, Robin, I watch almost every genre of, like, <laughs> so. Oh, this is interesting what to come is... back to. Yeah, by the way, I got disconnected. What's the code? Yeah, so, um... I found out why Brody was so oh. upset. What's up? Apparently, I I'll say after code. 043 7464 Yeah, but apparently um there's a frog horde outside my house. <laughs> And he oh, wanted to go after the frogs. That'll do it. However, I, as the leader of stacking frogs, literally caught as many as I could and moved them away. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. Assuming they're not an invasive species. 
I uh, know, they're... I, I got so addicted to like the frogs when I first started stacking them. No, they're, they're, they're regular frogs. From my state. Yeah. Also, her BRB screen is giving me anxiety. A candle should never be that close to a monitor. <laughs> Damn bright. I'm better at reading your chat than you are at reading your chat. I just got back playing Pokey Clicker being a bum. <laughs> what the hell is Pokey no Clicker? No excuses, bright. I mean, it sounds familiar. I have Let's not. See, the only so clicker game I play is Cookie it's, Clicker. Uh, it's Marvel. If it was a Marvel alternative timeline, too. Oh, right. Okay. I think I've seen that on Disney+. Plus. What? I'm uh, talking about stuff that's in my chat. I keep hitting E instead of W to go forward. So I'm guessing the way that the multi-purpose cleaner works is you just go around and spray everything a bit, and it'll make it so that when you actually power wash, it comes off easier. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't used. I've never used any of the cleaners. No, it doesn't seem to be coming off any easier. Gods, I miss watching things on Disney Plus. Now it having Doctor Who makes me even more sad. Yeah. I recently got Disney Plus because I convinced my mom that it'd be good for us to have it so that she can watch Nat Geo and stuff. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But speaking of Disney Plus and stuff, um, you know how Xfinity has like the cable is like a cable company, mainly. Yeah. I no longer am using Xfinity. Oh, nice. Yeah, mainly because I don't really watch cable. I mean, yeah. like the Disney, Netflix, Crunchyroll. <laughs> yeah, those those old-fashioned cable companies are really struggling right now. Which is kind of fine, because cable sucks. Yeah. Also, ex also I'm kind of glad Xfinity is having issues, because I think watching a video about them they're really awful to people or something they're a company under capitalism they're gonna be awful to people <laughs> but i'm guessing this is talking above and beyond yeah not as bad as yeah. ea because holy shit ea oh, <laughs> no one watches 300 channels they usually have five to eight they usually stick to are you yeah. reading my chat again it just popped up i mean yeah i will read your chat again because i have it open it Fuck just you. popped up i was about to read it you son of a bitch <laughs> well too bad i beat you to it you sack of shit get better <laughs> we just all of a sudden start fighting over who gets to read my chat <laughs> no, it'd be better if I just start reading your chat and you only read my chat. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hatch. Thank you. And that's how they are friends. And that's how we know they are friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the dirt was dealt with, but our houses are all filthy again. By the time we woke up, that can only mean one thing. We're off the hook. <laughs> yes, watch that.
cardboard butt back bottom of house. <laughs> My favorite part to clean is Squidward's house's asshole. I could I just cleaned the pubes. Oh shit. What? <laughs> yeah, cuz the, the eyes and the and the nose are the penis and the back is the pubes. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's see, the top of that ear is probably still pretty gunky. Yeah, I cleaned the very top of the head, though. Gotcha. Yeah, we actually yes. get... <laughs> that hatch would be a plus. Also, we're going through this a lot faster than I thought we would. Yeah, I mean, it's not that difficult to clean. Especially if, like, everything's not lagging to shit. <laughs> Plus, when we did this, like, with Alien Corpse, uh, we were goofing off a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were playing with Corpse Husband. No, I'm kidding. We're not. We, we're not. We didn't. No. <laughs> Actually, I think we quit. We're not, not Corpse. Undead. <laughs> I say corpse. Hatch talking about hatches. Hatchception. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think from what I saw, I think they quit you. Quit YouTube. Who? Corpse husband. Yeah, or something. They quit something. I forgot what it was. Because hmm. there was a video about him leaving. So, because I think he was hmm. being attacked or something like that on social media. Probably one of the least surprising things you could ever say. Yeah. This big content creator was attacked on social media. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you know that Jacks up the guy is is slowly not uh doing YouTube much anymore? Oh, really? Yeah, he's he literally made a video about it saying how he's not going to post as much uploads as much as he used to and stuff like that. Huh. Just wanted to focus on other things, I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean, um, he does have a girlfriend and everything. I had her trying to focus on family. I didn't fully watch it, though. Something I've been meaning to do. Uh. Wait, Corpse Husband? You know him? Yeah, no, not, not in reality. I was mixing up a friend that we have that's called Undead Rider. And in my brain, what the I fuck? called them Corpse. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that wasn't me that time. Because <laughs> my internet's fine. <laughs> what the fuck happened? You're the... Well, I mean, you're the host, so what... It had to have been your internet that fucked up. OPS says I'm fine. Discord says I'm fine. Did the game just fuck up? I don't know. I'm fine on my end, too. He's literally my age, 33. And got brain leak and so many other things too. All right. Anyway, here's the code. You ready? I'm ready. Zero four seven. Zero four seven. Eight one zero oh, nine. Eight one zero oh, nine. All right. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. By the way. Catch it. Did you know that the number six is six is afraid of seven? I'm not going to continue that. <laughs> you know the joke. No shit, I know the joke. 
What do you take me for? A sixth grader? No, not even sixth grader. A third grader? Oh yeah, bro. What? Why? Why? Why is six scared of seven? Is because? Is it because seven, eight, nine? Bright? Is it because seven, eight, nine? I don't hear an answer, Bright. <laughs> Possibly. Is it because seven, eight, nine? <laughs> no. It's because seven is a convicted felon. What was he charged of? Eating nine? Tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog knows that fucking joke. Aliens from 1600s know that joke. So I guess the ears are done. Got it. Oh, I guess I missed part of that frame. Rip. Yeah. All that stuff is the head. Yeah. Oh, I'm hitting orange. It's right near you. <laughs> yeah, there's there's some orange around here. Oh, god damn it. Hell, people in ancient Greece might know that joke. <laughs> Actually, probably not, since uh, the numeric system we use is the Arabic system. So they probably wouldn't have known that joke, because it's based in the Arabic system. There has to be a like a patch of dirt somewhere. I thought there was some up towards the dome. But I'm I'm just constantly pressing the button and cleaning where I see some dirt. Oh, I see where it is. Where? It's like on the top. There's this like thin dirt line. Oh, yeah. On like the tippy top of the head? Yeah. Hmm. Got it! Yeah! And there we go. <laughs> I love how you can actually see us fucking uh, vanish and show back up elsewhere every now and then. Oh my gosh, the scaffolding and the ladders weren't on the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just they don't show. Yeah, they tend to not show those so that we can actually see the whole place. Yeah. Anyways, continue. The Bikini Bottom Bus. Anyway, now I'm going to introduce myself. Squidward ten Testicles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> tentacles. Squidward Tonkalonkosols. <laughs> Artist extraordinaire. Petrucioso. Carinesta. Cultivator of taste and talent. Pleased to meet you. I'm looking for an... NC Wincy favor before you split town. You see, the Bikini Bottom Gala Night is being held at Fancy. Th that's an interesting place. <laughs> this evening, and I plan to showcase some of my most accessible stand up comedy. Wait, so oh, was no. a comedian? I think there was like one episode about it. Yeah. I'll be warming up the audience with some one liners to begin with. And and so tried a few out on the bus into town, but just as I was getting into my flow state, the bus driver inexplicably let go of the wheel, and covered his ears. 
I guess he must have felt some kind of rapid onset ear infection. <laughs> Consequently, the bus careened straight off a cliff and down the incalculable distance into Crush County. Luckily, it soft landed in the sludge and survived the immense pressure and journey back, but we need to clean it up so I can write it back in time for my set. If you can fit us in, I'll tell you my best joke. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, you should be able to take with me. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm being sucked along. Oh, oh so my it's God. just It's just Wait. this bus. Look. Candy. Would you like some kelp? Candy. Or zazz? No. Or no, I, I want some. I want some. What is that? Tease? <laughs> I, I, that's why I said the penis. <laughs> no wonder we don't have many. Or God's the amount of mugs that are left in the basement for like weeks on end is insane. No matter. No wonder we don't have many upstairs. Oh my I'm gosh. Crazy. There's something Please that's bothering me. Hatchet, look at the letters. Oh, 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 God, no. No. I, okay, I'm gonna, you, I never saw that. You Let's don't like that? Fucking bus. Okay, no, you're kid, doing I it. I don't like that. Perfect, here's my best joke. <laughs> Nothing is said. <laughs> oh my god. What's gray has eight legs, nine brains, and dies after mating? What the fuck? I, I don't know. Uh, what? I would have no idea. Oh no, wrong book. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I love how we're down in the deep sea trench for this one. Oh, that's friggin' trippy. What? Bright, look up. Oh, wow. Imagine how much programming they had to do to, to do that. I mean, I don't know. My virginity, a response to that question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a sea creature that can do that. Well, he did say wrong book, so he's probably looking at some random bullshit. There's a creature with nine brains or something like that? I don't know, I want to put it past it. Yeah, it has gray, eight legs, and nine brains. Dies after mating. The only animal I can think of that dies after mating is like the prey mantis, because you know cannibalism, <laughs> and uh, spiders. Because cannibalism. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. What book was that? I don't know. Oh no! Gray eight legs. That might just be talking about an octopus, which is to say Squidward. Knife sack of an octopus. Is this brain. someone's idea of a joke? Who gave me this? Wait, octopuses have oh, nine yeah. brains? I don't know. You're supposed to be a sea life expert. I focus on fish, not fucking <laughs> cephalopods. <laughs> and I ain't an expert. Hell, I probably know more about freshwater fish than marine life on average. Why is my phone going off a lot tonight? Because fuck you. Fuck you.
Got it. Oh, got the bottom of the box? Yeah. Oh, Squidward says found it. Oh, great. How does a pirate ask another pirate what regional accent it has? Are you Danish? I don't know. Same. How are you? That would... Uh... <laughs> It'd make more sense to say, like, Where are you from? No, no, that's terrible. Stay with me. <laughs> This feels very out of character for Squidward. Yes, it does. Unless we became Squidward's friends. That doesn't seem likely. Considering we're just two random power wash fish. Yeah, I still remember that one episode where he realizes he cannot be in a place without Spongebob. <laughs> ah, ah, here it is. My greatest joke. This is definitely it. Oh, it says, what's your favorite fish other than a gar? That's the thing. Is like, I, like, even gars aren't specifically my favorite fish because I just, like, I don't know how to pick a favorite fish. Yeah. Which ancient cephalopod demanded a seat at King Neptune's table? The... Ammonite? I'm guessing how you say it? It's like A-M-M-O-N-I-T-E. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I Ammonite. guess that one's a more structurally coherent joke. Yeah, <laughs> Ammonite, get it? Uh, uh, I'm a knight, get it? Says Squidward. Oh my god, Squid... Oh my fucking gods. This is not Squidward. Did Spongebob steal Squidward's phone? <laughs> I swear, someone stole Squidward's phone. This is not how Squidward acts. Oh my god. Watch, like, the next place be the comedy area, and you have to clean it up, because Squidward is so bad. Oh, gods. That would be funny, though. Mm. And then we get told more jokes. No. If I ever have to hear another one of... Woodward so-called jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself. That'll be your fault. Patrick Star, I used to take this bus to school every day. Wait, Patrick actually went to school? I don't know. I guess. The the ocean has a public school system. Oh wait, I didn't see the next thing he said. Uh every day I'd have to give it back. <laughs> wait, did Patrick steal this bus every day? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> What the fuck? That's actually unhinged. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, Apollo. Oh, who's that? Apollo. The Stardew oh, artist. Hello. hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm alive. Now you're dead. He's good. I mean, I feel like I should be. You like, sound kind of stuffed I'm, up. Are you feeling sick? I've been... I, I've had, like... 
my sinuses have been draining and stuffing. Like, hey, you know what? We found real. out. <laughs> Wait, hey, Hatchet. We we can tell Apollo what we found out could help with congestion. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. I'm scared. Good. It's, Mom. It's, it's been yeah, scientifically proven that orgasms can help with congestion. They got well, a Nobel the Prize sad part for about it. That, the, the really sad part about that, I don't have a car and I'm sleeping on my grandparents' couch. They got cut off. Not oh, for me. Oh, they are. Yeah, never mind. It was just my internet <laughs> popping for a second. Do I need to repeat? Nah, you're good. I think I got the okay. gist. Um. So, like. What game are you guys playing? Oh. Power Wars Sim. Ah. Uh, I have the Sims open. Yeah, this is not gonna take us long. <laughs> well, no shit, it's a vehicle. Vehicles don't normally take long unless they're the, those fucking bullshit ass tanks from the Final <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> He hit the flow. Well, next thing you know, I got low, low, low. low, low, low then baggy low. square pants and then fish <laughs> from pants with the straps. The straps. He turned around and gave that square big booty a smack. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Oh my god. So unironically, that song was always playing in my house when I was little because it was my little cousin's favorite song. She's three years younger than me. And that was uh, her favorite song. I see. We, uh, we don't question it. Questioning's for scientists. I am no scientist. <laughs> So, I decided I was making a set of twins oh, the Sims. Oh, wait, I, I, mi I missed the first message, sorry. That that message was preceded by bikini bottom jeans, <laughs> Spongebob with the <laughs> pants, with the pants. The whole club was looking, at square, was looking at square pants. I feel like it'd be better if it was just looking, looking square pants or something like that. It, it's a bit of a mouthful, but you, you, you're you doing good, Robin. Robin, go Robin. <laughs> oh. I decided to make a set of twins in The Sims. Valid. One's name is Reese and the other's name is Autumn. And Autumn is one of those, like, 2016 kind of goth kids, but they really just dig like the dark makeup. And there's mm. a lot of like burnt orange in her fits. And then Reese is just a dark academia girl, and I'm in love with her. Like, she's so Ooh. cute. <clears throat> but like, <clears throat> most of my Sims are goth girls, so I did want to make more goth girls. <laughs> um,. Not, and, and like, not even to forget, last time I played The Sims, I redid the entire goth family. Oh, Damn. really? <laughs> I went through and I just, I, I threw a shit to the CC at them. <laughs> and like, I do that on the regular. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember when I, I told you, Hatch, I was dealing with the frog horde? Moving it? Yeah, moving the frog horde away. I kid you not, when I was moving them, they allowed me to stack them. I see. Why are frogs so okay with being stacked? I, I think that's a local thing. I've never stacked frogs before. I've seen videos like from other places, like some from like California, some from like Arizona, stuff like that, and they're just like stacking frogs. <laughs> I mean, I've I've held like frogs before, but I've never been able to stack them. They always get really bitchy. Uh, Robin in my chat says, "Hey SpongeBob, what I gotta do to get you home?" 
my mom <laughs> square jeans full of guap and they ready for sh for shown's fish boats made bikinis made bikinis for the sexy grown veteran um the bikini rocks that'll make you moan what the fuck <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Robin has lost the plot, <laughs> and not the good way. <laughs> the question is: Was there ever a plot? I think so. I think it just got lost very early on. Headlight thousands. Oh, it's just this one. Got it. That's the, that's the problem. Like, so many of these, uh, like, it's hard to actually find the dirt because. Oh, thank you. Uh, because of the fact that, like, they're the same, like, the dirt is the same color as the bus. Unironically, oh, Reese is Reese is heavily giving Bella a swan right now, and I don't know how to feel about it. It's heavily given what? Bella swan. I like, don't think I every, only one left. Every 2007 to 2009 female protagonist from every TV oh. show ever. <laughs> I see. All right, ready? Oh, I already pressed it. Yeah. Yep, that's that's a bus being cleaned. I st I still find it funny that Patrick stole it. Yeah. Honestly, I I oh, don't Bella blame. Swan oh, Bella Swan. No, I would also steal the bus. Oh, okay. That would explain yeah. why I don't understand the reference. Oh my I'm gosh! Sorry. The next one is the Krusty Krab. Yes. Krusty Krab pizza. Is the pizza you Krusty and me? Yeah, 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 pizza. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I then. I'm surprised you do stuff together. You wish for you and me. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the next one. <laughs> you know, the only thing worse than eating chum, having it draped all eating over your chum. business. Oh my god. I don't know what's gotten into that scoundrel Plankton, but he's gone too far this time. If this is yet another diversion so he can try and steal me secret Krabby Patty formula, then, all, like all of his previous attempts, it's doomed to failure. I would say he doesn't have two brain cells that rub together, but he don't have two of any cells that rub together. <laughs> Please wash, wash me Krusty Krab down as quickly as you can. Every chum covered minute is a dollar lost. You ever notice that? You ever notice that the two main antagonists of, like, or antagonists, the two main opposing characters, as far as fast food franchises go, uh, sees a giant, uh, crustacean. Fighting a fucking microorganism crustacean. Yeah. Kind of funny. Because if I remember correctly, Plankton is based off of a what? Plankton. The fuck. <laughs> well, Plank based off of like a specific species of plankton. Okay, Hatchet, don't do anything. I need to do this. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta read. What are you doing washing down a crusty crab? You should be helping me. You incorrigible nitwit. Don't do anything, Hatchet. The crab started it by covering my chum bucket with a complex array of dirty circles. Hold on, I have to do a thing. I know what you were gonna do. Hold on, don't. I have to do it for the clips. Doesn't make it any better. Actually, I don't know what's going on. I'm not. The watching. cum bucket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Honey>. <laughs> 
Fuck. <laughs> Everyone, this is my favorite place to go to. That's why I get pregnant so many times. Oh no, no, Robin was about to say, but leave the letter H the last, please. No. Ow. You fucked it up. I, I did my joke. Oh well. You fucked it up. I wonder Robin if there's a way I can restart it. H. I mean, you probably could. But I don't know. I think I'm just gonna... Let's just continue. Okay. Oh, God. We have to clean the fucking conch cell thing. Or clam shell. Do you want to work on Krusty, uh, Krusty Krab and I work on Chum Bucket? Yeah. Okay. Restarted and never touched that, said Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Bookram's even here. I mean, Book talked in my chat, like, literal minutes ago. They didn't talk in mine, what the fuck? Get good. Well, now I see who, who he favors. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, bright, get good, says Robin. You see, the thing is, I can never get good, because I have crippling, atypical depression. <laughs> Sounds like a skillet. <laughs> oh, God. oh my gosh. Bookworm says, I don't know. I clicked it on your end, bright. <laughs> so we got the combo. Wonderful. I wonder if Bookworm clicked the moment where I said this is where I get pregnant on the thing. <laughs> oh, wait. Also, if I favored Hatchet, would I have this then? It's currently a fire stream streak. I missed that. Sorry. No. Okay, I'll just have to clip it myself. <laughs> I think I can clip myself. I don't know. I mean, you can. It's just hard to do it midstream. I probably do it after stream. Yeah, that's what I do. When book ain't around. I, I still haven't gotten to, like, editing down that clip you gave me. About me just screaming. <laughs> I am back. I had to go let out our 16-year-old dog. Uh -huh. Poach. Well, like, unfortunately, I'm the only motherfucker who will do it. <laughs> Even though the door that the dogs are let out are closer to the bedrooms my mom and brother sleep in. Uh. So, but I'm the only one that will let him out. Yeah, <laughs> but prank that he wants to go to the cum bucket. Oh, God. God damn it, Automod. Wait. <laughs> it caught them square. <laughs> it's bullying. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, Automod. <laughs> So we now know from now on, them bullying is fucking... Auto, auto mod registers calling someone a square as bullying. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, 70 years ago, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Why is every individual letter on the Krusty Krab sign <laughs> its own individual item? <laughs> Robin says square like is <laughs> <Squarest. laughs> Yeah.
Yeah. Also, um, I'm not sure if I can get a refund for this one game. Because, you know, last night I was doing mascot horror games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there was this one game called Toytopia. And I, I wanted to play it, right? Game says, sorry, we can't load it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's the only game you can't load, and I think I had to pay for it. Did you get it off of Steam? Yeah, I got it off of Steam. As long as you've had it less than two weeks, and you've played it less than two hours, you can refund it. I, I, I haven't played it, so... Okay, hold on, I'm gonna see it, that. It'll be... It'll be like... Oh. Give me a moment. I want to see something. In Bright chat, Robin says you'd probably blast Plankton into next century with that insanely powerful water hose. Because I'm reading Bright's chat faster than Bright is. I fuck off. Right now, how no. the Okay, how the fuck do I? Ask for a refund. No pearl in there, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know where my flannels are. Where are you, what? Flannels. Oh, flannels. Yeah, I don't know where in the Sim 4 catalog. Ah. Uh. Okay, before I look it up, I need to send bookworm something because I don't think they're around. Anyways. I spray the clam. I spray the clam. I ho the Jericho. I spray the clam. Sometimes this game just dead ass makes me start to feel sleepy. It's just so chill and monotonous. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Alright, what problem are you having with this product? It's not what I expected. Do you see our bonus content is missing? Purchase this by accident. I'm in trouble with my retail CD key. Gameplay or technical issue? <laughs> I would say that is a gameplay or technical issue. Yeah. I want to permanently remove this game from my account. Is something I could say. <laughs> you can just describe, I do not want this anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah. What probably makes me the game won't download so the game doesn't start when I try to launch it, yes. Spray the clam, lick the clam, spray to the clam, become the clam. Yeah, I had to pay $11.88 for it. Yeah, that is a, uh, that, that, that's a refund. Yeah, refund it to my Steam wallet so I can get a different game. No, refund it to your actual wallet, and then give me the money. <laughs> Wait, my cat sock is on. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> you just scream at the fucking <laughs> Steam. That'd be kind of funny. Steam is saying, "Game no work. Refund now." Waste of time! <laughs> Interesting. Did not know it was. Alright, I it sent was. my request. And I read it. And she did not. From your chat posture. Did not know it was better than medication. Lol, his book. Yeah, I sent them the orgasm day. <laughs> what? You know, with the sinus. Oh, why do- why would you send that to the- <laughs> Yes. 
do you want your refund? No, not the Steam. The book. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Oh wait, I didn't read all the messages from Plankton. After like the the chum bucket thing, he says, "Please, I'll pay you." So Mr. Cloud thinks that to face my superior eatery, he would render me too busy to concoct an ingenious plan to steal his secret formula. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that he was capable of such a foul deed. I thought it was something only a real low life like myself would do. Indeed, it was the very next, very next thing I did too. Bright had you just read it. Bright so slow. To be fair, you were doing other stuff, yeah. What other stuff is more important than reading your stream chat? Nothing. Oh my god, oh my god shut up. <laughs> stream chat is love, stream chat is life. Hatchet, you wanna know what's more important than reading my stream chat? Reading your stream chat. <laughs> yeah, <that's> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But Bright can't even get the reading her own stream chat. I was part getting down. the refund. Too bad. I'm this is pretty important. It's, it's it's not it's not as if I'm telling you to it's it's not as if this is based solely upon that one instance. <laughs> yeah. But ever since then, like playing with Olympics with Power Wash Simulator, I started getting addicted to it again. <laughs> Oh no! I don't know why. I just usually I, I don't like calming games, but this game, it, it's just there. <laughs> usually Not I want to get stressed. I love being stressed, and most my, people don't. But like, my favorite activity is a panic attack. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, anyway, book room with the sinus thing. Um, my nose is congested. Do you know anyone who can help? I'm sorry. You. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from you, but it was not that. <laughs> I got not. I will bonk you. I have like 3,000 points. <laughs> Hold Robin, on. Robin says, oh, that dumpster can is the one where SpongeBob says the answer. <laughs> Booker says, get on blue Twitch for that. So does that mean you'll find someone to... <laughs> no, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I have. I think I have the game's volume way too low. Yeah, how's the game volume sound on my stream? Yo. Give me two seconds and I will let you know. Oh, uh, I mean. <laughs> Sponge, Sp SpongeBob says bad words. Sounds good to me, says Book. Okay. Yep. Nah, I spray the floor. It's what I do for a living. I spray the floor. Okay, I swear to God, there for a second I thought this dumpster said fun, but there for a second I said cunt. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. I mean, I can yeah, clean that. No, it's my dumpster. Wait, it's a dumpster? <laughs> it's the... Yes. I just said that! <laughs> I didn't hear that. All I hear was cunt. No. No. Oh and my... Came, come dust. Come dust. Oh my fucking... I'm going <laughs> to find you. And when I do, I'm going to place baby carrots in your eyes. Kinky. It's not kinky. 
<laughs> but there are a lot of swears and bad words on that dumpster trunk. So canonically, yeah. Yeah, anyway, everyone in my chat, how are you today? I don't think I've asked that question. <laughs> yeah, I asked that to I asked that of your chat while you were gone. Because I'm better at being your stream than I am than you are at being your stream. Shut up. Oh, I just realized there was some fucking handsome Squidward graffiti, but I watched it. I I ruined it. Yeah. How dare you? How could you? I didn't notice it was there until I had cut off half his face. Like, Hatch read the shit on that dumpster. It's what? Read the shit on that dumpster. Never mind. Oh, I didn't- I didn't look through most of the stuff. Because I'm- I'm in clean mode. Rip. Oh, there's a weird there's a weird uh, Squidward drawing. I apologize, Robin. I have failed thee. Say so. Say I'm so. <laughs> I am sending pictures of the twins. Oh, Mr. Krabs, don't listen to Plankton. He's just gone and covered his own chum bucket in muck to try to look all, all innocent, so he has. Yeah, sure, man. The twins are in picture painting. You must think I, I was spawned yesterday, says Plankton. I mean, like, Mr. Krabs, God damn it! If you... If you reload that map ever, you got two things to do now. Never touch the edge. And... For fuck's sake, read oh. the dumpster first. I apologize, Robin. Then we'll get into that clean mode where you clean and then you don't pay attention to what you clean, but you clean. Holy shit, this dumpster is dirty. Kind of like it's a dumpster. Did y'all know that dumpsters are pretty dirty? No shit. Oh, hey, look, it's the jar. Hey, Hatchet, can you stop cleaning my channel? What? You, you said you're cleaning the dumpster. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you said that after I said, oh, hey, it's the jar. Oh. It was like... I was a bit too late. Well, I wasn't actually cleaning the jar, but, like, that's what my brain was on. Ah. You ever notice that their dumpsters seem to be made out of bamboo? I feel like that's not a very good substance to make a dumpster out of. Or, I guess the rims of them are, it looks like. It's a... Okay, can I say something about dumpsters? When I worked at Chick-fil-A, the worst job I ever had... I think definitely on something. I think I've talked about how bad that job is before. Yeah. Yeah, but, um... See, here's the thing. Let her sleep, maybe. I didn't even mean to clean that. But anyways, uh, uh for dumpsters, we had this big-ass tall dumpster that we had to dump all our trash in. That's what you normally do with a dumpster. However, Sounds about this, right. Th yeah, anyway. To tell you, how, you know how I'm five feet six inches, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The dumpster was a few inches taller than me. Oh, I hate when that happens. And here's the thing. Why would... Huh? Why would... 
anyone make a dumpster that big? Or that tall? I don't know. That's just impractical. Oh, so, like... Well, it was also... Every dumpster I've been around has been taller than me. And I'm also 5'6". Yeah, the dumpster was also a bit different because it would also crush trash bags. It, it was weird. But, but anyways, like it's own auto compactor or something. Yeah. Anyways, here's the thing. The reason why I hated trash duty, even though I was usually put on it, it's probably why I have so much arm strength, is because there was this one trash bag. I kid you not. Because we did have a scale and I decided to weigh it one time. Uh, on average, it's 80 to 100 pounds. Jesus. And I had to lift it into a dumpster taller than me. <laughs> so when anyone questions my strength again, <laughs> you know I can lift. <laughs> you even lift, bro? Yeah. Dumpster <laughs> bags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's not even the worst part, uh, of that trash bag, is, um, that trash bag would usually be filled with the stuff taken out of grease traps, um, Ooh. of the, uh, I call them pothole traps, it's just like these little holes in the ground that no one would clean but me. <laughs> uh. That'll be, like, I kid you not, be almost up to my elbow. In, I don't know what. It looks like a mixture of chicken and other things. <laughs> chicken and cum. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I had to pull that out. It'll be filled with that. As well as some uh, hot, hot grease and that's get dumped for some reason. Stuff like that. So the bag was hot. And I had to carry it to the dumpster. That was like... I think like four feet away from the store, I had to carry it there. Robert a little bit ago asked, how tall is you and Bright? Bright is... I'm, I'm average woman height. Yeah, Bright's 5'6", six, I'm 6'2", six or 6'3", last I checked. That's what I am, I'm average woman height. So I think Hatchet would have like would be taller than the dumpster. Yeah. So they would have less of a struggle than me. <laughs> I'm five ten, why hatch so tall? Oh no, I got I got those I got those German jeans, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. I decided to put my height in a different place. What, on your dog? I'm referencing my dick hatchet. <laughs> That's a weird way to refer to Busta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> While you were growing up as a child, I was an adult duty thing. I don't know what I'm saying. She has a gay face. Yes. Finally, that was bothering me. It's the damn roof. Oh, Rusty shit. door frame. That was awful. Why did I try that? Okay, I hate the bar to the like the the top of the chum bucket because it it looks a really really close to the grime that's on it. 
so it's hard to tell what's the bar and what's grind. Yeah. Uh, this is guard. Gamers are technically not stereotypically tall. I see. Oh, I stretch. I... Oh, yeah. I actually saw a video earlier. I forgot to copy the link of it. But apparently, this one deer... Germans. Uh, jumped... Oh, my... Huh? Huh? <laughs> I just... I just misread Germans in my chat as gamers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, but like I was saying, I was watching this video where this deer apparently jumped into a zoo enclosure, I think, somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was this, the enclosure for the Komodo dragons. <laughs> oh. Let's just say the deer didn't survive long. Like, it was fast. <laughs> I, I, I still love how such a... Sm like, that lizard is so much smaller than the deer. Yet it fucked up the deer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like on average in nature, carnivores tend to be like smaller than the prey. Yeah. Also, also I got to see the, the hunting style on the video, which is so fucked up. Is where they would literally just bite it, yeah. then go away, and just wait for it to die. <laughs> yeah. It is so sadistic. <laughs> Herbivores can kick ass too, though, don't forget. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bright. Yeah? This is a very important task that I have for you. If you ever see one, go up to and... Like, try to hug a moose, okay? Nothing bad could ever happen. I've seen videos of moose fucking up people. I'm not doing that shit. Oh, come on. It's a, it's, it's just a, it's just a bigger deer. Oh my god. Patrick Sars, what's covered in dirt, has one round leg, and likes hopping a lot. No, I because know. whatever it is, it just left. <laughs> 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 Moose in Canada, not in South Canada, as far as I know. Yeah, I still find it, like, extremely deserving, uh, disturbing, I think, not deserving, disturbing, <laughs> how, like, on the island Komodo dragons are on, they, they got the started developing the intelligence to realize which humans they would have a better chance at killing. I mean, most animals have that sort of like, like most predators have that sort of information. They just observe their prey. It's pretty basic. Yeah, but like... Now you each have a quick ball. That's good. Oh, I'm up to six viewers. Welcome in, everybody. If any of you are new, a follow would be very much appreciated. And please do stick around, because I'm on the yes. road to affiliate. Do so, and you'll earn $50. What? No. That's not how that works. <laughs> do not listen to the dipshit. <laughs> what, it's how some streamers get their viewers? Trusting Bright is a risk to your health and safety. Hey, Hatch, you want to visit the Komodo Island with me? America is now officially called South Canada a United Dumb States. Moose in Canada, not in South Canada. Oh no, there are, there's a lot of places where there are moose on 
There's thunder outside. There's a lot of places in the states where there are moose. Oh, there's yeah. moose in in fucking Colorado. Yeah. I'm, I'm fairly certain moose get into Arizona too. Yeah, they're, they're kind of everywhere. They go places. Yeah. They be doing things. So what were you trying to say, Bray? I said, you want to visit Komodo Island with me? Probably not, because I'm not interested in engaging in tourism. Then, and also, you have to have a like, tour guide with you at all times. <laughs> What'd you say, Apollo? Yes, I sir. said that, and that just does not sound like fun time. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't know about, like, the status of Komodo Island having been colonized in any capacity, but... A, a general rule of thumb is avoid tourism to places that have ever dealt with some kind of colonization, which very commonly means tropical items. Yeah. Just about everywhere. Yeah. Don't go anywhere that wasn't, like, Caucasian first. They'll <laughs> be angry. <laughs> or at the very- and, and less like- and less like the locals actually have the power in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which is why you in your vacation to Hawaii. Don't do that. I like I like how your response is because uh, of people, not the fact that the very that Komodo dragons originate on Komodo Island. I mean, yeah, because I understand I've seen that the, chance, the the chances they don't of getting me. yeah, like the chances of getting killed by a Komodo dragon are still absurdly low. Yeah, but apparently um, you're supposed to have a tour guide with you at all times, just in case. Well, yeah. yeah that's just because people are dumbasses and believe lost people live nowhere. Yeah, I still remember the, like the video where where Steve Irwin talked about Komodo dragons, to tell just how dangerous they are. I mean, yeah, but like most wild animals are dangerous. Yeah, but <laughs> like the, while he was at ex just common sense. <laughs> no, no, like I was saying, uh, like when he was. Explaining them, all of a sudden one of them just starts charging at them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good video. Yeah. No, it's just like, don't, like, common sense at this point. If you were from a primarily, like, Caucasian area, don't go places that were colonized because they'll just be angry at you all the time. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, don't go to Africa. Like, not even kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, don't go to South Africa, primarily. Because, <laughs> like, the Dutch really fucked that shit up. Um, I know, I watched like, a movie about it. Egypt is pretty chill. I, I'd say that the general rule is don't go to places that are still like, don't go, don't act as a tourist to places where your money as a tourist goes to the colonizer rather than the colonized. Rather than the actual people who live there. Or better yet, just don't do tourism because planes and global warming. I know a guy in South Africa. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, oh yeah, remember when I talked about going to Disneyland and whatnot? Yeah. Um, there was a time where uh, I almost had a, I, I got really scared on the flight because on the intercom, you know how they, they talk about, talk to their uh, people on the plane and all that? Before they take yeah. off? They said, oh, by the way, uh, this is gonna be both me and my co-pilot's first flight. <laughs> oh, don't tell people that. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> That's just a bad time waiting to happen. Yeah. Also, that shouldn't have happened. Why would you make it both pilots' first flights? Like, was it like their actual first flights, or did they pair up two pilots 
without like a mentor for the first time. Is I that don't what know. Happened? They, that's all they heard. That's all I heard. I mean, if it's saying like it's their first flight, I would imagine it's talking like it's their first flight out of flight school. Yeah. It's... That still sounds really. Why would you do that? I like, don't know. I would pair up pilots with seasoned pilots. Uh. Because. Airplane corporations would rather spend less money doing that. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't cost anything more. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm immediately cluttering this house. This Sweet. Pieces. I have a clutter problem. Um, is it a problem? Probably. God's accidental flips. Asterisk is neat too. So chum bucket's almost done. Next. How is your crusty crab? It's it's a building. I've got a good amount of it. Yeah. Cleaned it. Yeah, I decided to distract myself uh, during the play right after that by playing. I forgot the name of it. But I want to. I want to play it again. And it's just that, uh, it's basically this game where apparently it's a nuclear wasteland and you play as these giant mutant insects and fight other giant mutant insects. It was on the DS. Huh. Dude, I forgot the goddamn name of it. It was mutant something. It worked for once. F you think. A few fingies and crappy keyboard, for fuck's sake, work for once. <laughs> oh wait, I know how to... How I can find out the name of the game. Bookworm? <laughs> kidding, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Bookworm, you don't have to. <laughs> I am very annoyed with the fact that I have facial hair. What game? Uh, it's a DS game where you play as giant mutant insects. They made a dinosaur one as well as, um, a dragon one. I played a dinosaur one. It was really fun. The dragon Is one was too confusing. Is it Battle of Giants Mutant Insects? Huh? What was that? Said, Is it Battle of Giants Mutant Insects? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know, because I had... Also, you want to be right back screen. How went long with <laughs> Hold on, I'm sending you a picture. How long was I on that screen? Anyways, we clean that. I love having a lava lamp. Oh my god, why didn't oh, anyone man. say anything? Oh, something to look at. Since you did the steam thing, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, I love facial hair. Don't say you have facial hair. I just think you're hot. Right, oh no. Let me see this thing Apollo sent me. No, <laughs> yes, it's not that's that. it. That's it, but uh not book Apollo. Just immediately credit Bookworm for Apollo's work. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. Oh what shit, it was made by right? Ubisoft? Yeah, it was giant. Yeah, I was that one. It was really fun. It was combat oh, yeah. of giants, mutant insects, which probably means it's combat of giants, dragons, and dinosaurs. It was the oh, dinosaur and insect one Sorry. was fun, but the dragon one was too confusing. I 
I am so mad at my past self for not leaving a BRB screen. Oh my god, all of the ribbit rivets are fucking individual items. <laughs> Were you about to say ribbits? Like props? I, I did I did say ribbits, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is confirmed. Hatchet is now a frog. Shit. Guess I gotta go ask my artist to make a different model. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Wait, that means I, I get to stack Hatchet. No. No. <laughs> Keep your greasy paws away from me. <laughs> Oh, wait, SpongeBob Ribbit. SquarePants. Patrick, you're a genius. Those dirt circles in the chumplicate are exactly the same as those left on our houses at, at Conch Street. Is this going to turn out to be like some big conspiracy? Maybe. Of fucking plankton trying to. Let's investigate. Uh, you can't go around being a dirt heaving hopper without someone seeing you. Oh my gosh, you know what would be a cool, fun place to clean? What? Uh, I forgot their name. It's like Merman Barnacle Boy, I think. Like their cave. Oh, their cave? That'd be interesting. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. What I've been thinking is I wish that, uh, the devs of this game would get into content. Tongcat? Would. Oh, Apollo Love. You're saying? Uh, would get in contact with Bethesda and do like a Skyrim cleanup job. Uh, they recently did clean... Warhammer. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know who I made wanna... Warhammer though. I want a fucking. I mean, it's a fucking tabletop RPG. Oh. I thought it was a video it's... game. Like, it's more recently started having video game titles. Uh, but, like, it, it, it originated as a tabletop RPG, as far as I know. That shit would make adorable for Also, as if you haven't been stacking no. them already. <laughs> Should I say what I did earlier, Hatchet? Stop! you said it multiple times now. I'm not sure if Bookham heard it. Uh... Yeah, in order to save some frogs from being murdered by one of my dogs, I took them and stacked them somewhere else. They're just chill with it. I still don't understand why frogs are so, like, in certain areas are so chill with being stacked. They're, they're just like, oh, I, I guess this is happening now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, there's actually one species that is just so chill with anything picking them up that I, I do want them as a pet at some point, which is the dumpy tree frogs. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, they, they're fine with anything. <laughs> they're just, they just sit there. Yeah, they're, they're just very chill. <laughs> yeah. Although honestly, if I was going to get any frogs, I'd probably want some dart frogs. What, which frog? Dart frogs frogs. Oh, I, I I thought you said the dart frog, you know, like the poison one. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm saying. Oh, you are? You want the, You gotta be very careful. Poison dart frogs are only poisonous because of their diets in the wild. Uh... That's fair. They eat a bunch of... Oh, I forget what they're called, but they eat a bunch of stuff in the wild that allows them to be toxic. So as long as you, like, feed them things that aren't like that they're perfectly harmless oh by the way one thing with frogs make sure you're, you're you, you one wash your hands and two uh wear gloves when handling them because yeah. most frogs will absorb your skin oils and be toxic yeah it's like amphibians yeah. don't have a layer of skin that helps keep them from taking in uh, liquids and toxins that touch them. 
their skin is far more permeable. Yeah, that's why it annoys me when I go on YouTube. It's like, look, I'm such a great frog owner, and they're just touching with their oily hands. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta be wearing gloves if you're touching them, and preferably you just don't touch them. Yeah. That's actually why when, um, it took me so long to come back, because I actually did put the gloves on. Because <laughs> I do yeah. have a box of gloves before handling the frogs, because I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> it, it still bothers me every time I see videos like that. It's like, no, please, don't. <laughs> Those poor frogs. <laughs> Yeah. I'm helping you with the crusty crab, you haven't noticed. Well, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I You've finished the chum bucket. Part while I'm here. You've got the lower part while I'm getting the roof. Yeah. I'm getting as much as I can from down here, since you're up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game sometimes just makes me really tired. <laughs> For some reason, this game's making me more energetic and want to continue. <laughs> oh, god damn it. What, you fell? No, connection timed out. Oh, do you still remember the code? No, I do not. Give me a sec. How the fuck am I going to remember the code, right? Alright. Alright, the code... Oh, it changed! So even if you did remember the code... <laughs> yeah. 044. Four. Uh, why is it not working? Zero. You there got it? Go. Yep. 3599. 3599. Oh, up to eight viewers. Welcome in, everybody. Right is stealing your energy. She's an energy succubus. Yes! I got my refund. They didn't deny me. Like last time. Why would they deny you? <clears throat> Why did they deny you? I, you I told them I didn't like... Playing Prey, it was under two hours and under two weeks. I, I didn't like Prey and wanted to get a refund. They're like, nah. <laughs> I don't know what I don't remember what the reason was, but they're like, nah. <laughs> weird. Why is it forcing me to put the ladder here? I don't know. Why are lap? Why are the computers so expensive in this game? She because wants to be fuck a suck you. Wait, that means since I got a refund, I can buy more mascot worries. Or you could like not do that. Okay, to be fair, you know who you're talking to. <laughs> okay, to be fair, we did. I did play one. Good mascot horror game. Then I'm gonna re play chapter uh, Act Two and Three later. It was really good. Like, you know, tomorrow. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Uh, I wonder if Bookworm remembers because uh, they're there. I forgot the. Oh, Venge. That's right. It was the one that said. Um, Poppy Playtime copied off of them. I forgot. Are you saying that that soulless, awful project copied off of someone? Apparently. Damn. Oh. Yeah, there actually was another mascot horror game that I was looking at, and I was like, once I saw it, I was like, nope. 
because apparently in order to play a part of it, you have to buy an NFT. Oh, what the fuck? I'm like, nope, fuck that. Kinda gross. Like, listen, listen, I can get down with video games where you kill children, okay? I've seen that. But an NFT? That, that does actual harm. Ah, the arches. Wait, the dumpster rim? Wait, the dumpster rim isn't fully clean? I thought I got that. It says Krusty Krab dumpster rim. Wait, an entrance signpost? Oh, that thing. There's a signpost on the ground that we haven't cleaned. Got it. Such disgusting sounds. Do the arches. Is a pose you did in McDonald's commercials in the 80s. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Now I don't know why I'm feeling so tired. Oh, there it is. Yeah, all this stuff is going to be the arches. Yeah. Of which I am working on. Oh, yeah, okay. Right here. Oh, yeah, there's one arch. I can get a bit from down here. Do the breakfast, do the lunch, do the arch. And yeah, hey, okay, I'm ready. Got it. Oh my god, <laughs> you just see me spinning around this one hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are we going now? Oh my gosh, we gotta clean the paddy wagon. The paddy wagon? Fish paste. The muck sputter struck again last night. This time it's hit Mr. Krabs' paddy wagon. No one's seen the filthy hopper anywhere, so it looks like we're back to square one. My friend Shan- uh, not Shandy. Sandy <laughs> Cheeks. My friend Shammy. She does- <laughs> She's, my friend Gammy, she scams people for a living. Yeah. I really don't know why I spent time around her. Yeah. My friend Sandy Cheeks is coming over to help me investigate. She's the smartest aquanautic squirrel I know. Together, we'll get to the bottom of all of this. Let's split up. We'll search for clues in, in the dirt, and you wash it all away with your sh shouty water cannon. You never heard of the paddy wagon hatchet? I don't remember it. The arches is when you make arches with your arms while putting both your Oh shoot. Sandy Cheeks, holy mackerel. Head. Oh sorry. Holy mackerel, SpongeBob okay. said we're messy, but the, this here's muckier than a mad mouse in a marsh. <laughs> what? Anyway, don't remind me. I'm just gonna quietly go about detect my detecting business. Detecting also, isn't oh sorry. No, I was just questioning. Uh, go ahead. We're looking for instead the... of Wait. instead of tires, they just pickles, and it says pickle. Yeah, we're looking for the three misses: means, motive, and m opportunity. Ha. But the first, but first the crime scene itself. Looks like some kind of spontaneous dirtification. <laughs> what? 
Oh, Hatchet, look at the license plate. To go. <laughs> None of the surroundings are affected, just the wagon itself. Exactly like the country street and Crystal Crab and Chum Bucket. Don't eat that burger, it moldy. Why put pickles on a bulger? Yeah. It's I'll almost, never know. It's almost like they repeated it. Repeatedly picked at some mysterious and hostile beast of the deep. Whatever did this has one almighty mouth on its hands. Or should I say its face? Don't tell me you got a beard, please don't. Do me? No, I got stubble, and I hate it. Where faces, hmm? Oh my gosh, we I can will... Look at the hood. <laughs> Clean the engine. Look at the engine, though. Oh my god, the engine is so grody. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's a, fr it's a, fry it's a fry trap. Yeah. Could, could it be the Plankton Army? This is... This is... Jeez. But Plankton's only yeah. interested in the secret gravity formula. But yeah, I... I... I get stubble and I hate it because I hate having facial hair. No, I would, I, no. I cannot stand having facial hair, I'm not gonna grow a beard, ever. Is there anyone, or anything, who would have a vendetta against so many people? And who could pull such a stunt without anyone noticing? I love facial hair, it's not, I mean, fair enough. Oh my gosh, I hate the engine. Make sure you have it on a good fucking uh, power level. I think not. Ever think about if 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 the Krusty Krab had a single other K word in it, its a uh, its initials would suddenly be extremely bad. Oh yeah. no, they they hatchet. There was an ep episode. I think it's where they had a hat that had three Ks on it. Oh, oh no! God. What? I mean, that doesn't surprise me. Like, why? They, they did, I don't remember the episode, but I think they were wearing this weird costume and had three Ks on it. <laughs> you can think not all you like. I will keep thinking otherwise and be up to mystery. Oh, you don't say that. Finally got done with the goddamn engine. Crab oh, you got the engine? Yeah, it's done. Nice. All right, pull. Top bun. Yeah, I. There's one thing that I saw that I thought would be in, like people would argue against me, but apparently, a lot of people don't. Where they say like the first SpongeBob movie was the best one. That's pro. You thought that that would be a controversial take? Mainly because when I say like other things, like the first certain movie is the best one out of the series, they're like, no, no, this one, no, this one, this one. It, this one is just like, nope, that you're right. <laughs> I, I 
barely saw anyone disagree with me. That's <laughs> so what I say whenever someone types KK for OK, like, they don't add extra Ks. Yeah, it gets... It, using, using KK as an affirmative in text is a very, very dangerous proposition. Because one wrong move and suddenly disaster strikes. Yeah. There's only one I know who has a viciousness, the speed, and guile in a diameter to do such a thing. It's gotta be... Oh my gosh, this is the Flying Dutchman. We gotta go on his shit. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> She's still thinking. <laughs> No, she's not thinking. She's pausing for dramatic effect. <laughs> she did it again. <laughs> Just like three dots. That would be hell to clean. It would. Yeah, how the fuck do you clean a ghost ship? Yeah, one minute. I just need to recharge my device. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's just trolling. <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Sandy Cheeks is a fucking troll. Oh, wait. Whoa. What the fuck? Hatchet, what? follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Okay. What the fuck? That's a villain first uh, about uh, Merman and Barnacle Boy. The dirty oh, bubble. Oh, yeah. It's the Dirty Bubble. He's the one doing all of this. I see you, Dirty Bubble, and I will wash you. Oh my gosh, we can actually- We can fight him! We can... Oh yeah, I washed him, so now he flew away. <laughs> we know who did it. Yeah. We know who's doing this bullshit. I wonder it's if he the was there the bubble. entire time and we just didn't notice. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, is there still dirt on this goddamn pickle? Yeah, I was just cleaning the leaves right here, and, and I was like, and looked over and saw something peeking over the hand. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> gear stick, gear stick mount. Yeah, I'm cleaning the lettuce. Because underneath the lettuce, there's so much dirt. Yeah. It's crazy to me that they're taking out the Prendel in cars. The what? The Prendel. What's that? I'm confused. It's a mean way to talk about the gear shift. Oh. It's from uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh wait, the sweet life. Like, is that the one on the on the boat? Or no, that's oh. the sweet life on deck. Oh, sweet life on deck. Yeah. Speaking of that show, uh, I an actor shit. from that show actually attended my high school. Wait, seriously? Yeah, it was like the, only for one episode though. But yeah, they actually did show up at my uh. high school and work, and you know, did stuff. Huh. Cool. I think it was like the the girl who freaked out about her dog being thrown or something. I forgot. I think that's what she said. There's no way it's Ashley Tisdale, right? I don't know. I don't remember their name. I I just remember that's something they talked about. Yeah, I know that Ashley Tisdale had a starring role in one of the episodes of Sweet Life on the Ice. She came back to play Maddie. What, who was it? Wait, well this docks you probably, so we should probably not figure it out. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> oh wait, you're saying like they literally went to your school? Yeah, not they like... went to my school, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. I thought you were meaning that they, like, fucking, uh... No, no, no. 
visited. No, they actually went to my school. Okay, then yeah, that definitely ain't Ashley Tisdale. Oh, that's who they are? Oh, okay. What? Wait, what? I'm what confused. are you talking? I... I said it's definitely not Ashley Tisdale, and they say, oh, so that's who they are. Oh. What the f- What the f- <laughs> I'm- <laughs> You need to stop being so stupid. Please. What did I do to deserve this? My face is heating up from laughing. Uh, is that actually normal for your face to heat up while laughing? I mean, if you're laughing a lot, yeah, I can see that being a thing. <sighs> Where is what the is dirt on the lettuce? Is... <laughs> oh, oh, I think I see it. It's in under there. Okay, it's starting to go down wherever you're you're shooting. Finally! Yeah, oh my god! Oh, engine distributor horror. Oh, I thought I got him up. Oh, <laughs> you opened it and I hit the button so it closed. So what's distributor horror? Oh, it's the yellow things. I'm looking at it. Oh, no, it's the whole thing under... It's the thing attached to the yellow thing. The weird... Tri uh, triangular prism. There it is. Got it. Oh, there we are. Steering I almost... wheel. I thought I... Oh, the steering wheel and throttle. Right, why are you using that setting for a steering wheel? Because I'm pissing. Throttle queen. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay. Yay. Paddy wagon job. Yeah. So we're probably gonna have to wait. If it's a dirty bubble, the uh the villain Bur mermaid Barnacle Boy, we might actually see their cave. That would actually be sick. Yeah. <laughs> the invisible boatmobile. Oh my god. How? Oh, that. Okay, this is gonna be really funny. <laughs> yeah. Because we're going to be cleaning muck off of something invisible. <laughs> Mer this is from Mermaid Man. Not Mermaid. I don't know why I said Mermaid. Anyways. Evil! <laughs> That's the thing. There's evil up there. Evil! <laughs> but it's no foot, amigo. It's a bubble. A dirty, dirty bubble. And he's been painting a whole town brown. We tracked him to the jellyfish fields. No, wait. The jellyfish fields. But he cornered us. And I don't think it's a round thing. I And I don't think a round thing could do that. Finally, he sucked us in with his awesome surface tension. We managed to pry our way out with Barnacle Boy's rough, rock-eating tongue. Uh. <laughs> but the invisible boatmobile is a wreck. Uh. <laughs> There's so many innuendos in that paragraph. Uh. <laughs> It's covered in every type of gunk you'll, you'll find at an all-you-can-eat if you were a clam. Barnacle Boy says you have some kind of squirter that you pressure into working for you. I respect that. <laughs> that sentence... <laughs> I heard you kids got some kind of spray gun that you pressured into working for you. Now that's how they did things in my day. Good to see the youngins still doing things that I like doing. <laughs> my favorite activity is pressuring things into doing things for me. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. That is so... That is so trippy. Yeah. 
Barnacle Boy says Sandy Cheeks was right. We gave the Cheeks the dirty bubble high tailing it away from the paddy wagon with a big filthy grin on his face. I said we can have any other kind of grin. Oh, this is so trippy. At least it's going to be easier to clean. Yeah, you can actually, like, directly see when there's dirt. Because y you can see the dirt. <laughs> yeah. It's all you can see. Don't worry, kiddo. We're gonna wipe that dirty, big dirty grin clean off the dirty bubble. Don't worry, kiddo. We're gonna clean up your act. <laughs> Just as soon as we wipe down our shoes, the mud's deep and deep here, and I don't like it one bit. <laughs> so, this is so fucking trippy. <laughs> Wait, can you see me on the other side? Hold on, stay there. Yeah, I see you on the other side. Hey. <laughs> hey. So we, fucking trippy. We spotted him, bubbling evil north. Evil! Oh, uh, too bad Chew's not here. Chew would probably love this. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you realize what's north of here? No idea. I don't have a sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> My sense of a direction went alongside my eyesight. Barnacle Boy says that due north is the Goo Lagoon. This is so fucking... I... This is, like, genuinely doing this makes me feel very weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care who's... Oh, wait, I gotta read shit. Alright. I don't care who, who's do what. If the dirty bottle makes it that far, we can all kiss goodbye to to at least seven colors of the r rainbow. Oh my god, a British person wrote this. They put a U in colors. I mean, that that that's used in a lot of places, actually. Oh, right. Pretty sure anyway. it's common in Canada. Yeah, anyways. All these jellyfish are really testing our supply of antihistamines. <laughs> and Mermaid Man has already has already has a rash from being inside the dirty bubble. We have to apply a real pharmaceutical matrix out here. <laughs> yeah, Robin says, hey, I put use in my in my color. Behavior, armor, color. Wait, isn't that the normal way behavior is spelled? Even in the States? I've only ever spelled behavior. Oh my god, now it's gonna be so hard to find one piece of dirt. Oh god, yeah. Oh, one screen, here we are. Uh, seat. There's some dirt on the seat. Where? Oh, oh, oh. This is so f Oh my god. <laughs> Where who are we supposed fuck? to find them? We can't even find the car. Who the, f <laughs> who the fuck? What fucking sadistic piece of shit designed this? <laughs> also, try hitting tab. Look, nothing happens. <laughs> uh, well, I don't hit tab. I hit... My right D-pad. Oh, well... <laughs> doors. Where are the doors? <laughs> right, where's the Where doors? are the door handles? Where's the... Where is the footwells? Where's everything? <laughs> Hello? I'm just spraying everywhere. Oh, we got a door. Oh, you hit a door. You hit a door. Oh, I see. Door, door handles. Handle. It's just the footwells. Just the footwell. Okay, so. I can't. 
So the foot oil should be in here. Oh, oh I see. Oh, there, there we go. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, I look, we can kind of see it now. <laughs> this, is, this is just... This is just an image of two people going insane. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the doors? Well, Jim and Ray are dead. So the two remaining doors are still around. Oh my god, Hatchet. Oh my god. Though. The yeah. next one is the Marmalayer. Yes! Yes! We actually get to go to their lair. Welcome, friend. Welcome to the elusive prison of Fengor. No, wait. I mean, the murmur layer. I live here, don't I? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's the prison of Fengor? I don't know. Anyways. And guess what? That dirty, dirty bubble has struck again, this time within our very walls. Don't ask me how, but he escaped. Ran around, dirtied up the place before... Before... Quick as night, sneaking back into his impressionable hold, from which escape is impossible. And look at what he's done to this place. He made the whole nine yards look like it's a festering nest of negligence. And for what, revenge? I'd like to see him try. Do something, kid, before we descend into a pit of self-loathing and crime and bikini bottom. Spirals out of control. And don't forget those nooks and crannies. Crime flourishes where angelfish fear to dredge. Oh. Marmalade, yeah, it's like the it's like the bat cave, but for Marvin Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh my god. Alright. This is gonna take hours. This doesn't look like the work of the dirty bubble to me, says Spongebob. Okay, at least the floor's clean. Peppy, stop that. Looks more like years My. of persistent dirt and efficient cleaning techniques. <laughs> <laughs> They're just roasting them now. Oh yeah, they were heading for the beach, but they wouldn't be here. <laughs> it's just them being dirty. <laughs> oh my god. It's the vintage mermaid and barnacle boy. Where? Painting. Right here. I'm cleaning it off. Oh wow, yeah. It was covered in shit. Peppy, stop that. It is dangerous for you to chew on wire. You stupid little fuck. My cat has the survival skills of an intoxicated squirrel. I see. Yeah, I get that. Like, two of my dogs are the same way. <laughs> Specifically the baby. I'm getting increasingly annoyed by the fact that one of my overhead lights has ceased operation. Damn. Properly, so my room is very dark right now. That's the thing, my my room is dark most of the time. Mainly because my eyes are sensitive to light. Valid. Yeah. Wait, you know what? That's probably what's making me feel drowsier is the fact that my light isn't working right. So my brain's going, oh, it's darker in here. I guess that means it's nighttime. Speaking of nighttime, time to sleep. Yeah. Even though I've been staying up all night lately. 
Because my brain fucking hates me. Where's that fucking footstool? Happy, do you want up here? Which side are you on? There you are, Peppy. Hey, don't try to play with me. Do you want to come up here and get loves? Come here, bro. Come here. The little orange dipshit. Wait. Hatchet. Oh, yeah. It can't be the dirty bubbles. Look. Hmm. Huh? Look where I'm cleaning. That's a penis. Isn't it? Oh, what the? He's here. Yeah, where's the dirty bubble? Or like, where, then who's doing it? My brain. Now, for a second, I thought you were just trying to lure me over to look at a new penis you've drawn. No, but now, okay. So now that I said that, you're gonna start drawing a penis. No, I'm too busy trying to clean this. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but um, I swear, I I am hoping it's a flying Dutchman and we go on a ship, cause that would be so fucking cool. That would be very cool. This is having a lot more content than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, then again, we had to pay for it, so they probably added more than the free stuff. Yeah, true, true. Remember to wash the invisible boat mobile. We already did that. <laughs> That's what Sanji said. You missed it. Ah, uh, rip. Imagine if we had to do it again. <laughs> that would suck, honestly. Yeah, there's actually one thing that I thought that could be a fun thing to do, Hatchet. Like, together. But I got too much shit to catch up on, so we can't do it anytime soon. Oh, you're muted. I'll wait till you're unmuted. Anyways, Danger Noodles and Hatch's chat, I am now taking yeah. over. I... My dad came into my room, so I had to move. Yeah. So what were you saying? I said, there's this one thing I thought was a, a fun idea. You know how I've been doing Pokemon Nuzlocks? Yeah. There's this thing called the Soul Nuzlocke. Okay. Where basically, if your Pokemon dies, the exact Pokemon that I got at the same time as yours would also die. Even if it's alive on my team. What? Okay, let's say your, your starter faints, okay? That would also classify my starter head is dead and cannot be used anymore. Yeah, the Soul Link Nuzlocke, Bookworm. Okay. Why do we care? The reason I was thinking is we can we actually have a game that could set it up perfectly for us. And it's free. And uh we can also randomize it so we can actually have overpowered Pokemon at the beginning. <laughs> So it's not as difficult. Which is Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Like, you... Uh, yeah, that's free to anyone to use. I mean, that that assumes that I'm actually interested in playing a Pokemon game. Yeah, I was just thinking, because... Honestly, I thought it'd kind of be a bit fun, and I can introduce you to Pokemon at the same time. I'm very well introduced to Pokemon as a concept. Well, I meant, like... Trust me, Trust me, hentai has done that well enough. 
Yeah. Infinite fusion is fun. I don't like Pokemon, but... <laughs> Oh wait. I huh? think I think I think Robin's making a sex joke. How surprising. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I am still begging and hoping it's the flying Dutchman. Still begging and hoping and begging and hoping and begging and hoping. Oh my god. The cringe insane and nightmare fusion that can happen. Okay, so I guess Robin is actually talking about Infinite Fusion the game, rather than making a sex joke. Yeah, Infinite Fusion the game is by far my, my favorite Pokemon game so far, even if it's not made by Nintendo. It may or may not be the fact that I created a, a very almost unstoppable Pokemon. A very almost unstoppable Pokemon. Do you even hear yourself? I'm sorry. It's just a Pokemon. Like it was the it was the three hit combo. Remember when I kept telling you that? Yeah. Like honestly, I just put on a team just for shits and giggles at first, and then it became like the MVP on the team. <laughs> Kinda can't be unstoppable if it's almost unstoppable. <laughs> Says Buck. True. But I think Bookhorn was there every time I used it. <laughs> so I think they know how deadly it was. Marijuana keep telling you that it's all I hear. That was not a sex joke. No, it is, though. <laughs> now, I will say, there was one time that was funny that I used it. Uh, um, it was basically... It was Sheninja, which just has the Wonder Guard, like, one hit. Where only super effective hits can hurt it. Hmm. None of my team members, I think, could hurt it, so I just threw it out there, hypnosed it, hoping bad dreams would slowly drain at its health. But it had Shininja's 1 HP, so once it had bad dreams, it just flat out died immediately before even doing an attack. <laughs> Rip. It was funny as shit. I don't- I'm not sure if it got clipped. No. Oh. Wow, lag is down bad. I'm not noticing any lag. Yeah, me either. Oh, now I'm seeing it. Some of it- oh no, that wasn't. I was just doing the same thing. a bit down bad. Oh, okay. Uh. Why do I feel so tired? Right, tell me something interesting. Uh, Tom has sugar in it. You failed to tell me something in the rest. I'm not lying though, there actually is sugar in it. Still, you failed to tell me something interesting. Which is why I will say it's the only type of, of sugary candy that tastes salty to me. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you in the spine. <laughs> wow, that just... I, I try to lean toward absurd and... Absurd, absurd threats, but yeah, that one was just real. Rip. Keep saying down bad. Oh. Wow, lag is down now. Oh, okay. I'm... 
no salt in my... I'm... I... Believe it or not... But I'm having... Random tire trouble. Everything is harder to think about. Nothing down bad. I'm not down bad. I'm just misreading things. Because yeah, out of the two of us, that uh, person had just chat. I know when it's down bad. I have a blue Twitch account. Shut up. No advertising your degeneracy here. I wish things were harder. <laughs> Oh my gods, these tools are gonna give me a fucking heart attack. Finally! Are you using the ladder? Yeah, I had it over here using it for a minute. I ended up switching to not using oh it. Oh my a god. Bit. What? You're the tools thing that you're going after. Yeah. I feel so bad for you. This thing is awful. I'm going to use the... What is this thing? Orb of Confusion. It's a step ladder. I got not safe for work account on a platform I will... I will not divulge. <laughs> I post all things there. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps for affinity? Maybe 36. Oh, I, for, I forget what the number site is. 369, 302. What are you reading? Seven. I'm not reading anything in that. I'm trying to remember something. Yeah. What a replacement. Oh, you mean, uh, Blue Sky? Didn't they shut down or something? No, they did not. As far as I know, they're doing decent. Uh, I'm thinking of something else. So I know there was an animation company that shut down that, that made popular movies. Oh, well, yeah, that's an anime. That's... Oh, wait, Booker says you I, might be referring not... to Blue Sky Studios. Yeah, we're not talking about an animation studio. Ah. I literally just out loud said the words Twitter replacement. In what way does an animation studio replace Twitter? Honestly, <laughs> anything is better than actual Twitter at this point. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that it's a replacement for Twitter. <laughs> Finally! I hate this. I hate this so much. I look upon these gadgets, and my brain says, Wow, you're stupid. Why are you doing this? I better be getting paid absurd amount of money. By who? By you. Give me money. I'm flat out broke. Sorry, bitch. I'm taking this. You just got money from refunding that game. Give it to me. <laughs> Look, I, I have medical debt. I, I can't pay you shit. Medical debt, medical debt. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not telling the username. No gods know with all that.
had time. But you, you had like... money to buy games? I was gifted a Steam yeah. gift card. <laughs> Doubt any of it would phase you all. Oh yeah, like you gotta keep in mind, Robin, like I I fucking uh constantly look at hentai. Almost constantly. When I'm not like obviously talking with people. Mostly just because I generally appreciate horny art. Wait, what the fuck? Steam support sent me two emails what? saying that my my problem has been solved and that they refunded me. <laughs> Did I get refunded twice? <laughs> OMG Hatch, I think you got a problem. I do not have a problem. I don't touch horny art unless it's furry. I mean, that's valid. I touch all forms of horny art. And I clipped the... <laughs> shme ...shmedical debt thing. <laughs> Great, I'm getting cancelled. Bookworm's cancelling me. What's Bookworm doing? Bookworm is canceling me because they uh, clipped the medical medical death thing that I mentioned. <laughs> Yay! I'm not being canceled for once. This is what happens when I play games and am abnormally tired feeling. I'm cleaning the hand of justice. I'm cleaning, uh, what is this? A uh, superhero super gadgety? What? Oh no, this is, uh, M O S S G M dot M utility belt. Go to bed then. No, I literally woke up like three or four hours ago. I think it's just the game that's lulling me into tired. That and it being darker down in my bedroom basement. Ah, excuse me. Okay, is that... Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that... Go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. Nah, that ain't happening. Also, can I say one thing, Hatchet? What? I, I forgot what these... Uh... What the fuck is this called? A life buoy. I looked at life buoy for one second, like, out of the corner of my eye, and I thought it was Jigsaw's, Jigsaw's face. <laughs> I don't know how. I just corner of my eye, I was like, wait, what? What's Jigsaw doing here? Balls of steel. I just cleaned the balls of steel. Okay, I'm singing Hush by Mountain. You won't be able to last the whole song. I have no idea what that means. What the fuck is Hush by Mountain? Hush by Mountain? Oh, I know that yeah. song. It's... I don't think I've ever heard of it. It's a song that's... that's... It's more of a melody-like song. It, it It's used to put people to sleep, basically. You mean lullaby, right? Lullaby, yeah. I am have it's a character... More of a, it's more of a melody song. I have a character named Lullaby. I can't even think the word lullaby. I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> you're a disgrace. Oh my god, it's Peppy. What are you doing under there? Peppy is now under my fucking table.
Okay, Bookworm, pick a number that you believe is a perfect rating of my intelligence. Old Disney movie about car that can go on water and flies. Okay. I am waiting for Bookworm's answer. <laughs> Negative 100. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a solid two. How can I have a negative number as my intelligence? I don't know, you figured it out. <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy lost episode. There's a fucking VHS tape here. Wouldn't Power Washing a VHS tape destroy it? Right? Yes. Do you think that a VHS tape would be able to survive underwater? Oh, no. This entire situation is bullshit. <laughs> We're power washing things that are underwater. Why are you trying to apply logic all of a sudden? We washed an invisible boat car earlier. Okay, I'm gonna say that I've gotten that well enough and move on so that... I don't lose my mind. Got it, finally. Huh. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Would you like to try out oh, the well. Hand of Justice? It's just the hand that just smacks you in the ass. <laughs> Fancy. The thing is, More I'll be like... into this machine. So can you turn it on? No. I'm gonna turn you into a bottle of ointment. <laughs> oh my god, it's the crime on this thing. What did they do to this god's damn computer to make it so dirty? Do you really need to answer that question? <laughs> it ain't that kind of dirtiness. <laughs> kids, kids, if you're... Wait, I shouldn't say kids. People out there, if your semen comes out as fucking orange and green, go to the hospital. I don't know. Negative numbers, Lord. Oh my gosh, Hatchet, we got it. I think we got a new nozzle. Oh, the Deep Cleaner 4000 Turbo Nozzle. That's been there the whole time. I've never noticed it. <laughs> uh, it's the fucking spinny bullshit. Oh, yeah. You hadn't noticed that we have the spinny nozzle? Hey, quit cleaning my shit. This is my shit. I'm not cleaning it, I'm cleaning you. And I'm spraying parts that are already clean. Ooh. I'm gonna fill my fucking power washer up with horse sperm and spray it all over your hard work. Can you spray it on me instead? No. Why? There's nothing wrong with being covered in spray. What'd you say, Apollo? I said, you guys worry me sometimes. 
Yeah. Also, oh, the Patrick Star. The Council of the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances. Oh, yeah, I remember that episode. That was a fun episode. Who would you be, SpongeBob? Were they the fast one? Yeah. You want to see me run to that rock? You want to see me do it again? <laughs> I would be elastic waistband. With those stretching powers, I could change the, ch the channel without finding the remote. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get bongs for saying I don't mind being covered in cum. What was that, Apollo? I'm, I'm it surprised. It said, give me 20 seconds. I'm Ow. surprised I wasn't... I'm surprised I wasn't clipped telling you that I'm gonna spray horse sperm everywhere. And the fact that I wanted you to spray me with it. I more than don't uh. mind. Oh, gee, I missed that says <laughs> book. I would also like to see that clip too on my channel too. Well. Okay, right? You yes. Take a look at your uh Yeah, I saw me being bonked. Good bonk. <laughs> bonked a lot. Congratulations, bonks have been done. The earth is healing. Bonks have been deployed. Bonks deployed. Tactical bonks inbound. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm, I'm imagining? Is that America, instead of sending uh, soldiers into battle, they just send doges with bats. <laughs> That's animal cruelty. <laughs> that is uh, not recommended. I mean, they use sea lions to define mine, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do that with doggos. Oh, did you guys know about that? They use sea lions to find mines. I mean, they use snails in World War II because... Wait, what uh, was that? A dirt? Uh, not, not a dirt nut, Paula. What was that? I said they use snails in World War... Like, whichever one developed with mustard gas. Yeah. World War One. Yeah, they use snails because they could, like, they, they could, like, tell if the mustard gas was in the air, and if your snail went off, you put on your gas mask, and they if used canaries and... If <laughs> your snail canaries. went off! <laughs> I don't know what the snail did! Oh, um, uh, but sir, I know... <laughs> uh, sir, we got him a situation. The snail is making a sound similar to that of an angry moose. What do we do when that happens? <laughs> no, but like, they also used canaries in like coal mines and stuff. Well, yeah. Um, and like, because they would also like, they like either, like, I don't know what they did, but like. But what I was they, told that if they, they see the canary die, and, like, then they need to leave. Yeah, it, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. It's like the CO2 levels or something. Yeah, to check for gas leaks. Yeah. However, I'm still being internally entertained by the prospect of a snail going off. Yeah. The funny thing is, how they teach sea lions to find mines, I kid you not, they made video games for the sea lions. Checks out. <laughs> that out. Um. All right, soldier flipper flucker. I know that you've been working hard to get ready for your first chance to get blown the fuck up. But you gotta follow the instructions of our tutelage. 
by playing this stupid VR game first. Okay, okay, okay. So I did a Google. So it was it was in 1918, right? Um, the U.S. Army enlisted garden slots to like be carried into the trenches and stuff because they are more sensitive to mustard gas and can react to levels of one particular or particle per 10 to 12 million. When exposed, snails respond by compressing their bodies and closing their breathing holes. So the snails went off. Snails just scrunch up. And, and like the snails would like they could survive it every day so like if, if your snail went off do you mean slugs yeah I mean snails slugs they use both <laughs> they use both you say yes I believe so the snails and slugs are different things yeah But like, they um, like horses, dogs, and humans would die, and like, they, the slugs would survive still. Oh yeah. Fun fact: slugs are immune to mustard gas. Interesting. Yeah. Speaking of. Of animals, I remember this. I think I've talked about this before, but I, I still find it funny how there's one animal that aquariums fear to ever put in, and it's the the mantis shrimp because they will flat out murder everything <laughs> that they're yeah, aware. Most, so most aquariums I've seen that have mantis shrimp have like just specific enclosures for the shrimp. Yeah, like. No, the reason I bring this up because apparently I forgot which state, but they they tried putting it with other animals, and it just flat out murdered everything. <laughs> yeah, they're they're assholes. <laughs> they're like I can only be here. <laughs> There's only room for one crustacean in this aquarium. Oh yeah. Also speaking with animals, there's this even though it's not an animal, uh, there's still there's this one Reddit post I, I saw that I forgot which uh, Reddit it was in, but basically they're just getting so mad at the fact that viruses aren't classified as an animal, which I don't think it possibly can. Hold on, repeat. Uh. Bright said that someone was getting mad that viruses aren't classified as an animal. Uh, and I, I would not classify a virus as an animal. Like, I guess? Because they're... Hold on, let me do a Google. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, they're not classified because I think there's like couple of things and we'll read why. It depends. It's not what we typically would consider an animal, but it is a bit weird, says Bookworm. It's just, this stream just been turning into, let's learn about animals. In which case, hatchets, spit fish facts. <laughs> uh... Alligator gars look scary, but they're actually really cool and sweet fish. Oh yeah, I never uh, told you what I did recently, Hatchet. What? There's this, uh, uh, a pond at, at this, uh, I, I 
it's not a national park, but you're not allowed to mess with animals there. It's a different thing, entirely separate. I, I don't know what to call it. But anyways. Reserve? Huh? Reserve? Probably. But anyways, I went there. And uh, we got to touch some fish. And an alligator gar was one of them. I got to touch one. Oh. Cool. They, they, they were really friendly. Yeah, they're, they're very chill fish. <laughs> Assuming you aren't, like, a tenth of their size, they pose literally no threat to you. Yeah. So. Do a Google. Wait, so people actually say that? Yeah, some, some folks do. say that. I do indeed. Um, so, viruses are neither classified as plants or animals. A virus is a tiny, basic, infectious agent that can only reproduce in living cells, animals, plants, and microorganisms. Viruses occupy a special taxonomic position. They are not plants, animals, or prokaryotic bacteria, single cell organisms without defined nuclei, and they are generally placed in their own kingdom. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Hatchet, you know what SCP-610 changed from a virus to a fungal infection? Okay. You Would thought they? of something? Huh? Okay, sorry. You got cut off on my end. What are you saying? I was, I was saying, you know how SCP-610 turned from a virus to a fung fungal infection? Yeah. Would it be classified as an animal because of what it does? <laughs> no. No, it wouldn't. What SCP? SCP-610. A.K.A. the flesh that hates. The fungal infection created by the goddess who hates free will on humans. The costumes... Oh, choose here. Choose here. Yeah, we're doing the Spongebob thing. Hey, oh, Chew. yeah. You know who this is, Chew? <laughs> a dirty boat. Yep. The dirty bubble is supposedly the cause behind everything getting all messy. However, but even though they're chained up. But yeah, though the dirty bubble is also currently yeah. behind in there. Okay. Um, right. There, there is no way in hell that SCP-610 is in any way an animal. There is no way you could twist the definition of an animal to fit it ever. It's almost as bright. It's almost as if bright is dumb. Oh my God, but would it would it have its own classification since it switched from no, a virus? No, because it's a disease. Yeah. It's just a disease. Well. It's a um, because a, 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 fungal, a fungal infection is an infection. It is a disease. Right. But yeah, but it's still like within a kingdom. Yeah. That's what I'm like, trying to aim at. But no. I, I was thinking what it had of its own thing because it does something different from viruses, like reanimating the corpse, for instance. <laughs> There's a fungus that does that. Really? In real life? There, there's literally a fungus that does that. Right. Oh my oh, god. It's on a very small talked... scale, but it does do that. You have talked about cordyceps before, right? I have forgotten. I'm sorry. Uh... You yeah, absolute no. fungus. Yeah, the, the, the main reason I was thinking it would have its own kingdom is it, it's developed the ability to use weapons and religion. No. King, right, At that kingdom point... classifications are not based upon the ability to make weapons and religion. So, when speaking about scientific kingdoms, they are a classification of being, because I'm, like, throwing in, like, the plant kingdoms and stuff, like, they are 
technically living, they're just non conscientious. So mm. they're kind of sense. They're just being thrown into. It. But they are a classification of families. Right? So we have like <clears throat> we have like the overarching animal kingdom which has like subfamilies of like your your cats and your like fish and stuff right and then like plants you have like your i don't know flowers and like your fungus right no fungus are not plants They're sorry you're right but like it's it's families sharing specific traits um and like animal is like hold on oh uh, yeah okay so it's mm-hmm. okay so the animal kingdom is all eukaryotic multicellular organisms with specialized tissues. Most of them are motile. Um, they all require a source of food to grow and develop. They are heterophobic, ingesting, and living or dead organic matter. That Those are features of the animal kingdom. <laughs> that, 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 like, that there, it's a bunch of things that fit into the category that makes it a quote-unquote kingdom. Yeah. Oh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Which super acquaintance would I be? Super question. Good question, Patrick. <laughs> anyway, Bookworm says making weapons and religion is just humans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd that, be... that is exactly what we do. That is what we have done for centuries, yeah. millennia, even. <laughs> Yeah, SpongeBob also says, I beat a quickster, able to tra- travel fast distances at the speed of light. I, I don't know, too, why Man to Man Ray is, is not locked up, but Dirty Pubble is. Wait, would I still get tired if I ran the rock bottom in under a second? Would I then collapse of exhaustion? <laughs> That's a good question, SpongeBob. If so, I want that. I can't. <laughs> SpongeBob's logic is flawed. Yeah. Man Ray's supposed to be the one in the frozen tartar sauce. Maybe did it's man to man Ray. Pronounce, did you just pronounce tartar sauce as tartar sauce? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's a, it's the name of a Star Wars character. <laughs> tartar sauce. <laughs> I do not believe you are correct. Tartar sauce. <laughs> that hurt my ears, is too. <laughs> I'm in bed now. Hey, I'm so sick. Say it like that. F you. <laughs> People actually dead ass say it like tartar sauce? Ha! So that means I wouldn't be the only one. That doesn't mean it's correct. <laughs> I have literally only ever heard it pronounced as tartar. I need to sit down and work on mod art. It sounds more like tartar. This is chew. Yeah. Tartar, tartar, tartar. I was just making the the, the joke with tartar sauce being char char. Just one letter change. How the fuck do you say it? It's Any Jar Jar's way? cousin, Tartar. Tartar. Tartar sauce is not in your teeth. What? Uh, I don't get what you mean, Robin. The, the effeminate urge to just rework how Stardew Valley does their portrait 
is wrong. Uh, right, I mean, it's next... literally the exact same, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> she says, right, were you standing next to the Orb of Confusion for over there for too long? Ironically enough, I'm the one who cleaned that. Actually, it was cl soon after I cleaned that, I started feeling tired, so maybe that's what it was. <laughs> the Orb of Confusion got to me. You're welcome. Oh, that sounds... Fun. Uh, da, 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 da. So like, I so very much want. This isn't what the word confusion does, is you. No, it makes you confused. Yeah, but when I'm confused, I get tired. Uh, catch it. Yes. The urge to make a full body Stardew Fortress mod is. it's Ooh. heavy. Cool. Yes. But I just. So, in that way, Turner and relation to your gums, and Tartar in relation to the sauce would have two different pronunciations or spellings. No. I'm, no? I'm lost. What? No? What two, is happening in the chat? A, a word can mean two same things while being spelled the same. Like, for example, there is a difference between the pronunciation of bow and bow, but there's also bow on its own. Bow, bow, bow. Which bows were I just was I just describing? You don't know, because it describes both a type of ribbon, a type of weapon. And an action. Yeah. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> that's fair. Alright. Um. Not the dirty bubble. What, what else is there? Panic with sharp objects. Go near him. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> what? I was talking to the dirty bubble because she wanted me to go near him. Oh, okay. You can tie a bow on a bow while bowing. Or a bow. There's nothing wrong with me. I am completely normal and well adjusted and safe. Wait, hold on. Or a bow. Okay. I don't can know. you repeat uh, the things about animals, what makes it for the classification of it again? I don't want to do that. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Let me pull it back up again. I, I mean, I was going to say I can look it up later. No, it's fine. What makes the animal kingdom? Okay. All animals are eukaryotic, multicellular organisms. And almost all animals have specialized tissues. Most animals are motile, at least during certain life stages. Animals require a source of food to grow and develop. All animals are hetero heterotrophic. Ingesting living or dead organic matter. Okay. This is coming straight from pressbooks.umn.edu. So it is coming straight from a like school textbook. I don't know what school, but it's coming straight from a textbook. <clears throat> I'm a homotropic. I. <laughs> I don't know what that actually means. Let what me find out. Mean? Yeah, what does tropic Hetero mean? Heterotrophic. Heterotrophic. Heterotroph is an organism that eats other plants or animals for energy and nutrients. The okay, term, so... The term stems from the Greek word hetero for other and troph for nourishment. If you are homotrophic, you are a cannibal. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, so, I guess congrats. <laughs> you can only uh, eat uh, your own kind. Sorry, sorry, hold on. Organisms are characterized into two broad categories. 
based upon how they obtain their energy and nutrients. Autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs made you eat yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm a herbivore plant fox, so not new info. Yeah, but what this would mean is that you can only eat... Like, if, if you're homotropic, it means you would only be able to eat your species. Yeah, that'd be cannibalism. Yeah. Uh, heterotrophic means you're eating other things, things not related to you. Um, yeah. So it'd be like, as a human, I eat cow. I eat cow like meat. Or I eat cabbage. Like, stuff like that. Why did, why did your first two things be cow and cabbage? I don't know. Those are the first two things that came to my brain. I was like... Yes, autotropic means you eat yourself. It's like auto cannibalism. You are cannibalizing yourself. Homotropic means you are eating, like, so Homo sapien. Um, it's like what we as humans are. Um, Homo is Greek for same. Homo is. Um, Oh, same. It sounded like you said sape. Like, no. <laughs> homo is no. Greek for sapien. <laughs> no. Hom homo is Greek for same. Right? That that's where homo sapien. Same. It's like the same thing. Right? So they're like something like that. Right? Or like, you know? And so when we say homotropic, we are specifically saying that's cannibalism. Because you are eating the same thing. As yourself. Yes. Where hetero means other. And tropic means nutrient. Or nourishment or whatever. So it's nourishment from other things. So nourishment from same things is homotropic. And then autotropic, you are getting nourishment from your... So that'd be like plants. I would say. Because like... Yes, they get it from like sunlight and stuff, but like that sunlight goes, it, it, you know. Yes, that that is what we are saying, Robin. Yeah. So. Yeah. I decided to just type in a random stupid question in, into Google. Uh, oh no. What? Is SCP disease and microorganisms be classified as animals. And it actually brought ones that would be classified. Then at the very bottom, it shows SCP-610. Yes. I see what you mean. Yes. I guess. Yeah. As a herbivorous plant fox. Yes. Um. But like... Aren't foxes... Foxes are omnivorous, right? What? I I mean, yeah, they are, but I think Robin, like, within their OC. Yes. Yeah, I get different. it. I'm a rare herbivore, herbivore fox, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I love I love debating upon Greek Greek words. Great. Yeah. It brings such joy to my uh, my vocabulary. Any other crazy questions I need to do the Google for, right? No. You ever think? I you just ever think. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Atchet. No, no, you go ahead. No. I, you were talking and I cut you off, so I was like, "You fucking go ahead." You I know, dick. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm jokingly being passive aggressive. Anyway, uh, I was gonna say, have you ever thought about how hardcore uh, the waterproofing on this fucking computer is? <laughs> like, yeah, either this is, I have um, actually. Like, either this is somehow a computer that operates in an extremely conductive liquid, or 
Uh, this thing is the most waterproof thing in the in the world. And that's not even yeah. touching on any of Plankton stuff. Yeah, or, or like SpongeBob's TV. Yeah. I am okay. I am now convinced, and you cannot tell me I'm wrong. Karen is an Apple Watch screen put on legs. I'm pretty sure she's too big for that. Well, thinking about how small, like, okay, you can't say she's too big for that because of like this, like there's no like actual scale. To SpongeBob. I mean, there's some scale that we see multiple times, and I we know, like, like, like we know that, say, for example, uh, she was not receiving <laughs> attention. <laughs> like we know, for example, that uh, Patrick is the approximate size of the average sea star. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm I guess. So um, I'm, but like. Yeah. Right, go ahead. No, it's it's chill. Um, there's a calculator baby involved. I'm not even kidding. I I just looked up Karen, and in like the pictures I see, there's just Karen holding a baby, and it looks like a calculator. Uh yeah, I was gonna say that Karen oh, does have a, and have a kid. 20, you big piece of trash. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Auntie, you'll be clean by yourself for a bit. Okay. Um. I know you I mean, I know trill like can refer to like a certain. Robin. That's what happens when I don't get a function. Right? It's a trouble. Oh, and, uh, Robin, I think, uh, also, Robin, I think, uh, if you're talking about Apollo, I think Apollo... Don't you use he, him, and they, them pronoun? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I use... I mean, I use all of them, so it's chill. Yeah. It's a trill? <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, Yeah. I don't I don't know what you're talking about, Robin. <gasps> oh my gosh, Hatchet, come over to me. You're gonna... You're gonna like seeing this. Also, Chu says don't forget those squats, Bright. I already did the squats. Alright. Oh, I did right, chill. This, this... Oh, chill. What I'm looking at. Oh. Look, get, okay, bend down I and look close. Chill. <laughs> oh, it. oh. Sorry. Oh, I got, yeah. I got... <laughs> so that, so that, that's going to be a mix of Midwestern. My sinuses are stuffed and I have a lisp. <laughs> Chu, don't get mad just because I, I wasn't giving you attention. I just didn't want to cut people off. I did do the squats. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know Patrick got his driver's license. Yeah, I knew. Well, hey, Pat I mean, I knew Patrick had one. I was surprised when Bump got theirs. I think there was an episode where they did get it and Miss Puff regrets it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't blame her either. Um. <laughs> Fuck people, I'm more important and want attention. Anyways, about the asking questions, Apollo, uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm good because I now have a bunch of SCPs that apparently. Uh, basically answered the question I was gonna ask for me. <laughs> But I'll just read them later. I see, I see. Now my long hair is gonna be annoying. 
Now that it's clean. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, that's the thing, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Also, is it just me who finds it terrifying how 610, uh... Evolved to the point of developing weapons and religion. I mean, I don't know. if if you're bothered by that, that's a you problem. Well, I was just saying, cause I was just saying, if it was terrifying, I'm not bothered by it. I mean, it is what it is. Come back to me when I, I develop. Sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> We developed weapons and religion and killed out every other heterosapien species there was. Yeah. Well, that's the problem with dealing with 610. Like, if you expose it to something it's weak to, it'll evolve to the point it's no longer weak to it. Listen, I stay up at nights thinking about the creepypastas I was listening to when I was younger, still give me nightmares. Why does Chu want to eat 610? Chu, honey, are you good? <laughs> Wait you, a minute. You need help? Blink twice if you need help. Why do you want to eat a, a fungal infection that will kill you, turn you inside out, and reanimate your corpse? Ah, I am getting, I am getting validation from <laughs> She was part saying, of course I want to eat things. As he said before, he is perfectly normal, so... She was okay being torn- Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have to finish that sentence. <laughs> no one. I just got, I just got my weekly validation from I would pay more attention to what you've been putting in finger painting if I just paid attention to Discord more in general. Yes. I don't want to know what these fucking creatures are. Plus, P L Y S? The fuck's that? I'm built different. Anyway, whoa, the wall of superhero gadgetry. Says Patrick. It means plus plus. Ah. I still right. don't know Do why. Do not I'm recognize an obvious typo. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. To recognize a typo, you need to first have a brain. Oh, fuck off. After sleep, sleepiness is the thing. Yeah. Why is the grime on this computer so fucking thick? I don't know. It hasn't been seen in about four decades. But here's the thing, uh, though, I just re remembered. Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about 610 because where it's located is in Russia. And um, I don't think a lot of people like Russia at the moment. That's fair. So, <laughs> Hatchet? Hmm? Have you gotten around to playing um, Wolfenstein Youngblood? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, from the from the looks of it, it's not good, and they're bringing another one out. So apparently they've they've released two more Wolfenstein games since the last one you played, um, and they're not good. Oh uh, yeah, I I was looking at uh on the PC Game Pass. And I saw all the Wolfenstein games on there. Yeah, it's, it's a Bethesda property. Yeah, and Bethesda I also saw Atomic Heart. And that's actually a game I wanted to play. 
so slow. Speaking of powers, is Shoes allowed to have enemy powers now? No, just as you asked. What kind of anime powers? I've the boring kind. <laughs> I feel like I need to to draw up what my like artist like like artist rendition character looks like. You know? I don't think I have like an artist soda. Sorry. Grab what everyone else forbade Chu from having. Well, Chu can have boring powers, we don't care. <laughs> Anything else, no. <laughs> boring powers. Yes, the, the ability I to bore don't anyone. Want to know what that is. No. <laughs> so I, I don't like that Chu has that power. Not that me, Chu! I said that. That's, that's oh. what they said. Oh, I thought you said you. I was like, what? <laughs> Am I sorry. that sick? No. But, like, am I am I that sick that the mixture of the list and the the midwestern accent is that like un like un un like hearable? I mean, I recognize what you said. See, the thing about that hatchet is. We have very similar accents. Do we? I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm just that sick. Alright, time to differentiate. Slayer. <laughs> Lost the lead. Game. Oh my lead. god. I mean, if you really wanted to differentiate that bad, like, I could have gone southern. Although it'd probably be awful to to listen to with the the sinus problem I got right now. My favorite flavor is meth. Hatchet, Hatchet, <laughs> please stop. Stop what? Oh wait, she was asking a question to Apollo. Apollo, yes or no? Shu can be trusted with enemy abilities such as Majin Buu's transformation beam. Hold on. I'm not paying attention to that. What? I just read- oh, okay. Apollo, yes or no? Shu can be trusted with enemy abilities such as Majin Buu's transformation beam. I'm hoping I'm saying the name correctly. Hold on. Hold on. I, I have terrible pronunciations or some words, so I'm sorry if I said something wrong. Um... Mr. Thick. 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 How did you pronounce that correctly? Jew! Jew, don't you know it's only the, the simple words that Frank can't pronounce? <laughs> yeah, how you can pronounce that with that tar I like I like how Bright had to restart harder. <laughs> um, the answer is I don't know. It's been so long since I've watched Dragon Ball. Um, I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> Ajin Vu used used that power to turn someone into cookies and eat them. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, fam. We good. You can't have... Basically, like I said, the boring power. <laughs> you can't have that. It's a lot more than boring power, right? <laughs> she so... says, that's not a no, I win. And Dana Pano says no. So, I'm looking at the Dragon Ball Wiki right now. And it says that the, the transformation beam was debuted in an anime episode named, titled Meal Time. Yes. I 
I don't know how to feel about that. But as um, you're... Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm just... I'm reading through it. Yeah. But, uh, basically, Chu... Probably how I know how to say Majin Buu's name is... I watched that time I got recreated as a slime and one of the species is called Majin. They're not... What? That is not the name of a species in that series. What? That is a term okay. used to describe people who use magic, if I remember correctly. Oh. I don't know. So we have Cookie, Candy, Chocolate, Clay, Healing, yes, and so Carton of Milk so far. Uh, we have an egg. <laughs> Why do you say the Smithers? Chocolate. Yes, the law. I don't know. Coffee flavored jawbreaker. I need the ladder. There's... So it looks like it's used. It's usually used to turn people into sweets. Or building materials. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh. Apparently. It has two terms, Hatchet, for what Majin could be in, in, in the anime. It could either be for in, a catch, catch all term for intelligent monsters, or the. The hu uh, humanoid with strong power. Right. So either way, you were wrong. Yeah, I, I was just looking up. So, <laughs> hold on. What were we debating on? Majin. And that time I, I got reincarnated it's as a the, sign. It's a race. In Dragon Ball, it's a race. Well, not in Dragon Ball, it's talking about a different show. <laughs> Oh, then I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super Boo turned Bonjour. a boulder into no. a porta potty once. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that looks crazy. Um. Alright, what's our next topic? We've already vetoed the, uh. The transformation. Meaning, I can turn anything into anything, so I can has? No. I, I vetoed that shit, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry, that allowing you to have that kind of scares me. And plus, it'll be overpowered. Um, I mean, even when I get to the point of describing my powers, so, it they, they have weaknesses. So, <laughs> change it up, pick a different anime part. <laughs> she says um, why. You're getting like, discussion why. I don't know. I'm fairly certain I'm gonna give my artist Sono B. Why does no one trust me? Because you're Chew, that's why. So, like, I'm, I'm gonna give myself wings made out of light. Alright. Uh, Chew, you get all of the powers of Connie Springer. Him? It's Attack on Titan uh, character. I use my abilities for good 90%. <laughs> Alright, so we have. I mean, yeah. 90% of the time. <laughs> also, I just. I don't know. I, also, Hatchet, since you watched. You watched Attack on Titan fully, right? Yes. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Are, like, this, the swords they use. Like, not strong enough, or the Titan's body is really durable because aren't swords meant to last long through cutting so, bodies or something okay. like that? They're, so they're, this... huh? They're, they're based, they're based upon razors. Like, they're extremely thin, ah. so they dull very easily. 
Okay. So, also, the Titans are basically indestructible, except for, like, what, uh, a five-inch section on the nape of their neck or some shit? Back of the neck to the nape of the Or, back of the head to the nape of the neck. Yeah, it's like a five-inch section, and you have to hit it perfectly. Trying or else your, your blades are shot. Yeah, uh, ten, what was it, ten centimeters across and, uh, one meter tall. Oh, oh. Maybe it isn't that you're spraying water, maybe you're spraying air, or spraying water so fast that it displaces the surrounding water, perhaps. Possibly. All of y'all are mean to me, says Chu. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's fine. I'm an older sister. I'm used to being mean to people. I'm the voice of unreason. And an asshole. I'm serious. Where the fuck is this last dirt? I never have to justify it. I'm the older sister. Where the fuck is this last dirt on this fucking computer case? Is that it? Is that it I just saw? <laughs> I don't have to. I'm the older sister, too. <laughs> My reasons are just because. Which is why we break down the hierarchy of adulthood versus childhood. Bad. That's not the voice of Reeks, and that's pettiness. <laughs> this is you. Who are you talking to? Can you say that? Who? Who do you think? The person who just said that they are the voice of reason? Perhaps. Oh my god. Where is this fucking dirt? Is that it? Is that the dirt? Okay. It was somebody speaking to this is Jill. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the dirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 To say indestructible, um, they just have like insane regenerative abilities. Um, and yeah, it's it's like the the nape of the neck of a titan is approximately three foot by like four and a half inches, three foot long, four and a half inches tall, um, and you're swinging by wires and you have to hit it right on or else you're not gonna get another chance and you basically just lost the fight Congrats, <laughs> and that's why they switched to just fucking bombing the nape eventually <laughs> yeah hence why they just got fucking explosives at some point and like there's also like the the gun variant of the ODM gear, but like, I hate that one, cause like, yeah, yeah, um, but like, the, the gun variant, it's stupid because you can't use your guns while you're attached to things, because when you're attached to things, it's attached out, like, from inside of the barrel of the gun. I will do so. Um, but like, it just, it makes no sense to me. I mean, where else are you going to put the anchor on a gun that you're using to move around with? <laughs> she says yeah, they're unbelievably disappointed right now. I'm sorry, too. I can't help you. Um, uh -oh. I, I kind of get it. It's, it's, it makes more sense to aim where you're going to hook, like, your, your grapple to or whatever, your, your anchor, with your hands and then your hips it's just incredibly um annoying um uh, uh, <laughs> when it comes to fighting while you're stream stream ah swing the, the droxo is very tired today's ep the droxo has had a very long day of swiping tofu and rice and wants to take it just a drunks sleep and need a bed by time goods goods nighty by hatchet 
All right. Have okay. a good night, Robin. Yeah, see you later, Robin. Bye. Also, a random person I don't know. All right, Chew. If you really want this power, I'm going to need a five slide slideshow using the five on five rule. Um, that explains to me why you should have it. I will look at it and give you my answers tomorrow. Or on the next business day or whatever. And then you'll know. have to convince everyone else. And then you'll have to convince everybody else after I approve it. <laughs> we'll shut- we'll shut down to having superpowers with bureaucracy. <laughs> no, you gotta do that every night. But just find it hilarious. It's it's fair, Robin. Now have a very good night. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Okay, so is everything on the computer done? Is it telling you you have more to do? Well, that's what I'm going to go check. So I have a serious question. Hmm. Yeah. When can when can we go battle ghost? What? Oh, Faz? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I it mostly rely upon what Bright wants to do because I'm I'm down really whenever. Right. I don't know, I haven't planned my schedule for uh next week yet. I can let you know then. That works for me. I mean, we could just put, like, one fast stream on the weekend. Instead of only doing power wash sim. Yeah, but the weekend's when I have my day shifts, too. So, I'm gonna be really tired. That's uh, That's why I put either this or tier listening, because it's not difficult. No. I've been watching so many Phasmophobia streams to to prepare for for playing Phasmo with you guys. I can use it to end world hunger by creating unlimited food supply. I can make all the bad people go away. Chew has mostly good intentions. Be chew can be reasonable when I need to. Chew won't let it fall into the wrong hands. There are five reasons. Okay, Chew. So, the, the make all the bad people go away. What constitutes a bad person? And are you playing judge, jury, and executioner? Because if so, no. I can play judge, jury, and executioner. Right? No. I do that in GTA all the time. Right, Hatchet? Right? No. Sorry, am I supposed to respond to that? Yes. I mean, I would generally assume that Chu's metric for the bad people would primarily be coming down to the capitalist class. <laughs> and people like that. <laughs> <laughs> there are five reasons. Bright gets it, and obviously I meant the worst humanity has to offer. You mean, when you get the com- <laughs> I'm not reading that sentence right. I'm not bright. God damn it. Bookworm. Right. <laughs> that was one instance, and I- And ever since then, I pay attention to who I kill because of it. It was one instance, Bookworm! Honestly, a large part of it isn't just pay attention to who you're killing, it's like the context of which. Right. Yes. Unironically, I have over four, uh, four and a half thousand points. Okay, and? <laughs> I'm gonna use all of them when we play Phasmophobia. Okay. Yeah, how have you been, Chu? How are things going? 
outside yeah. of the whole uh, us not wanting you to have anime powers. Is Chu still going to college or do they finish it? I forgot. She's in college? Weren't they? I mean, it's I the, missed a chapter. I mean, it's the summer. Wait, the verdict and or further questioning. Because <laughs> they, they said they'll take care of the worst humanity has to offer. I need to see the rubric for... Yeah, for game design, says Bookworm. For, for what the worst humanity has to offer is. I need, like, actual, like... Like... Points that decide that. Fascist says it's a Jew. That's it! Like, what about the racist? Right. What? Do you know what fascist means? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, Bright. That's inherently fascist. That's true. <laughs> Uh, the patches and companies for Um, how are you creating unlimited food supply? If you're fascist, racist, and ra and racist, fascist, says Buck. Creating endless food supply. And also, how much work are you willing to put into this? Also, she didn't answer my question if they're if they're done with college or not. Give the mouse time. <laughs> He wants to <laughs> My gosh, every time you pick up the ladder, for some reason, my character stands up. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> what? The second you pick up the ladder! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a function? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna stand next to you when you do that, so you can see I'm not lying. Well, I know you're not lying. I think what it is, is like, you're intersecting with where... Uh, <laughs> or like, you're close to where one of those things are. Like, where you can place the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> And also, I'm taking a break was... for summer to answer you, Bright. Okay. Oh. And she says, and also turning random inanimate objects into food will be able to feed more people, such as all the garbage covering the planet, for instance. And it will be as simple as pointing at it and firing. Oh wait, I just realized. Shoot, does your dragon boyfriend <laughs> slash husband approve of you having this power? I wouldn't ask for um approval ratings um outside of the uh the weird ass family thing we got going on here. Oh, 
fucking opinion, my body, my powers, my choice. Exactly, Chu. Because <laughs> asking asking Chu if, if their relationship partner approves is akin to asking, or is akin to, to like your doctor, like not letting you get like your tubes tied because they don't think your husband will let you. Ow. That's that's an actual thing. Um, most doctors won't do tube tying um, or anything um, if you if they deem you are too young or haven't had enough kids yet. Ah, yeah. SpongeBob says so. There he is, the source of all evil. Dirty bubble trapped in the brine of justice. You thought you were salty, but not salty enough, my filthy filthy friend. <laughs> the sauce. It said sauce, not source. Ah. Oh well. You read source or sauce as source? Shut up. Uh huh. I also love how sometimes when you're cleaning something, there's a little dirt in front of you. And when you wash just a tad bit of it, it just vanishes as <laughs> it's, it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> also, there, oh, you already cleaned the thing in the middle? What? The, the giant tube. Oh, oh yeah, over the, Okay. Oh, did you get the computer part? I think I did every part of the computer. I know you're freaking out over it. Oh yeah, the computer case was pissing me off. There is no R. Okay, Chu. <laughs> what the fuck does that button do? No. Chu put there was no R in your chat at least two or three minutes ago. I'm sorry, I'm busy concentrating on cleaning. Well, you can do both. I'm cleaning the orgy on this computer. What does that even mean? Don't worry about it. Might be bad at multitasking. <laughs> Bookworm mess with Bright. Bookworm mess with Bright somehow. Oh, I can't curse. What was the time you guys set for no cursing? I can't remember if it was what? 30, like, the no cursing redeem. How long was it supposed to be, like, was it supposed to be 30 minutes or 10 minutes? I forgot. You're the one who made it! But you guys, like, changed it. One time it was an hour, one time it was 30 minutes. Now, it, then one time it was 10 minutes, so I'm confused myself. <laughs> we changed it, yeah, we changed it. It's 30 minutes. <laughs> no, wait, it's an hour. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Chu. No cussing for an hour. Alright, so 141, I can curse again. I thought How it was always 10 playing? minutes, but I don't know since far. No, it, it was always hard. 30 minutes. Actually, there was one stream where you guys told me it was 10 minutes, so I only did 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was during the indie horror games. I just like how that redeemed solely <laughs> and 
three separate times now. I'm still missed that you haven't added the fucking no horny redeem. My god. That would be fun. For us, anyway. Yeah, for you. Isn't that the part of this about the point of redeem? For us to have fun? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Sorry, y'all. I just told the teacher we had homework last night. <laughs> and Bunker put themselves. These pillars are more annoying than I thought they'd be. They weren't all that bothersome for me. Well, yeah, they're not that bothersome. I'm just saying they're more annoying than I thought they would be. Ah. Get one. I want to kick so many of my classmates when they did that. Yeah, I'm that's glad the thing. Not my classmates ever did that. Yeah, my classmates never had to worry about that because my school system had a like a like a system put in place that would alert teachers when homework's due. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, so that was never a problem for my teachers. I think it's just the pillars that's left. Yeah, I think so. I still blame my classmates. Uh, F word, disgusting little narcs. Yeah, you think I can't censor myself on a reading chat, huh? Oh, for a split second there, I I was like really confused as to why you said F word. <laughs> you thought you one. said the actual F slur. <laughs> 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 no, I really didn't, to be honest, it's true. <laughs> that broke me. Also, I'm gonna change my Discord username real quick. What is it gonna be now? Uh, I forgot how to change my name. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a you problem. <laughs> Alright, Bright. Go to your settings. I see it. I see it how. <laughs> Damn it. I was gonna troll. Okay, now just the ceiling mount. And I changed my name. It is... It is true. My name is accurate. What does it say? I can't see all of it. The pitbulls deserve all, all the love. True. Why was I server muted for that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's a pitbull hater? Out yourself. Yeah. Oh wait, there's only one person I think I would know. We don't out people bright. That's cringe. It's Chu. Chu did that. Pip Chu is a pit bull hater now. <laughs> They're the only person who would do that. But imagine yes. if it wasn't, and you 
Chew doesn't like a lot of animals. It has nothing to do with just pit bulls. But are you saying you... Do you hate or like pit bulls? You have to be honest. <laughs> I don't have to do S word for you. I don't have to do sword for you? I, I guess that's true. She's not obligated to fight in your military. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, how dare. The only one I obey is my brain, for better or for worse. <laughs> Are you marrying your brain? <laughs> what is? What kind of reasoning is that? Except for better or for worse is one of the things the priest says. It is an absurdly common phrase. <laughs> I think I'm already magic this stream. Uh, it's a common saying, right? Says Chew. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard that at a wedding. I've heard it like three times. At a wedding. Well, well, you see the difference is I've never been to a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went to a wedding and then right afterwards we had to go to a funeral. <laughs> Just a little bit of both. Yeah. Stop colonizing and language. Christianity doesn't own that phrase. <laughs> All right, and then on the same day, you had to go to the hospital and see someone give birth. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went to a high school graduation. Okay, Hatchet, hold on. Three days later, I actually did do that. <laughs> like, for the birth thing, not high school. And then an hour after the high school graduation, you went to see the inauguration of, uh, my brain just died, a president. <laughs> you may be wondering, what's the connection between all of these things? I don't know. Generally somewhat significant things. Yeah, also, is it bad that most of the time I don't vote? I mean, it's kind of whatever at this point. Yeah, because I see, like, a, a lot of ads during the time that's like, you're an awful person for not voting. I wanted to say something else, but I can't. It's no cursing. Oh, yeah. You should pro- I, I would suggest voting in, like, local races and state affairs to try to keep things from getting as bad as they possibly could, but as far as the presidential election goes, Coming November, we're just voting for uh, fascist, or we're we're just voting for fascist or more controversial fascist. Yeah, at this point, it's old guy versus old guy, and we can't get rid of the old guys. Yeah. Yeah, right. You don't even pick the president. The system is kind of set up to prevent that. It's uh, yeah. organizing your local area would be better. I mean, okay. The main reason right I didn't, organized. I didn't re vote for either the, uh, I didn't vote for state governor at all because both of them, okay, one politician, uh, did blackface in high school. Isn't a very good person at, at all, and the other person, and the other person, uh, basically wanted, I think take rights away from something. I, oh, abortion rights. I had to choose between the two of them. I stuck out of it. <laughs> I didn't know who to choose. Yeah, she's right. We're voting 100% H-Man and 90% H-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know what I would choose in that scenario. And I, 
it hurts my brain, so I just decided not to vote. <laughs> That's valid. Yeah. Yeah, in my state, because abortion is legal, there's a bunch of people fighting to change that. And it's annoying. The answer is easy, says Chu. You never vote for a mustache man. I wasn't talking <laughs> about presidential. I was talking about, like, the governor at the time. I don't even know which one won. I didn't even pay that much attention either. Well, seeing how I still have abortion laws that uh, protect people that have abortions, probably not them. <laughs> yeah, I know when I come, like, when it comes November, I'm probably going to end up voting the quote-unquote lesser of two evils, but there's practically no difference between the two parties at this point. It's just which one's more willing. Well, I shouldn't say there's no difference, but between the two candidates we have, Yeah, I think Virginia has a dem, dem governor. Wait, really? I guess. Oh shit. Oh. Damn it! Ah! I'll add 10 Stop minutes. Her. Okay, so 151 said 141. Which one is gonna use manners when they take your rights away? That's what you're voting for. Basically, yeah. Math my butt out. Uh, get effed. Uh, I was doing so well. Also, how long were you playing to stream? Did I ask you that? Uh, no, I can probably... I don't know, I was... I think I was just gonna stream till I got tired. Uh. And book says, never mind, he a Republican. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I don't wonder did my place one. One is going to be polite and use slurs in private in their head, and the other is going to use slurs explicitly, which is better. Correct <laughs> yeah. me if I'm wrong, didn't like the, the wife of the, I, it's prime minute, uh, I forgot what the leader of Japan's called, but didn't the wife of the, of the uh, leader uh, pretend to not know English so they wouldn't have to speak to Trump? I believe, I believe that happened. That would be very funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that did happen. Drugs. Uh, the gram? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we are... We are so fucking cooked. Okay, so, uh, I think it's just your pillar. Yeah. I swear, watch it, like, go back to your computer after we clean enough. <laughs> uh, wait, come to think of it, the, like, ending checklist hasn't popped up yet. Yeah. Something we miss? I don't know. What is that squelching noise? I think it's the sound of like the muck getting blasted off. Yeah. Not the only one hearing that. Yeah, it's in the game, Chew. Yeah, that's in the game. 
That's what you're hearing. Oh, there we go. Okay, chemistry lab, costume display lid, okay, the, and like, electrical device tray. So, is... three things that were your job. F off. I thought someone was effing. This is true. Um, let's see. Oh. Electrical device. Are you sure? I can't. Oh, there it is. I can't see it up close. Actually, we have light bulb, electric device, toroids. Costume display lid, the quickster. Parkour and... Got it. Okay, cost and display lid. That's it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Why don't you use the ladder? Because I'm awesome. No, I'm not awesome. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Let's see. What the... Oh, okay, it lagged for a second. Yeah! Alright, let's see what's next. Oh, wait. That was it. So it, it? Wa th it was the dirty bubble. Yes. Or was it? Oh, I was kind of hoping like we had to go after the the flying Dutchman. That would have been cool. But oh well. I guess we'll go to Tomb Raider? Oh, I don't know. I guess. Did we actually finish Tomb Raider? Or... No, we didn't. There's still more. Oh, there's... Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch we didn't finish. You go up and... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. If you'd, like, switch over to that, do you think that I'll be brought over with you? Probably. Flying Duchess. <laughs> yeah, anyways, this is from Laura Croft. Next, uh, th uh, we gotta clean her Jeep and motorboat. In the courtyard, you'll find my beloved Jeep and motorboat. I'm afraid they're both bearing the additional weight of our adventures together. And I'd like to give them the kind of deep clean their st Sterling service to deserves. If you could trouble yourself one more time on my account, I'd be very grateful. Oh, and do not do take extra care of the boat. There may still be an odd sh shard of Phoenician window glass lurking here and there. Who says, wait, did you say Laura? Oh, I did say Laura instead of Laura. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Pain. Pain says chew. Oh yeah, it does take you. Yay. Oh, Hatchet, remember when we had to clean the school? <laughs> the what? Remember when we had to clean the school? The school? Oh, uh, is this a school? I don't know. Is this a? I don't know if this is a school or a house. I'm pretty. That's her I'm pretty house. Sure this is a motherfucking mansion, dude. She's. I've seen she's schools a... look like this. I'm sorry. Honey, honey, she like I'm fairly certain. Her, certain, like her dad's a lord. Yeah, and Lara says it's very strange when you share kinds of experiences I have with my vehicles. You sort of see them almost as friends. This sheep is an example. Got me out of all my scrape and carna. Karnak? And you wouldn't believe the spaces the boat can squeeze itself into. Wait, can I... 
there a way to change clothes? I forgot how. It's in, like, you know the menu where you switch attachments? Switch guns and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Thanks, Hatchet. I'm using the Christmas version of that washer. Ah, yeah. It's Christmas time, Hatchet. Don't, we're gonna go Christmas one next. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You would straight up leave if I did that. I mean, I feel like I've gotten better at the game, so I probably wouldn't. Yeah. But we have no need to go back there anyways. I mean, I do at some point, because, like, doing it with you doesn't count towards any progress on my end. Ah, oh, well, I guess I can do it with you then. When you host. At some point. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do SpongeBob all over again, too? Maybe. Depends on if I care enough to do it. All I knew is that it would feel wrong not to actually go through and do everything in SpongeBob, considering it was a gift from Ailey, basically. Yeah, that's fair. I paid for mine, so that's probably why you did it with me. What? Is that why you, I was asking why you did it with me? Because I paid for mine? No, I I did it with you because we're collabing. Ow. What? Why would uh... why would my why would my reasoning be? Oh, Bright purchased her own thing. Therefore, I should I should play with her. No, we're collabing, you dolt. Or are we? Stupid peppy. You know what? I want to see something. You're right, we're not clapping. Okay. <laughs> Just leave. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> I've always been like this. Oh, La uh, Larson. Strange too how these things always seem to find their way to you, Why just when you need them most. Needed? Probably Chew. 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 Stop it. <laughs> Good job, Chew. <laughs> Anyways, I'll read it again. Strange too how these things have seemed to find a way to you, just when you make the need them the most. I was stranded deep in the Valley of Kings, desperate to give chase to a man who betrayed me, when I stumbled upon a set of ignition keys amongst the rocks. I don't think that usually happens. Do we really need to be reading that? I have literally no interest in the two Okay, I guess we won't read it like I did. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it like the Spongebob one. Yeah. I have never at all had any interest in Tomb Raider. I mean, I played a 3D version of it for like an hour and then stopped. A 3D version of it. Not 3D. God damn it. Like, fuck. Most recent one, I'm guessing. <laughs> Baffle me sometimes. I played a 3D. I played a 3D Tomb Raider game. Isn't that neat? Right, Let's they're all 3D. 3D. Actually, they're not. <laughs> That's what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain there's a 2D version of it. Hold on. Watch maybe on like a, maybe huh? on like a, maybe on like like a portal. Yeah. It'd have to be like one of the really old ones. What about the console like a DS? Also, you oh, care so. Damn it. Alright, so that's. Does damn it count as a curse? No! 
We've been over this. It doesn't. I don't know. My school considered it a curse word. No, it doesn't. She I says, yes, do. it does. We've been over this. We discussed it. It wasn't. Shut up. Is shut up a curse word? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, 201. Not any more time. Only way I can do that yeah. is by not speaking anymore. There, there's a dungeon crawler version of, of the two murder games. Ah. Um. But like all of the main lines, like yeah. all the main series games are. Yes. Yeah. The main reason I I, I stopped playing it because I, I went to play Bioshock. <laughs> Honest, I still love Bioshock. Like, it is such a great game. I have never played it. I and that's why I'm not spoiling anything or saying why I like it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you. I mean, I know a lot of like little details that I've seen people talk about. But I was gonna talk about the story. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> no, it's not. It's got. Shoot, we're gonna start a war. Shoot is gonna start a war because they're, they're calling one of my favorite games garbage. I'm gonna chew. What game? Bioshock. I've not played it, so I have no. We already have enough war crimes going on. <laughs> well, there's gonna be another one. <laughs> and so bright says shit. Bright, you're a big step of a whoopee cushion. And. Oh no, I don't even know what I said, what that <laughs> means. Peppy, stop messing with my cords, dude. I'm cleaning a boat. That apparently went through a goddamn sewer. Is that actually what happened? I don't know, but it looks like it went through a goddamn sewer. Alright, I'll hydrate. How does a boat get to looking like this without having gone through a sewer? I don't know. Give me a moment. I, I gotta know, hydrate. Look, look, look. It looks like it's covered in green and brown all over, caked on everything. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, not sure if you heard me, but Busta was giving me a, a sad expression, so I got give him some love. Aww. Uh, he doesn't yes, like it when have, I stream. But yes, I now have 54 followers. Nice! You need to get as and many I, as me. And I have... And I have been... Uh, keeping a pretty consistent... Uh... View viewership at three and above throughout the stream, so that'll help the average viewership number too. Oh yeah. Uh, honestly, there there is one question I was asked by someone who knows I stream. Hmm. Yeah, they asked me, how would I feel if someone like you Hatchet gained more popularity or, or followers? And I said that I would just be happy. I honestly would not care if you come be more popular to me. Honestly, I, I would hope for it. I need to get better internet. I, I honestly don't I care. 
Because I have 36 followers on Twitch. Mm. I need to get streaming again. That's true. Why do you hate Bioshock? Actually, probably don't say it. It might spoil some things. Never mind. Wait, is you just doing this just to spite me? Probably. Touch oh, I feel nauseous. First, first the shooter game? Gross. But actually, it looks kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I might get it. Yes, out. I've never played those effing games. Okay, if, if you haven't played it, then you can't say it's bad. Hey, Bright. Yes? Have you played Bubsy 3D for the PlayStation 1? I, I actually have. Could you tell that it was bad before you played it? In your humble opinion? No, not really. I was too young to even care. <laughs> But you also said Bright does not understand the concept of rage bait. She was rage baiting you and it's working. How does that make you feel? Honestly, I'm just gonna ignore Chew now. Oh, don't do that. Chew will cause absolute havoc in your channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do when your Twitch mod decides to start fucking with it? <laughs> oh, I know. I, I was about to type in unmod you. <laughs> oh. How many mods do you have? I don't know. Honestly. Probably find out. A number. Chew, how many two. mods do I have? Chew says, how do you know I haven't already? Wait, can someone unmod their self? Themself? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, you can open the doors? That makes it so much easier. She says, look on your own. I'm not your secretary. <laughs> Alright, give me a moment. So, unironically, I have not streamed in two years. And it is a travesty. Mm. Roles manager. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting the bots. In six. Well, actually, two of them, I, I don't even... I don't think they visit my channel much anymore. <laughs> so I can probably add, like, two more mods. Stop ordering the one black chatter around. Cancel break. Just ask us you're a mod! Jesus! <laughs> What did I do to you, Chu? <laughs> you asked Chu to do something you didn't feel like doing. I, I just asked they didn't have to do it. Do you think that a creature that's purely fueled on spite gives a damn? <laughs> right. Right, are you that easy to rile up? I mean, maybe, I don't know, because... I have alcohol in my veins, and I'm drinking sugar. Expected more from you. I should put less effort in. Because everyone knows, in order to play Power Simulator, you have to be drinking alcohol. I'm not drinking alcohol. Let me correct it. In order to be a downstreamer. <laughs> it's 
always in a mess. There are so many small objects on this one truck, but you're dumb when you're not drinking. Shoo, I hate you. Well, let me correct it. I hate you, but also love you as a good friend. Let me change that. <laughs> I hate myself too. <laughs> it's true. Oh my oh, yeah, gosh. Come to, think of it. Huh? come to think of it, Chew, are we gonna do any more of those, like, uh, or do you think you'll ever have time to do, um, those YouTube watch parties in Lilith's server now that, uh, you're off for the summer? I miss those. watching some uh oh why did i just forget his name oh uh, yeah we were also she was supposed to show us stuff like gemini home entertainment and stuff like that i think the original plan was to do a watch party of the mandela effect but i don't know if anyone wants to do that now well actually hatchet there's like two different mandela things one's the bad one from that creator, and then there's another one. That's from what I saw on the internet. Huh. So we we could watch the one that's not. <laughs> We're not doing Man Mandela catalog. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know where the other. What the other good one is called. All I know is that it's within the same concept. You know what I mean, right? I guess. Yeah. Right, there's only one official Mandela catalog. I don't know what you're talking about. The internet lied to me like it always does. <laughs> you, you're probably thinking about some other analog horror series Yeah. that you heard is similar to the Mandela catalog. Yeah. Oh, there's actually one uh, that I watched on my own that I think... Is really good and interesting, and is kind of ongoing. It just they take them a while. It's Vita Carnis. I wonder if Chu knows that one. OMG <laughs> did the Mandela catalog Mandela effect, bro. Yeah, Chu says Vita Carnis was good. Yeah, so Chu knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was I really like that. Then there's also another one I think Chu doesn't know, which is Man in a Suit, which is still ongoing. It's like a Godzilla analog horror. And it gets dark, like, real fast. It actually kept me up at night for two days straight. Oh, damn. Yeah, Vita Carnus is really disturbing. The effing mimic, yeah. Hey, Bright, when you get the chance, message the name of that to me. Vita Carnis? Yeah, I'm gonna forget it otherwise. Yeah, sure. You don't have to do it right now. Okay. I'm just pulling up Discord on my phone, so I, I, I know I need it. Hey. <laughs> uh. hey. Do you also want Man in a Suit? Because it's yeah, also go. good and serving really fast. And we can just. Yeah. I wondered. Uh, does yeah. like, does stuff like, uh, local age count as analog horror? Local I think that was the name of it. Uh, probably. Local age. I think I've seen something like that. Where is it? I don't see anything orange glowing. Oh, wait. You can look at what's not done, ha! bruh. I saw... I saw it for a quick second and I got it. Yeah! Unless Chew's messaging you it, Hatchet. I don't know. I don't think Chew's messaging it to me. 
Actually, I don't think my DMs with two have been working anymore. <laughs> you don't. Uh, you don't have any DMs with two. Well, I do. It's like last time I tried to message two, it just didn't work. Ow. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Did you block Hatchet? I don't think so. Don't think we're blocked. Don't know what I would have done to get blocked either. And long horrors I know are Beta Carnus, Gemini Home, Mandela Catalog, the Smile Tapes, and Local 58. That's what I was thinking of. Local 58. Yeah. I've never heard of, of the Smile Tapes, Chew. Yeah, make sure to send me that, because I'll take a look at that. Unless you're going to show it to us. Oh, I know another one. The Walton Files, which is like a, a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of thing. Uh, analog horror. Hmm. But it, it's not in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. It's its own separate thing. This is oh yeah, that one. Jeep Handbrake. Jeep Indicators. Oh yeah, you forgot about that one. Yeah. No. What oh, it, it is in the Five Nights universe? I thought it was its own separate thing. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. I'm sorry about that. My bad. My bad. Thanks for correcting me, Chew. And I believe that's still ongoing as well. Albright's a failure. We'll Nothing's her, new. Though. You're not saying anything new. I already know it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, I'll, handle... I'll just accept oh, being a yeah. failure for the rest of my life. It's fine. They got depressing. <laughs> Listen, all you have to do is accept being a failure the rest of my life. <laughs> what does that mean? Fuck if I know. Oh, it's a deck trim. Yeah, what do you think I'm working on? Oh, I wasn't sure if that's what you're working on or not. I'm going to try from up here to clean it. You got something Creator else instead of the deck trim. Creator says it's in the FNAF universe, but in there, nothing bad happened at Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and there's nothing supernatural with those restaurants. With those restaurants. No How? bite of 83, no bite of 87, no missing children. Okay, so it's like a, um, alt oh. timeline. Yeah, a different timeline. Okay, the, no, it looks like the trim's done. Oh. Uh, oh wait, see. no, I'm not. No, it's not. I'm looking at it right here. Deck Is... trims. Oh yeah, deck trims. Oh, yeah. oh, there's two of them. There's one on the other side. Ah. I also said the center trim. Oh, I got it. Yeah, Jeep indicators and handbrake. Center trim's done. Got the handbrake. I don't know what, what's the cheap indicators. They're on the sides. The little orange things on the sides. That's red. Oh, wait. It's orange. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. <laughs> What do you mean keep indicators to me? Dude, the reds? Oh, no, that's brake light. Yeah, it says it's good. This one says it's good. What the f- Oh! Why? It's on the front! It's on the front! Front, 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 front! Oh. These orange circles. Oh. oh, those things. Okay. Okay. It looks so odd with me in a Christmas suit in summer. 
while I'm using the Christmas washer. Oh, no. What, is there more? Yes, there is. It's the Cross Manor Maze. Okay. We have to clean a maze. This is... Uh, that's unfortunate. It's just a regular Chuck E. Cheese style franchise. Okay. Oh wow, we didn't go far. I hate how it keeps changing our... Discord. Wait, no. I am now from the back rooms, Hatchet. Okay. In order to see that I'm from the back rooms, you have to go to Hatchet Stream or VOD and see it yourselves. Oh, time to chase after Danny Torrance with an axe. Am I supposed to get that reference? Uh -huh. <laughs> she's gonna be disappointed in both of us. Not like I pay much attention to horror or anything. At least not anymore, I used to. Oh, it's from The Shining. Am I the only one here who has seen The Shining? I mean, I, I've i never seen that, no. I haven't seen it, but I know reference. <laughs> I mainly watch Pet Cemetery and It, like the original. I watch the new one, but I like the original better. I like both of them. On this fucking post, is it not clean? Oh wait, that's not wrong. I also watched a different uh, Stephen King movie series, The Stand. Oh. If I remember correctly, it's like a, a, a virus outbreak of something. I oh. forgot what it was. Oh, okay. That that also counts as the post. Okay. I'm just so used to everything being separate things that I assumed that that separate looking thing was a separate thing. Yeah. Chew says stare. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> They're getting upset because we haven't watched a shiny. <laughs> Oh, maybe the shine is on Disney Plus. I was actually literally about to say, like, if it's on Disney Plus, then I'll plan to watch it. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was. I mean, well, if it's on Hulu as well, because, like, I have the Disney Plus plus Hulu thing. Oh, so you have, like, the Disney Plus plus ESPN plus Hulu thing? No, not ESPN. I didn't jump for that, but you can get just Disney Plus and Hulu. I don't give a shit about sports. I'm not getting ESPN. Oh, because when I had to both pay for Disney, I had to play, pay for all three in order to get Hulu. Well, I'm gonna nah. fix that. I don't watch sports. Yeah, nah. It's just like ten bucks a month. For Are you hatchet? Huh? I have to pay twenty five dollars a month for my Disney thing. You're telling me it's only ten? Yeah, it's only 10 if it's just the... Well, I, I, I'm I using the no ads version. Of, or I'm using the ads version. I use an ads for... Yeah, I have no ads for Disney, but ads for Hulu. Yeah, like it's... The with ads version is just like 10 bucks for the two of them. No ass with Disney. <laughs>
Wait, that really is a real question. Do we have a ladder at all? I don't know. I was thinking, like, if there's stuff on top of this, we need a ladder. Though I don't think I'll need a ladder. It looks like it'll be done. Oh, you can jump on the plants. Damn, how fancy. <laughs> I'm just, like, constantly jumping on top of these roses. <laughs> Matt, is there a ladder? I guess you can go ahead and look for it. I don't see a ladder. I'm jumping up, but yeah. I don't see anything on top of the glass that's orange. Yeah, I don't think we got a ladder this time. Okay, the one thing I hate is when the plants cover up so you can't see whether or not there's dirt behind yeah, it. I've... Yeah, I've been seeing that from time to time. It's frustrating. Yeah. So there is actually one thing in SCP lore that's actually really... Well, I mean, there's a bunch of things that are really sad. But anyways, there's another thing that's... Uh, there's two things I want to talk about that are sad. One's funny and sad, one's not. The one, anyway, first one... You know how the, the broken god, I forgot his name, and McCain fought over whether or not humans can have free will. Yeah. Yeah. His words were to, you know, his prophets who were talking about him, do not revive me. Because I will only cause pain and destruction. I don't want to harm any of you. And they keep reviving him. Uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's so sad. They're trying to revive him? Yeah. Yeah, because they can't get the heart right. So I think it was... Yeah. It, it, incredibly too far destroyed to bring back with their fight. Yeah. Which is probably why, because they, they said that, because their heart was huge. It, it, like, for humans to live good lives and everything. Yeah. There we go. There we are. Yeah, there was a bunch of gunk right way back here where the plants were. Damn it, I hate these plants. Anyways. But, um, the other sad thing is, this is an SCP not people know about, is SCP-000. Okay. Basically, it keeps... It, this guy was stationed at, to deal with SCP doctors. This is how the story goes. And it keeps seeing SCP-000. They set it up, and then it starts glitching, and messages saying like please help me like, get me out of here and they're in the entire time they think it's just a prank from their superiors or something like that so they keep de deleting the file over and over again but it's this entity in this dimension that constantly repeats itself and one line says the foundation will help you. And uh -huh. in, in the end, um, the guy distorts the article so much that they can't get any information to help the anomaly. Because he thought it was just a prank and he got so mad. He got put his D class uh -huh. because of it. And I think he did die. Which, I mean, is probably deserved <laughs> what he did. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jerry. How are you? You can join us in voice chat if you want. Yeah, hey, Jerry. I was waiting to say that. Yeah. Oh. 
Max says cheating. But yeah. Those are definitely sad events that happened. <laughs> yeah, not many people know about SCP-000. Because it's not very well known. Like, it doesn't have, a, I think, a story that doesn't have a much upvotes, which is, you know, not super popular. Yeah. And I, hi, Jerry. Oh, Jerry joined? Yeah, they're here. Oh, well. Hi. Before I was eating dinner. And ah. before that, I was buying groceries. So, Jerry, was that the first time you heard about SCP-000? Oh, I didn't hear which SCP you were speaking about. I was just hearing the end, like, what? Yeah. Basically, this anomaly is trapped in a dimension that constantly repeats itself, especially the phrase, the foundation will, will save you, or help you, I can't remember which one it was. And the guy thinks when Anomaly is talking through the document, which causes it to glitch, it, it's just a prank. So he gets to the point where he just destroys the document so much with glitches that no information can be gathered. Yeah. You got transferred as D-Class. Fair enough. And I think he did die from Anomaly, so... Yeah, apparently O5 was really pissed about it. Well, I would imagine it's not like it's not normal for people to just like get switch to a to a D class. Yeah. You really have to fuck up to get switched, but if I remember correctly, I think it was O five thirteen who ordered him to be be D class. <laughs> Yeah. And the other uh, sad thing I, I was uh, telling Hatchet, I don't think they knew, was how I forgot the name of the of the broken god, but how they said to their followers they don't want to be revived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, I feel like now that we know a little more about the enemy of the broken god, yeah. That it, the, the goddess still needed to some degree. Because the, the other god has not given up trying to destroy human humanity's brains. Kind of like with 610. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the enemy being called McCain. I think that's how you pronounce it. Why can't, why can't they just let humans have brains? What was that, Jerry? Why can't they let humans have brains? I don't know. Oh, you're doing a Laura Croft one? Yeah, we're doing, we finished SpongeBob. This is all we got finished left to do except for uh, the campaign, the regular one. Oh, you can open the hatch. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Hatchet, look at look at me at the moment, like in Discord. He's glitching. I uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, um He's stuck behind the door. He needs help. Yeah, I opened the hatch. <laughs> I hit, I'm hitting F. Nothing's happening. I am stuck. <laughs> what? Oh, no. She needs someone to go to where she is on the end to close the hatch. Yeah! I am stuck oh, by the hatch. hatch door. There's a different hatch, I guess. 
I'll have to say, leave it to her to find a glitch. <laughs> it kind of sucks you can't see where we are in the maze. Yeah. You, you can see here. Uh, the just brick wall. Okay. Constantly spray. I don't think you can. can you? Oh, you can spray. All right, I'm constantly spraying. Uh, on the other side of this wall. I thought you couldn't spray at all. <laughs> I, I'm not really helping or hurting the glitch. <laughs> I don't I'm like the stuck. image that popped up my head when I heard the words, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking of. <laughs> Help me, stepbrother, I'm stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> right! right. Why? Okay, so you're on the other side of this wall. Getting close to you. Okay. Alright. How do you even find this glitch? There you are. Hi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking shit. Thank open you. Open the hatch from behind. Wait. I can go down here? Oh my... Weren't you going to finish cleaning the hatch? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Huh? I went through the hatch. I know where I'm going next to clean. Oh. There's a, a place after that you clean this area that you have to go There's to. There's a dirty temple on the other side. Yeah. Ooh. Maps can be very picky about dirt, can't they? Possibly. I have problems, but I don't want to fix them. That's valid. It was obviously the no-step brother. <laughs> she has problems. I know I have problems, but I don't want to fix them. That's fair, says Book. If the problems are problems that you like, and they ain't hurting anybody, then why fix them? Chu likes degeneracy. Exactly. I mean, you're not the only one. <laughs> I like the life of G rated Then, are they even problems this book works? If they aren't hurting anyone. They're problems as far as uh, cis heteronormative and sex negative society is concerned. Well, society is weird. They try to say that, like, it's degenerate, but at the same time, if you don't do it, they'll be like, what's wrong with you? Oh, no. Chu says, but Chu can't get stuck in the washer dryer because I'm too obese to fit, Sag. Oh. Just do what I do when I want to get stuck somewhere. I, uh, I lay down. <laughs> Chu says no railing for Chu. You're the perfect oh. size to get really stuck. Oh no. <laughs> Look where I am. Chu, I don't... I, this is weird for me to say, but I don't think your weight has anything to do with if you get railed or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting Jerry to say that. Hello, child. Some people are really into the heavier side. There's even a thing for that, and that's more cooking for the cooking. I, I, I feel like you're misinterpreting what's being like, what what Chu's talking about. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Inspirational Chu, Chu message clash. 
That's what you said. Ah. You know what, that's fair. Bonks all around. What? What did I do? <laughs> I just want to comment that I was trying to be nice and remember I wasn't saying I wanted to do that. I was just saying, you know, people of all sizes can have the naughty. You're you pre but I didn't even say anything sexual. I was just reading messages. She, she said wholesome message. Uh, glad, so. No harm. I can't get stuck. I can't get stuck with Kerm. I can't even get in. But she says. Yeah, like the gist is not that she was saying that he literally can't get railed. It seems more like. He can't get railed in the way that he fantasized. Oh. Like the stepbrother, I'm stuck. That type of thing. Oh. Well, there's only the way to, to, to fake getting stuck somewhere. I, I'm not saying more than that. That would be too detailed. When you get railed, punk for that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want to clean all the little, the objects first before cleaning the floor. I feel like Chu specified both options, book, so I think you're right on. Yeah, we had on the washer. I forgot which machine was both, bookworm. I actually read it, it was both. <laughs> I wonder how this little temple area looks when it's not filthy up and down all around. How did it even get this dirty? What Don't worry about do? it. And even more so, just like the fixtures around this place are dirty. The ground isn't dirty, the leaves aren't dirty. Did Laura Croft sweat all her weakness out so intensely that it stained the whole ground besides the ground? Nah, she had a drunk gangbang in, in, in here. What? Honey. <laughs> now that time I deserved the bomb. <laughs> like he said, she. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't get trapped. There we go, I found it. Well, I mean, I wouldn't get drunk either. I found out today, we have fun. Oh, there we go, it worked. What'd you say, Apollo? I said I found out today that we have vodka. <laughs> Vodkas? I'm pretty sure it's one, yeah. We also have some, uh, Jack Daniels in there. Oh. Uh. But yeah, Chu, do you think... Do you think you'll... We'll be able to do any... Uh... Watch parties... In the summer? I miss those. Yeah, I hope it'll happen when I'm out, too. Commonly what we would watch is just various comedy and, uh, video essays. Or analog horror, that too. Chu wanted to show us that. Analog yeah. horror, that's fine. The Walden Files are my favorite. Yeah, the initial plan was Mandela Catalog, but... Then things happened. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, it's 2 a.m. I need to go to bed and not the dog to do the dishes. Bye, y'all. Oh, S-word, right. it's 2 a.m. I need to get to bed. I f forgot to do the dishes. Bye, y'all. See you later, Chew. Thanks for coming night, to stream. Bye, Chew. Bye, Chew.
Sprite, will you have to be going to bed soon? Can you say where you're at at the map? Wait, what? I'm asking if you'll need to go to bed soon, because it's probably late for you. We're at like 12 or 1. I slept most of the day, so I'm fine. Oh. Yeah, because I knew it's we were starting two, later than what I, I, I usually stream now, which is 4.30. We started at 8 o'clock, so I slept. That's fair. I'm, I'm tempted to try and do Steven, see if he can have it work. East Coast Supremacy says Bookworm. I believe, I truly believe that too. Yeah, it's almost, almost two. How long, how much longer do you think I'm going? Or are you just not tired yet? I am hey, not tired. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep too much in the morning. I have places to be. Yeah. I still think I'm still kind of shocked that uh, from yesterday, upon discovering Bright Thought to be a furry, you have to want to get a furry. Yeah, Hatchet, you missed it. Cause now my chat is is trying to make it so I'm a furry. I'm not a furry. I don't hate them, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> They're chill furry. with me. Oh. A furry just means you like anthro characters. I, 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 I don't. If you like an anthro character, you could be considered a furry. Wait, what? Yep. What do you mean? I'm confused. That's all a furry is. I mean, that's valid. Not all furries want to dress in a furry co costume because, one, they're expensive. Two, they're expensive. No, like, I didn't hear what... <laughs> No, to, uh, I didn't hear what you said to explain I was a furry. That's why I'm confused. Oh, oh, all you need in order to be a furry is to just be a fan of furry characters. That's it. Like you anthro like, characters. Yeah, anthro characters, sorry. Right. You like an anthro character? Congratulations, you could be considered a furry. That's it. Okay. There's one anthro character I, I wouldn't One. And then that means the SCP community has a lot of furries. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Have, are you just now realizing this? Have you seen the Mallow art? <laughs> oh my god, Bright. Are you no, I've seen kidding? the Mallow art. Which is me. mad at you. I know there's a, a lot, lot of furries. There's, this, there's multiple discussions furries. about multiple furries being <laughs> an SP there community. There are furries that are fans of change. There's furries that are fans of the Disney Robin Hood with the fox. But there's all sorts I mean, of furries to be. Maid Marion is the Disney Robin Fair enough. She <laughs> was a pretty cool Maid Marion. She was a foxy fox. <laughs> I know that Massive amounts of my young brain were altered by the Rio movie. Fair. Fair. Rio? Rio? Yeah, Rio. Oh, the like the... oh, Rio! The bird? Yeah, the... A ghoul is... So, something it's about great. how that... Something about how that macaw danced and talked... Sw sw flipped a switch in my little brain. Aww. And I mean, have you seen Gang Orca? <laughs> Gang Orca? Oh, yeah. What? Uh, My Hero Academia character. <laughs> oh! The Orca character! Yeah. The Anthro Orca hero. Oh, gosh. I realized, I just realized My Hero has furry, <laughs> like, fandom stuff. <laughs> Bright, what are you doing with that gnome? What's Bright doing to a gnome? <laughs> okay. I don't know. That's I don't know. A dirty gnome around. At least clean the gnome off first. 
I think it is clean. I think it's supposed to be golden colored. Right, what are you doing? Try to try to water it first. Especially in it. In other You're not even gonna try to clean it. I need to find hatchet. You're gonna find him before you try to clean it. I'm towards the beginning, working on a bunch of stuff. I just had- I just, like, died. <laughs> Don't die. It's bad you know, for your health. <laughs> Bright, if you ever get, uh, a furry, like, OC design, it could be a bird wearing a gnome hat. I'm not doing that. Hi, Hatchet. Really All it needs to be is just something you like. Yeah, it's a good. It's it's a golden gnome. Why why can we pick up this gnome? <laughs> oh, no. it it's not dirty. We can't clean it. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, it looks dirty to me. So. Why do I just dirty gnome, gnome? Yeah, I just gnomed hatchet. <laughs> Whew. Hey Jerry. Yeah. I've decided. I I want to. Uh, rework how Stardew does their portrait system. Sure enough. And and do full body portrait instead oh. of just uh, the bus. Also, uh. And I can't draw oh, sorry. people very good. So. I think you draw very well. Well, I I draw like bus pretty solidly, but like. Anatomy first. My drawings are crap. Huh? Nothing. I guess that's why a lot of games just stay to the bus. Yeah. Anatomy is hard. But, like, I have so many ideas. Also, right, we don't pay art here. It doesn't matter how good a drawing seems, it is still perfect. <laughs> Unless you're a tattoo artist. Um, and then I can hate on you all you want if you cannot do proper anatomy and do primarily portraits. That's the thing oh, is, like trauma is disagrees with you. Wait, what? I've already, I've already made a video about my art trauma. Hatcha was there. I'm sorry. I was there. I caused Bright's art trauma. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I walked in on her drawing, and I saw her drawing, I said, Wow, that's shit. And then Bright was never the same again. That is not the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You little shit. No, this is one of the reasons why people call you two butt buddies. Butt buddies can traumatize each other. <laughs> Jesus I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I've given right some now. form of trauma to Hatchet. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's every time I hear Bright say something, I, I get this weird, awkward twitch in my left eye. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. No, like, what did you want? <laughs> I didn't hear it. Hatchet said every time they hear you, they get a weird twitch in their left eye. <laughs> Not normal. Possibly. It's what my but parents anyway. told me before. But anyway, um, <laughs> what I was going to say is I realize, I realize some of y'all here probably don't know or haven't heard this. Um, uh, I end up dropping some money on something and I am soon going to be a PNG tuber. And, and specifically, what I dropped said money on is I I am going to be a fucking uh it's it's going to be a scale sona. Ooh, you'll be a, you're gonna be a scaly. I, yeah. I need a gift for that and like I'm gonna need some money for that. Scale sona. A lizard, a snake, oh, fish. Cool. fish. Ba basically, anthro character that. Is not furry, but is scaly. I see. Still counts as a furry. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, like it's under the furry umbrella because yeah, furry. Yeah, it's a furry. But oh, yeah. A family. But yeah, I'm a. Uh, it's gonna. Uh, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be an anthro uh, alligator gar. Wait, I have a question. <laughs> what? Right. Would I be considered a furry if I really like destroy it? If you like Arguably, what? yes. There is an entire subsection of furrydom that is like hyper focused on kaiju. Okay, then I'm a kaiju furry. <laughs> There we go. We got her. <laughs> there you go. You have to put the word kaiju in, in front of furry. Well, I will say there are certain sections of furry where some pe some furries like kaiju, and some people imagine things with kaiju. I mean, I didn't say I didn't, I didn't imagine things with Destroya. I've okay, seen... we'll put it like that. <laughs> One of my moots on Twitter is like... I, I think a 40-year-old disabled woman who uh, is, you know, very moderately obsessed with Godzilla. She's a cool person. We gotta get it. We got a frame mission now. We gotta get Bright to accept herself as a cat bird. No. Oh, god damn it. I got DC. I mean, I can totally I got draw DC. you as a cat with wings. I yeah. feel like she'd be a chicken kaiju. No. Oh my god. Anyways, Hatch, you ready for the code? Yes. Okay. Zero four four. Okay. Three five nine nine. Three five nine nine. I'm returning. Okay. Oh, I. Uh, I think it's really funny. I had been having like four to three viewers for a while. I yeah. mentioned that I'm going to be getting a, a PNG tuber model, and now I'm down to two viewers. Damn. Hey. Someone <laughs> just Come like, on. no, I'm not supporting furries. <laughs> uh, My I mean, it might. Like, it, if you have like the, sh like, the tab muted, but the stream unmuted, then maybe? I should be yeah. Okay. There is... <sighs> this is in a planning for a future model. And it'll probably be the closest thing to a furry model. I am thinking... That one time, I get my character in a onesie that's that looks like Destroya. That looks like what? Destroya, the kaiju. Oh. Eh, close enough. That's close as close enough. as you're gonna get. <laughs> it's oh, basically. Come on. It's basically. Not even a. You're wearing your first suit. Mm. Not even a team mono movie. No. <laughs> Maybe just some fangs, a tail. Right. I just... But I don't know. let's put it this way. If you were a furry, then you could have a fursona that is a pit bull. Yo. What the f No, and I, I, you owe my Oh wait, it's pet it's 206, not 201. Huh? What the fuck? What, you don't want a pit bull for some? I see pit bull as my children, so no. What, you don't want to be a pit bull? No. <laughs> well, why are you seeing a pit bull good enough for your children, but not you? Oh, so, Jerry, have you seen my new you, uh, Discord name in the server? Yes. Yeah. Do you like the name? Once again, if it's good enough for your children, why not you? I, I'm not doing it. I, I will learn how to do it. You know what? If pitbulls deserve lots of love and your your children deserve love, why don't you deserve love? What makes you think I deserve love? <laughs> because you deserve love. <laughs> right, are you a billionaire? 
<laughs> no. Then I think you deserve some amount of love. <laughs> I just had a heart attack. Not really, but like, figure. Why? I just realized if I do this full body portrait thing for Stardew, I'm gonna have to find like 30 different poses for each king character. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, Hatch, you're in a famous funny. Booker says, I'm a bit air, so I only deserve half the, the amount of love y'all do. <laughs> The only you ethical. The too, Let's put it this way: if one of us won the lottery, the only way that they would therefore be ethical is by no longer being a billionaire shortly after. It, it depends on actually on which one you win. Sometimes when you win it, it's only a few thousand dollars. Yeah. Like, um, like the Powerball or something. Like, uh... Oh, life-changing money. Eight, yeah, like eight months ago, it was at like $1.7 billion. I feel like it's fine to not spend it on others when you win that. Like, because let's face it, how much money do any of us have? We're probably going to use it on shit, like, important shit. Honestly, I, yeah. I did think about it. Uh, if I did win the lottery, like, big money, I would probably just, obviously, get a better setup, because my fucking computer, I want to throw it at, at a damn wall. And, uh... <laughs> and maybe get the doors fixed better? What was that, Jerry? The doors fixed better? Yeah, it's that too. That too. Uh, and basically put everything just into savings. In case that anything bad happens. What about security cameras? Why do I need security cameras? Are you really asking why you need security cameras? You see, I don't need a security cameras when I have a gun. Yes, you do. <laughs> why do you need security cameras, you idiot? Oh right, my how, god. Like, right, you I'm have a gun. How many times have people broken into your house? I wasn't home. Not to mention that one time they... Yeah, and one of the fun things about security cameras is you are alerted when people break in. You can call the police instantly. Yeah. Like, okay, I guess it. security cameras, alright? And that's it. I I'd, I'd probably end up, like, starting, like, my own loan setup for, for like, millennials. Where it'd be, like, 1%. If but, I got any money, I'd, if I got the lottery, I'd probably, like, pay off food's house. And if there's anything left, I'd probably use it on medical stuff. Yeah, because... I'd uh, probably pay off all of my family's medical Man, I'd probably not even have any money left to not even be done with the medical stuff. Man, the United yeah. States is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, I can move out of the United States. Yeah, but like I said, I'll put emergency, <laughs> just put in savings mainly because I'm going to still work after earning all that money. I'd start streaming. Because I, I feel like really if I don't work and I just use the shit little money I got, I'm going to go broke. Well, <laughs> so, in this theoretical situation, one of us, like, we all won that 1.7 billion dollars. Yeah. Right? So, like, I'd buy a house, move out of the United States, um, pay off all of my family's medical bills, start streaming again, start a small loan company, and small only because it would be me and, like, three lawyers. And then live the good life. I know it seems like 
that that amount of money is probably more money than any of us have ever seen, but I don't think the money would go that far. Sadly, sadly. I would probably put almost all of it into helping mutual aid. Yeah, fund a couple of, like, orphanages, like foster homes, make sure mm -hmm. the kids get what they need. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of it would go into the savings account. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, because every December from, uh, every December and January, I'm thinking of doing charity streams all through those two months. I'm also planning out now, what charity should I do? Because I think I want to do different charities each year. So I, I did uh, Make-A-Wish, then Doctors Without Borders. There's always St. Jude's. Okay. For some um, reason, I've only spoken to you once for St. Jude's. Oh, I... I don't they, actually... Oh, go ahead. The, the thing about St. Jude's is it's such a, like, large, like, thing now. Like, they get, like, they have charity donations all the time by huge people. Oh, St. Right? Jude's has been large for a long time. It's an old charity. Yeah. And, like... I don't know. I I would probably do the Shiner Hospital because I have like familial ties to that. Mm -hmm. Like my my great grandpa became a Shiner so that he can help my dad because my dad was like born crippled. He, he was born without a hand. Okay, I will be right back. Okay. So, okay. Like I'd, I'd probably do charity streams for that. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably never going to do Make-A-Wish again. Why? Well, for one, they started doing a bunch of NFT stuff. Oh! That's delightful. Oh. And that, a lot of times, like... Uh... Okay, so basically, this... I, from what I've seen, they have this one kid who wanted to go Disneyland, right? And had the ability mm -hmm. to do so. Mm -hmm. Uh, they denied it. Went to someone else and approved it. Why? I don't know. It was never really explained. They just decided fuck you, fuck this kid. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I, I don't have a good impression on Make-A-Wish. I don't blame you. I mean, I have heard that they do wishes for kids that are, like, probably going to die, but there are some stories on Reddit, like, of... Like, one or two I've heard involve parents guilting the dying child and going somewhere the parents wanted instead. Yeah, yeah. that too. Unfortunately, that's just, That's always gonna be a... Like, a... a it's like, like a if you're dying, they're probably gonna die. Like, and the parents just are just, like, guilting the dying child. Like, you owe us this. Like, so fuck. Yeah. I personally don't have any problem with Make-A-Wish, other than, like, they're being kind of shitty right now. Um, but, like, I have a, I had a friend who died a few years ago, and they uh, got a Make-A-Wish when they were, like, seven or eight. And they really seemed to enjoy it. But... Yeah. Some people really do love their experience with Thank the Wish. Did I ever talk about being visited by Make a Wish? What? When did that happen? 
um, it was one of the times where I got COVID really bad and wasn't hospitalized. They thought because my immune deficiency was kicking back in and bad. But once they heard that I would be perfectly fine after a few days, they just left. <laughs> That's a bit cool! Yeah! <laughs> They're like, so you're dying, and it's like, oh, they'll be fine in a few days. They're like, walked off. <laughs> Man, that's I don't know why I never talked about it. I thought it was funny. It's like the girl we were visiting you, only to be like, it's not your time yet. <laughs> it sounded like they were almost disappointed you weren't going to die. So I did make this one bad joke. And I think they heard it, they gave me a glare before they left. I, I, I told the doctor, so if I remove this IV, well, would I fill my wish? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so bueno, sweet pea. Right? I'm sorry. You know I'm an asshole. And if you give me an opportunity. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you really surprised that I asked the doctor that? <laughs> Honestly? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of your thing, but it so pisses me off. <laughs> and that almost makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah, I think if, like, I'm on my deathbed in a hospital, I'll be just joking about it the entire time. I think I'd rather go down smiling and laughing than crying. That's fair. Siri, you play Stardew? Or have you played Stardew? I love Stardew Valley. I haven't played it in a while, but I love it. Would you like to assist me in a how like what kind of goth each character is gonna get? What? So, I'm, I'm, so my portrait that I'm doing is going to be I'm I'm, I'm gothified, right? Well, there's a lot of types of goth you can do. Depends on the character. Well, so like Haley. I kind of got like the uh, like 2014 to 2016 Tumblr, like kind of emo goth mix. Uh. And like. Mainly. I'm feeling like Elliot's gonna get like either romantic goth or like vampire goth. Alright, I am back. Hi. I think he's either one. I think. Maybe the romantic goth would be good for him. But I'd love to see him as a vampire goth, even though that has <laughs> nothing to do with his personality. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hmm? Hello. And I was gonna say, like, for charity... Get out of my way, you ass. Hey, got okay. this one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, okay. I am sorry for having a slight grudge. In my heart for St. Jude. Has nothing to do with anything they did. Anyway, Ms. Hatchet, you're saying about the charity? I say the charity that I would suggest is probably, um. Ah, oh, fuck, what is it? Um. Palestinian Children's Relief Fund. Oh. Ah. That actually sounds like a good song. Yeah. Ironically, I could do Harvey as Vampire Dog. Oh yeah, uh, yeah Hatch, you, you missed the conversation <laughs> about me water. being visited by Make-A-Wish. Okay. 
Wait, when did you fun. say you're gonna do charity stream bright? Uh, December and January. Why? It's gonna be a while, but I'm still playing on it because because I'm thinking I'm trying to decide what what type of uh, streams do I want to do. Do I want to do it like last year where I did Christmas Horror Games? Well, actually, I probably won't because I think I've played all of them and I haven't seen more being produced. Yeah. Well, who it... knows what December will bring? Yeah, like it's, it's not like we have like a Hallmark uh, channel equivalent for making Christmas Horror Games every year. Yeah. Although that would be fucking hilarious. I would love that. I also I have a bunch of Oreos. I to watch as a pop, but that looks hard to get. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. So... Yeah, I think I want to step away from war games for December and January. Yes. Or something else. I was also thinking at the same time SCP games, but then again... Like... A lot of them that I want to play... Aren't finished yet. No. Well, instead of SCP games, if you can't find any good games, you could do, like, reading different SCPs and talking about their lore. Good. I'm trying to see if, if there's anywhere else but that one spot hatchet. What about that temple through the, the thing? Through the the hatchet areas? Yeah, I clean that. Oh. I, I have my own areas? Yeah, there's other areas? I can take you there. Give me a moment. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Anyways, how'd you follow me? What? What? Why? What? I'm gonna show you the other area. Oh. Yeah, and you missed the joke, right? What joke? I'm confused. I was telling a joke. Oh yeah, up through here, this area. Yeah, you this see, is where the gnome came from. <laughs> because you said through the what sounded like the hatches areas. Oh. Oh my god. Said, I have my own areas. <laughs> but I guess I have to explain every fucking joke to this dingus. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I was just looking around for other dirty areas. You didn't hear the statement that led to you saying, oh, you want to go look at this area? You know yeah. what? You could even, like, do something like use RPG Maker during December and, like, try to make your own little mini game. Things I would think about doing that. Wait, you said make the game, right? Yeah. It's just that I'm a terrible story writer. You could, get, you could get help from us. I don't know. Well, we got... I... Okay, so I got an idea from Jiri. Does Hatch have any ideas? I'm gonna go by each person, and I'll, I'll just take them all in. I have multiple ideas. I... I don't know. Do whatever you wanna. Alright, that's one idea for Hatchet. Anyways, bookworm. Like, whatever sounds fun. Yeah.
do whatever you want and to do whatever what you want. <laughs> Not helpful when I don't know what to want. I second matches I think. You know what? During December we I could always draw you a persona. Oh my god. Or Julia could draw you a persona. I could draw you a fursona, but it's gonna look like balls. I mean, I appreciate all forms of art, but I don't, I don't want a fursona. Would we draw her as a scaly of feathery? A I, it's, I don't know. When you, when you think about it, featheries are just guys' scalies. Yeah, they are. He's erratic and clumsy enough to be a sky scaly. Uh, what? I see birds as clumsy, erratic, and like they can look elegant, but they're typically just derpy and goofy. I mean, it really depends on the bird. I'm looking at like a like website that just is like a guide to kinds of like goth and punk. And one of them is called Crust Punk. It's called what? Crust Punk. Crust Punk? Yes. The subculture came off music that emphasizes social and political ills with an anarchist flavor to it. As a result, most crust punks participated in a lifestyle of squatting in abandoned places and not keeping up with hygiene or with hygiene as that, a that rebellious sounds, alternative. Um, that sounds less punk and more like homeless. Yeah, um, except they don't do it because they have no other choice. They do it because they. Um, but I, I read this and I'm just like, yeah, that's huh. Yeah, it, it sounds like they're like, I have money, but I decide to do this because I want to. Yeah, but I read this and I was just like, huh, that's, that's just strange. <laughs> oh no, I was going to say that's Linus. Um, except Linus is, he's more just like a, I don't know, he's, he's like, he's a wilderness man. He's a mountain man without much of a mountain. Chain, chain's just dirty and gross. I have no idea what the f is being talked about right now. I don't think that our chain to be gross at all. Well, okay, so like Shane has like an obvious problem. I'm like talking about his room specifically. Whoa. His room you is know how many people have messy rooms? He still dresses clean, he showers, he goes to work. He just has a really messy room. Sure. We'll go with that. There we go. Pink flower. I think I'm gonna do Shane as grunge. Shane is so into chicken. Hey! He can mix up a hey, stop that. color of chicken. And I am all for blue chicken. That, that's entirely valid. Um. Ah! Uh, you good? Cats are fighting. Kitty! Oh, no. That's not good. Festus! Stop! The question is, will the cats listen when you tell them to stop? I'm at the pink flower area. Where the fuck are you? Well, you called it pink, but it's purple. Well, oh wait, this is purple. Why, why did I call it pink? Okay, clean the purple. It's uh, near beginning. Oh, it's around the pink. 
And you were looking at the purple while saying things. Oh, so I guess I didn't fully clean this area. Nope. So then what's stone decoration ones? This thing is that. Got it. Oh, it's right here. Or the spring. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at it. I'm looking for the dirt. Ah. Wait. I hear this. Since there's so many different areas, how is it going to show both of us? Because I was like in a whole different area, too. Maybe top down? Got it. There we go. All right, about to see how it works. Oh, that's how. Yep. Wait, but I'm so, I'm gonna be disappeared. <laughs> it's just two for. Oh wait, never mind. I didn't see it where the thing was. I'm an idiot. I didn't it's see okay. myself cleaning for a idiot. long while. <laughs> we still love you, no matter how stupid you get. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's uh, next. I have the list. Okay, Jerry. Huh? So, Haley. We, we already have Haley's design kind of figured out. Haley is the 2014 to 2016 Tumblr emo goth girl thing. Yeah. Ellie is romantic. Okay. Because that man waxes poetically. Uh, All right. Work. Jerry. If you want to draw my my character looking sort of like Destroya, I'll accept that as a fursona. You're allowing me to fur to to anthro by your character. Yes, I'll accept that. Okay, so what's next, Bride? Uh, we're gonna clean an area that has a dinosaur. I'm looking up what Destroya even is. It has. Multiple uh, forms. I said I'm looking it up. It has multiple oh, forms. Multiple versions of Destroya. Yeah, there are. I call mm -hmm. cleaning the dino. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, uh, Destroya actually does represent something. What do they represent? Basically, in order to create them, they had to. Drop the oxygen destroyer on Godzilla, which destroys all forms of oxygen. That's how Destroyer was born. Destroyer was born oh. from Godzilla. Yeah, because the infusion of the oxygen destroyer bomb in Godzilla's cells with the crustacean. I forgot what crustacean it was, but it's microscopic. I'm guessing some kind of plankton. Yeah, but um. Basically, Destroyer is meant to represent uh, the after uh, bad after effects of dropping any form of weapon and how it can end up destroying the world. Because all Destroyer wants is complete and utter destruction. Well, so Destroyer's... Uh, Huh? So Destroyer's meaning is literally just a, a more broader version of Godzilla? Well, it depends on which version of Godzilla catch it. Some mean atomic warfare, while others is like the unrest of the human souls, the one I told you about. It, it di differs between Godzilla to Godzilla. Like the one. Well then, I'll... well, then I'll say the original Godzilla. Yeah, the original one. Yeah, because um, the Godzilla in that movie was represent um, the disasters of uh, nuclear power plants because it was constantly producing way too much nuclear energy within itself that it would just blow up all of Japan eventually. I'm. Pretty sure it was more associated with nuclear, like, weaponry. Since, like... So if I make an anthro-destroyer, uh, 
sketch of your character, would you have it actually get made? What was as a VTuber model? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. But anyways, hey, you're saying Hatchet? Um, the fact that the original Godzilla was, like, directly inspired from the creator, uh, riding a plane over Bikini at full. Yeah, that's true. Like, there, that's the thing about Godzilla, it, they were, different versions of Godzilla represent different things. Because in that movie, Godzilla vs. Destroya, Godzilla keeps going after and destroying nuclear reactors. Which is why it represents disasters and nuclear reactors and stuff like that. It's, it's mainly because it's doing that to gain more energy and then blow up. Wait, I just realized since God Destroyer killed that God, got that killed that Godzilla, wouldn't they be more of like an anti-hero in that movie than a villain? Because <laughs> if they if destroy then kill that Godzilla, all of Japan will be destroyed instead of just a small yeah, part. Yeah, Destroyer apparently saved the world by destroying that Godzilla. Well, I mean, they did survive by sending a part of them out in the ocean, based on the comic books. If you want to go by that. Okay. So they did survive. I clean a dino. Yeah. I will say there are some versions that say Godzilla's like a boy, some say it's a girl and a mom. Oh some yeah, no. Both. Yeah, Godzilla's gender is just don't think about it. Yeah, like if I remember correctly, like in Japan, they quite literally use gender-neutral terms. Yeah. And then it was, like, through localization and primarily Americanization that any gender suffixes were added to Godzilla. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's, that's true. Which makes it even fucking funnier that so many people freaked out at, like, that one pink Godzilla design. Yeah! Like, they turned Godzilla into a girl! Godzilla was not a boy originally. Yeah, and Godzilla was like, not a boy or a girl! Like, it's just so stupid. Oh yeah, here's here's another thing. In the movies where Godzilla has a child, there's no other Godzilla. It's just one parent Godzilla. There's multiple... Yeah, like, mm -hmm. of course, you know, them recognizing uh, that fact would likely take them having to recognize the fact that, you know, uh, intersex spe like species that engage or, like, have intersex uh, natures exist in nature. Yeah. And they have to necessarily avoid thinking about the fact that uh, this basically functionally makes Godzilla intersex rep. We don't know if Godzilla is intersex or one of those lesbian wizards that can reproduce asexually. Oh, here's another fact about well, yeah, true. Godzilla. Uh, mm? There's one movie where it shows an origin of a Godzilla. Where it was a T Rex that just had a, a nuclear bomb thrown on it, and what it became Godzilla. <laughs> what kind of fucking batshit <laughs> bull crap is that? <laughs> but I am currently standing on one of the most culturally significant examples of intersex rap. Yeah. Life finds a way. Well, specifically Jurassic Park. Oh, that's fair. Jurassic yes. Park basically suggests some of the dinosaurs switch their gender. Not gender, yeah. their sex. Yeah, like, well, it, it's not like even suggest. Like, it's that... it's just actually what happened. If I remember correctly, like, there are some lizards that can do that. 
There's actually like a handful of species of lizards that like literally only have female members of their species, but they still fuck. The uh, but... the, the Komodo dragon can give virgin birth. Like I think yeah, both genders. There's... Uh, well, sexes. The sex, yeah, man. Sorry, yeah. I get those confused sometimes. Yeah, what I mean, you... yeah. What were you saying, Helio? Oh, I was just like, are there like some lizards that can push genders and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Although, oh, yeah. since uh, they use frog DNA in the movie, it'd probably be closer to frog super can and will. Yeah, for, for like, there are some reptiles that do it, but it's far more common among fish and amphibians. Yep. Yeah. And Frogs are very well forget. known for having sex changes when there's not enough of one gender or not one of one sex or another. Yeah. And and let's not forget the icon that is male seahorses. Yeah. That's, yeah. Male seahorses have to give exhausting birth. Poor guys. Isn't there an animal where they have to fight? To differentiate which one gets pregnant or not? Yeah, several species of slug. Yeah. Mo most they... slug species are like, uh, like, oh, uh, like don't have a strict sex. Like yeah. they have both sex cells. Yeah, they both. Yeah, a lot of slugs have both sexes. Then they take the let's just say the male part and fight each other with it. Yeah, and then wh whoever gets gored by the penis loses it and has to carry babies. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Imagine if humans had to go through that. Oh, God. Well, then humans would have to throw their member. Hey, let's just make billionaires. <laughs> oh, my what does God. That even... right. You don't... Like, what does that even mean? We just forced a bunch of billionaires together and forced them to fight whoever I mean, gets that's pregnant not or not. how that works. Billions <laughs> are not slugs! Not yet. And billionaires can't reproduce by taking their organs and throwing them at people. Okay, so here's the closest thing that I can think of to making that batshit stupid statement from Bright make any sense. <laughs> Okay, we get a bunch of billionaires together for a game show, right? We give them all penis-shaped swords, and they fight to the death. That's the closest thing we've got. <laughs> or we turn them into slugs. You know what, We're Bright? If you can figure out how to do that, it, Bright, if you can figure out how to turn billionaires into slugs, just let us know. <laughs> I think rather than fighting to the death, why not just have them, like, shoot paintballs or something. No, we, we don't have to be as extreme as a, as a slug. But it's billionaires. These slugs have some of the most psychopathic, way, psychopathic ways of reproducing ever. Very intriguing conversations earlier. I could see that. We uh, we had a wonderful conversation about the animal kingdom. What part? Uh, bright, not knowing what it defines the animal kingdom. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> That's doesn't actually surprise me. I was just asking, because how 610 operates, would it be classified as an animal? But I now know that it no. wouldn't. You say yourself it's a fungus. Multiple times we have told you that fungi are their own fucking grouping. Yeah, fungi it's are not flora, but they're also not fauna. Yeah, they're, they're, they're their own kingdom. Yeah. And well, and then you ask, hey, is this is this fictional fungal infection an animal? Yeah. Multiple times. I'm not surprised. It I'm mean, I learned I, I got to, to re up myself on uh, what actually defines an animal. 
I got to sit here and suffer. <laughs> we, that was uh, fun. We talked, we, we talked about, um, heterotropics, and homotropics, and autotropics. That's probably not the most efficient way to do this, but it's something. I'm watching Bright clean off glass boxes with uh, high pressure water. That does not sound. Uh... Wait, I'm not moving. I'm not touching my keyboard. What is happening? <laughs> oh, damn. I wonder how that's happening. Oh, you're spraying me? It doesn't look like on my screen you're spraying me. <laughs> fucking dumbass. No, it on my screen. Doesn't look you're like spraying that. this. You're spraying right here. While I was over uh, here. <laughs> so it I was like, does not look like it. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? That was weird. I was like, I was also befuzzled. <laughs> yeah. Not like realistically. Why in the world are you guys? using high pressure water cannons to clean glass cases? <laughs> and artifacts? Well, you see, the glass cases are probably bulletproof. Well, they the would not be that clear they were bulletproof. Hey, quit cleaning my shit. Actually, yeah. I've seen bulletproof glass that is that clear. It gets very thick. Yeah, and right, I was, I was like, cleaning the top of it because I'm at a good position to do that. Oh, okay. But I will say some of the bulletproof glass, when they get a little older, becomes foggy. Anyway, You're in a good I'm position going... to clean the top of a lot of things, actually. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of... Cleaning the top of the roof, ridge, rim, whatever. Do we even have a ladder? Are we expected to just use this T Rex to clean on top of things? We got a step stool. Oh, there's a ladder behind you. You're the old yeah, there is. It'd be so funny if they didn't give us a ladder and we were just supposed to fucking stand on this T Rex to clean everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to go to the bathroom and get ready for bed. It's getting solid. Okay. I'm glad that I've kept a pretty consistent four viewers throughout this stream. Very nice. At this rate, I'll be able to get hit that uh, three viewer average in no time. All right, Jerry, I thought about it before you go. Yeah. If you do, because I, I, my artist can do this. If you do the persona thing, when I create the onesie one, they can make it so that the onesie morphs my body into the persona. Oh, that sounds weird. That's okay. actually okay. That's dead ass a cool ass idea. Yeah, that I can do really that. Fun. That's what I thought about it. If you if it gets made, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> what version of Destroyer would you like? Probably, like, the most adult form, which is when it's, like, really big and bulky and standing. Like... The one that looks like a dinosaur? Uh... Well... Y you can send me in and I can tell you. Later. But... I think evolution is such an interestingly funny thing. When you think about dinosaurs, mm -hmm. like, dinosaurs, their family lineage led a good number of them to, like, have originally come out, then on four legs, and then they turned into the, and then their species evolved. Legs. And then a good number of dinosaurs just evolved back into using four legs. Yeah. Evolution is fucking. Yeah, instead of uh, immediately doing the floor, I think I'm gonna do all the objects first. Yeah, solid. 
while I'm up here cleaning off the top of things. What the fuck happened in this museum? That's a good question. <laughs> Hold on, it might say in the overview. Just a friend. It probably does. You have such a quite unassuming aura. I feel I could task you with anything, which is why I'm asking you to do something rather special for me now. As you know, I'm traveling from time to time, and along the way, I picked up the odd curious trinket or two. I keep them all in treasure room of sorts. I think part of me just considered it somewhat indulgent, hence its neglected state, and the whole place is now covered in a thick layer of dust. Would you be able to clear things up for me? This is dust? This is nothing but dust. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is yeah, not all sure. dust. <laughs> we can put this. <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> He put the ladder up to the dinosaur's mouth. Dust. Yeah, quote-unquote dust. Yeah. Nightbook. Oh, night... Oh, Jerry, you hadn't... You're yeah, going to bed, Jerry right? left. Okay. Yeah, good night. Oh, I was, I was misunderstanding. I thought Jerry would be back... My brain is dumb, but yeah, have a good night, though. Jerry, why was I about to say boy? Have Damn. a good night, Jerry. Yeah, have a good night, Jerry. <laughs> May your dreams be of Jerry's. Does that mean he'll be covered in snake daddies? Right? Yes. I said Jerry. The joke was the word jury, because it sounds like jury. So tell me, Bright, if there had been dreams of juries, what would those dreams be about? Them in a courtroom. Everyone in juries, there's <laughs> There. Jesus Christ. We're a medieval execution. Oh, not even a medieval take... execution. Book France was using the guillotine up until the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> no, the 70s. I thought the last one was in 65. No, the last one was uh, the same year that Star Wars came out. So I think 76. They just weren't public executions. They stopped Last doing. Last official death by guillotine was. <laughs> okay. Seventy-seven. I I'm gonna uh, tweet okay. something. One year off. What are you gonna tweet, Bright? Twit. You better not engage in criminal action online, Bright. I do that all That's the time. That's called a confession. <laughs> yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? What'd you say, Apollo? But this time it's not the Florida man doing fucked up shit. This time it's an Alabama man. Alabama? There was an Alabama, there was an Alabama man that was charged with illegally owning an attack world. He said meth. It's a piece of nuts. Wait, hold up. What'd you say? I did not understand a word of that. I said there was an Alabama man that was charged with illegally owning an attack squirrel that he fed meth and called it these nuts. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> At least it's not only Florida. <laughs> And guy's like, man, I can't afford getting an attack dog, but I really want an attack something. <laughs> so he just grabs a squirrel from his local park and he's like, this'll do. Yeah. No, not even his park. He probably found it down by the river. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm gonna... Go up 
you're, okay, there we go. <laughs> In order to claim the, this armor of Horus, I had to go right under it and shoot right up its ass. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so I think the armor of Horus is done. Okay. Oh. Okay, can can I say one thing? Mm -hmm. About uh Horus. Um, I had a teacher, a history teacher. Um, when I went to say Horus's name, they said something else. They said its name was Horus. <laughs> Yeah. And no one corrected them. I tried to see that. Yeah, it was very predictable. Yeah. You see, that's the sort of mistake. It's so bad that you have to avoid telling them until, like, they've been saying it that way for at least several years, several generations of students. Yeah. And eventually they're told what's wrong, and they just think, every last one of my classes never corrected me. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it that way since high school. So I'm not gonna lie, when we're done with this... This one, you wanna end it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's fine. Watch this actually be the last one, too. Maybe. I'm going after the wall lights. Then I'll go with the floor. Yeah, yeah, I was doing a couple of the wall lights. They like they're easy to get. Yeah. I guess not the wall lights, I was like the ceiling lights what I was trying to hit. Oh wait, not wall lights are wall lamps. I'm an idiot. Eh, it's just a different word for wall lights. Okay, now let's make me remember something I did. Like, <laughs> I, I I did at this person's house. Um, they were, let's just say, that, okay, they were a racist, amongst other things. Okay. And I noticed okay. their wall light would, you know, when you do the clapping thing, the lights turn on. Yeah. So, I hid a little speaker in in, in their house, and I just pl played <laughs> a porno. And then you would just see from the outside lights constantly turning off and on. That. Uh. <laughs> Wait, why were you even in a racist's house? It was a teacher's house. Oh, great. Why were you in your teacher's house? Right? <laughs> I don't Honestly... think I've ever been to one of my teacher's houses. Honestly, it's more like, of a. I only know where one of them lives. Honestly, it's more of a blur. I don't honestly remember why. That's concerning. But I mean, I think I have also been to one of my teacher's houses. It just literally depends on the context. I'm trying to remember what teacher was it. The racist one. Yeah, but it was other things they were bad. To oh no. What? I forgot. Um. What so bright lore has bright just remembered? 
so remember that really bad teacher I had that was really good with me in, in a oh, bad way situation. I had a bad feeling yeah I can't remember what happened at the oh. house other than the speaker thing it's still a, a, a blur I can't remember more than that I'm not sure if Bookram understands it, but, um, th that teacher I'm talking about was a, a P-word, and they liked me too much. And yes, I was a minor at the time. I was in middle school. I don't know what age. <laughs> But I'm now getting more concerned on why I can't remember. Let's just move on. Yeah, I, I think I don't want to think about it too much. I figured you were a minor and fuck. Yeah. Okay, there is actually one thing that, that is funny about that teacher, is that they were constantly sunburned. Love that for them. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know why. That's one thing I remember about them, is that their skin always looked constantly sunburned. Even Soul wanted to kill them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This week's episode of I swear I'm a writer. Google searches. <laughs> Cost to hire a hitman. Son hates him as it should. This book. Where to stab someone in the leg? <laughs> <laughs> in the artery. Common occult rituals. Ingredients for a Molotov cocktail. Police procedures Why would you... in Canada. I'm sorry, Signs back up. Someone might be a werewolf. And top radio hits of 2007. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not letting go of this. What do you mean, ingredients to make a Molotov cocktail? <laughs> it's it a just... bottle. It's <laughs> a bottle, something flammable inside, and a rag. Not everybody plays video games to know that. I legitimately it, learned that because of zombies. Well, yeah, but like, if you've ever seen a Molotov in any Maybe capacity... Maybe they hadn't seen a Molotov and only read about them. They are in Hawker. Yeah. I don't know. They I are find in it, I don't know. I find it really hard to believe that someone can, like, have gone through the media landscape that we're in. And having never seen what a Molotov looks like. Oh! Limits? Right? Sorry, speaking of writing things, I remember there was this one time where I made my English teacher worried about me. Oh no. I, I got an A plus on it. Oh, they said you, you could write anything you want on it. So I wrote, wrote the implications on how to easily mass produce mustard gas. Damn. I love that. <laughs> oh yes, how to make your teachers think you're going to uh, violate the Geneva Convention. Yeah. Okay, so. Limits of the human body. Body heat. 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold water. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot! Hot air, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. High altitude, 15,000 feet. Starvation, 45 days. Diving depth, 282 feet. Lack of oxygen, 11 minutes. Blood loss, 40%. And dehydration, 7 days. Mm. Interesting. How about lack of Oreos? 
life. Honestly, I can tell you now, there are people in the world that have never had an Oreo. That's impossible. Don't you know humans were evolved to eat Oreos? <laughs> Bookworm says, sounds like you're reading off what makes a soul. <laughs> <laughs> marriage of convenience is a great trope, but what about marriage of inconvenience? We're getting married to spite everyone. We're gonna be a mess. Oh my gosh, I just realized, saying that story, that wasn't the first time I made that teacher worried about me. Because <laughs> I, I wrote so many shit that got A pluses that were disturbing. <laughs> I think I, re I remember writing on uh, how to start plagues was a running one. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, a jinx is a benign dark magic used to inconvenience or discomfort the victim. A hex is used to wish bad luck or ill intention on the victim. A curse is designed to cause direct harm to the victim. I will not be saying this again. Minerva McGonagall goes through the post. Tumblr, people. Tumblr. I'm trying to remember, what else did I write about? That teacher got concerned. <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh... <laughs> I forgot! Another writing one was Have the Nuka Country. <laughs> was, one wrote, was one I wrote. <laughs> What the fuck could you possibly write about there? How to nuke a country? Get nuke. Drop nuke. <laughs> Paper over. Ninety-nine percent of writing is just debating on the best synonym for the word "set" and wondering if you overused their name instead of their pronoun. <clears throat> that is reason number one as to why I do not like fanfics. Honestly, why was I never sent to the principal for my writing problems, to be honest? Because that should be disturbing for a teacher. Just three separate times I, I wrote something on how to put the Geneva Convention. Writing problems. Writing problems. Writing problems. Writing problems. Writing problems. You are the town superhero. Your greatest enemy is the town super villain. However, Secretly, you're both brothers. This isn't anything tragic, as your whole destructive rivalry is actually just a massive prank on your third brother, the mayor. Writing prompt. You're a superhero, and your nemesis is human rights. They don't get along. <laughs> You're a superhero, and your nemesis is human rights. Yeah. I mean, some people see Trump as a superhero. Well, I was more thinking Homelander, but that works too. <laughs> the, the weird government-installed Captain America. Yeah. I hate so much, I don't remember his name. John Walker. Damn it, I remembered his name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to remember his name. I remember that name. <laughs> Things Wait, right why are there tire tracks through here? Remember. I just noticed that. It's just dust. What the fuck? It's just Dutch. No, I mean, it's just Dutch. It's just Dutch. Welcome, welcome to the Netherlands. All of our dirty rooms we drive 4x4s through. Why do we do it? 
it's just done. Realistically, the tire tracks could be one of those, like, elevated electrical scaffold thing things. I think you cut out. Hello? What did you say? I said realistically, the tire tracks could be one of those, like, elevated electrical scaffolding things. Okay, I could kind of see that, except the tire tracks are for the most part in, like, in, in several areas where that would not be necessary. Fair. Such as, you know, under here. Yeah. That's fair. Things writers Google. Last name ideas. What's the real word for that thingy thing? How much blood can a person lose without dying? Murder, murder, murder. Where do commas go? Types of questions. Am I sleep deprived or is it okay to see the void physically damaged? Yes. My favorite flavor is bloody sausage. Have you ever had a blood orange? No. Me neither. Have you ever met Oprah Winfrey? Nah. Me neither. Ropes. Lovers dancing at the masquerade. One star. Enemy Wait, what star? The masquerade. Five stars. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> you thought I said what instead of what? <laughs> no, 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 I heard something else. <laughs> what did you hear? Do, do you really want to know? Kind of? I thought you said porn star. <laughs> How did you get that? <laughs> that one is flipped. Purely on bright. Uh, that can't like, be blamed on, on my illness. There is not a. Like. <laughs> there is. One letter that is the same between those two words. Two. Two letters. Two? Yep. Two letters. Yeah, oh, the I get. Yeah, N, right. I was thinking some, not one. Fuck. But either way, they don't sound remotely similar. What is wrong with you? I think you already know that. Lost I'm going to turn you into a sandwich. Here. I wonder how many tw tweets my, my tweet has been going through. Seven. I wonder... I wonder how many tweets my tweets have been going through. Do you just hate us? <laughs> Do you just want us to suffer? <laughs> Are you I, I doing this on just, purpose? I missed at least three paragraphs. Because somebody paraphrased. Uh. Oh. Hero. Is that the best you can do, villain? Yeah, man. I'm actually trying really hard here. Hero. Now looking uncomfortable. Oh. Hero. Hey, man. It's okay. You. That was good. You are. Uh, you did good. Villain. It did good. Hero. I mean, bad. You. You did bad. Villain shoots hero in the face. <laughs> Bullshit. Lies. Dog shit. Poor quality. Bat shit. Illogical. Ape shit. Frighteningly aggressive. Poor shit. Unfair. It's also horse apples. <laughs> which can basically mean bullshit. Oh! Brian, we should write. Me? Good idea. Brian, here are, here are characters. Anesthetic board. Playlist. Oh, oh, we can DJ so many epic scenes. 
Sipeth and me. Great! Now, how does that all fit together? Brain. How's left with the chat? Oh my god. What? H Hatch, remember last stream I got a mess email from those people who are interested in my business and want to invest in it or something like that? Yeah. I got can. another one of this. It's the exact same. Oh. They just copied it word for word. Chapter 1. The story so far, in the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry, and has been widely regarded as a bad move. To make it worse, the devs have yet to acknowledge this fact. Blood bounces quite strikingly on snow, not only because the obvious color uh, contrast discrepancy, but the large difference in comfort. Another post to add on to the list of I swear I'm not a serial killer, just a writer. I'm not even a writer, this is awesome. I'm not even a, not even a serial killer, and I love this. I'm a serial killer. <laughs> Reader, OMG, I'm so curious what happens in this chapter. Writer, me too. A. Can I kill him? B. No. A. Why not? He's immortal. A. So you're saying it, but I get to kill him more than once? Hey. Uh, can I. Uh, say something that I, I, I saw that I thought was funny and learned. Hit me. Are you ready? Hit me. Alright, so, the cow says moo. The cat says meow. The chicken says cluck. And the dog says Edward. <laughs> What? Okay. The dog says Edward. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I totally what? Edward. I, I, I said the cow says moo. The cat uh -huh. says meow. The chicken uh -huh. says cluck. And the dog uh -huh. says Edward. Have you watched Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? No. Then you would understand. Be issue. <laughs> it's a meme I'm from I'm glad. Okay. Glad I'm not just stupid. A man combined his daughter with his dog. Uh... He also did that to his wife, too, I think. Remember her? Yeah. Here. Yeah, he did. Did you know that people working under fascist governments tend to be extremely fucked up people? Wow. Well, luckily he was murdered. Oh yeah, I forgot that part, yeah. Scar came along and did him in. Which I think was well deserved. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like... Of, of all the, like, confirmed kills Scar had... I think, like, he's one of the ones that just absolutely everyone in the fandom is entirely fine with. Yeah. I have a list of 20 words that, des that descri describe killing different kinds of people. Just look at okay. my GTA videos, it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, like, it's it's, like... Amicide is killing a friend. Epis Episcopicide is killing a bishop. 
Oh, okay. A pistol. Oh, Hatchet, do you remember one of my most favorite clips where basically I I called myself, I yelled out expert pilot because I was just tired. <laughs> it went through the ocean, dove the plane into it, and it came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw a compilation of other people like trying to get the the material like I uh and they go to do what I did but fail. Fun, fun. <laughs> it was just a compilation of them failing. Um he had you, do you like the floor? Well it looks nice. Thank Except you. This part. This part still needs done. I'll handle this stone area right here. So, Phyllis yeah, side is killing one's own child. Fracture side is killing one's own brother. I cannot produce, pronounce that one, but it's killing of women. Uh, Marita side is killing one's own husband or wife. Matricide is one's own mother. Let me guess, Phileocide is one's own father. That's patricide. Oh, patricide. Okay, that makes sense. Phileocide is child. Oh, okay. I meant, I meant, I mixed those up. But. Uh, neonaticide is a newborn infant. If you just call that uh, infanticide and be done with it. <laughs> yeah. There's a it's, per it's, there's a politician uh, who believes in that. Yes, we know. You bring it up constantly. That's gross. Um, they have the the plural version of killing one's parents, which is parenticide, apparently. Um, parricide is killing a parent or a parent-like close relative. Prolicide is killing off the offspring or killing of the human race. Regicide is killing of a mother. Senicide is killing of old men. Um, Sororicide is killing of one's own sister. Tyrannicide is killing of a tyrant. And Vaticide is killing of a prophet. Huh. Actually, you know what? Hatch, mm -hmm. are, are you good to want to do this tomorrow? I was planning to do, uh, um, your own thing. Yeah, I was planning to do Morrowind, but I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, the reason why I thought that is, or we can do fast tomorrow. We can do that too. I'd be down for that. I have to re-download it. Would you be around, Apollo? Probably. It depends on how long I'm gonna be out of town tomorrow. Uh, I should be back by tomorrow evening. The reason I said is because I realize tomorrow I won't have a lot of time for indie horror games. And I don't know why I chose tomorrow for that. Uh... Cause you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, my aunt came over earlier and told me that my dad got a hold of her and asked for her to bring my brother and I over. Oh to damn. Business. Sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. My brother's not going. Just me. <laughs> uh... My brother straight up told it to tell her no. <laughs> Do you think it would be better if we just did something else tomorrow, or...? Like, if we can't do fast, we can probably just do this instead. 
Like, we don't want to make you uncomfortable. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm chill. I'll be fine. Like, I might be a little grumpy, but like, once I get, like, dinner to me, I can chill. My dad always puts foot in his mouth. I'm used to it. Uh. So the other concern, right, is just the fact that uh, there's a good chance that if we play this too much, I'm gonna get just completely sick of it. Ah. Uh, then, hmm. We can do Minecraft tomorrow, then. Well, we've got fast tomorrow. Oh, I, I wasn't sure if you were saying it because Apollo wasn't able to do it. Never mind, I'm sorry. Apollo literally... Oh my god, bro. Are you listening to what people in the voice call are saying? Not really. We can tell. <laughs> Back <of> day. Charlatan, harlot, rapscallion, hooligan, ruffian, swindler. Cute gender neutral things to call your person. Honestly, to be honest, if someone called me rapscallion in real life, I'll just laugh at their face. If my partner, ever, partner ever calls me a, a, a harlot or a charlatan, um. <laughs> I'm taking her dog and leaving. But what if it's affectionate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, I can <laughs> handle being called a bastard. <laughs> or a rapscallion. Hooligan, even. But if I am called a harlot or a charlatan, I am taking our dog and leaving. <laughs> hey, Bright. Yeah. Right. Why? Go over here real quick. What did you say? Said, uh, uh, look at me. Harlot. God. <laughs> Writing is 10% typing and 90% thinking of a better way to describe somebody walking across the room. That hurts. What? That statement. That physically hurts me, because, yeah. <laughs> Most of the things that you've said have hurt me. <laughs> it hurts me, too. Then why are you doing it? Because I'm scrolling through Pinterest, and they're funny. It hurts my bones. Good responses to getting stabbed with a sword. Rude. That's fair. Not again. Are you gonna want this back or can I keep it? It's a okay. My girlfriend. I... You you wanna hear? Probably one of my favorite fun facts about the filming of Lord of the Rings. Hatch it. Right, has a button. There's a button right here. I'm gonna press it. That's not good. That's gonna open another door. What happened? Sounded like a door opened. Find it. I heard something. There is something moving. So question number one. Is it in the fireplace? Don't think so. Sounds like 
Stone this scraper. is gonna drive me insane. Where the fuck is it? Sounds like stone scraping. Oh. <laughs> well, I just opened that myself. Why is the gnome in the globe? Right. Right. Watch this. No, to put it back down. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, it's a ghost gnome. It's coming to haunt you. It's in the dinosaur's day. <laughs> what is this button supposed to do? I hear something moving. And it might be an area we have to go to. Maybe it's just supposed to be the dinosaur roaring. Is that what you're hearing? I don't fucking know. That actually may be it. We're just gonna go with that. Right? What? I'm in the globe. <laughs> How did you get in there? I tried doing it. Hello. <laughs> Are you actually stuck in there? It won't open. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, it won't open. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a jack of the box. Yeah, I'm getting the walls right now. I'm getting the fireplace in all of its extremities. And when's the last time you heard someone say the word extremities? Probably a while ago. I need to get a word a day calendar, that's what I need. Maybe it'll inspire me to write more. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what did you say? I said maybe I should get a word a day calendar. Ah. Maybe it'll inspire me to write more. Also, I'm pretty sure as most of chat can tell, um, I have been having a lot of trouble getting back to writing my lore. <laughs> I think it's because I get bored easily. Um, so, catch up. Hmm? Bodies don't float if you puncture the lungs. Yeah. And? Is that a threat? That... <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean... Maybe. <laughs> Can hey, it Bright. be a threat, though? Hey, Bright. What? Bright. What? Bodies don't float if you puncture the lungs. Huh. I guess we should tell the bodies in the water that. <laughs> Shoot the bodies in the water and the lungs. They, they won't float no more. <laughs> SC, SCP decommission. Or what is it? Uh, reclassified. No, not reclassified. Like, if it's neutralized. There we go. But as I was going to say a minute ago, you want to hear one of my favorite fun facts about the filming of War of the Rings? What? Uh, there is a scene that was cut from the theater release of Return of the King that features Saruman being stabbed in the back by 
scream a wearing tongue and dying. Uh, and during the filming of that scene, uh, Peter Jackson, the director, um, basically tries to explain to uh, Christopher Lee how he thinks that Saruman should react when he gets stabbed. And then Chris Lee very authoritatively said, not, basically said, no, nah, that's not really what it sounds like when someone's stabbed in the back. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. That man was basically James Bond. Yeah, like he, uh, he had, like, actual military experience. He was in like, the, he... um, he was in, like, Britain's version of the, uh... Of, like, the CIA. Yeah. For a good long while during World War Two. Yeah, no, that man is terrifying. May he rest in peace. He was quite a character. Oh, he's dead? But he was also in so many movies. Yeah. And, yeah, he's 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 been dead for a good long while, right? A hot minute. Who are we talking about? Christopher Lee. I oh. said his name already. I don't think I know them. Count Dooku in Star Wars, Saruman in Lord of the Rings. Oh, I know Count Dooku. Okay. He's like famous for playing villain lead roles. Because he really had the voice for it. Twenty two incredible facts about Christopher Lee. Maybe. If they want <laughs> to scroll. How many facts did you say? Twenty two. Okay. Fact twenty two surprise you. <laughs> okay. So you ready for this? No. Um, he was entered into the Guinness Book of World Records in 2007 for most screen credits, having appeared in 244 film and TV movies by that point in his career, and then made 14 more movies, with a 15th due later this year titled Angels in Notting Hill. He also holds the record for tallest leading actor. He stood six foot five, and but also for starring in the most films with a sword fight with seven feet. Huh. This is as of June 12, 2015. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Didn't he pass shortly after that? Wasn't it like yeah. 2016? He he passed in 2015. Uh. His mother was an Italian contessa. And through her, Lee descended from Emperor Charlemagne of the Holy Roman Empire and was related to Robert E. Lee, the Confederate General. Damn. He met Prince Yusupov and Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich. The assassins of the Russian Prince Rasputin. He huh. didn't do this as research for his later film role as Rasputin in the 1966 Hammer film Rasputin the Mad Monk, but as a child in the 1920s. At age 17, he saw the death of the murderer of Eugene. Of he saw the death of murderer Eugene Weidman in Paris the last person to be publicly executed by guillotine. Huh. Dur during World War II, Lee joined the Royal Air Force, but wasn't yeah, allowed to fly go. because of a problem with his optic nerve. So he became an intelligence officer for the long-range desert patrol. A forerunner of the SAS. God damn it. Page reloaded. A forerunner of the SAS Britain Special Forces, he fought the Nazis in North Africa, often having five missions a day. During this time, he helped retake Sicily, 
preventing a mutiny, prevented a mutiny among his troops, contracted malaria six times in a single year, and climbed Mount Vesuvius three days before it erupted. Jesus. At some point during the war, he moved from LRDP to Winston Churchill's even more elite special operations executive, whose missions are literally still classified, but involve conducting espionage, sabotage, and reconnaissance in Europe against the Axis powers. The SOE was more informally called, and I can't believe this somehow hasn't been made into a movie yet, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Oh, well, it, it, I mean, it is now. Yeah. Yes. Now, but as what, of 2015. Now I, which, now I really want to watch. Yeah, me too. The, like, genuinely, the fucking fact that they called their dead-ass Nazi fighting group the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. <laughs> Lee never said anything specific about his time in the SOE, but he did say this. I've seen many men die right in front of me. So many, in fact, I've become almost hardened to it. Having seen the worst six human beings can do to each other, was the result of torture, mutilation, and seeing someone blown to pieces by a bomb. You'd develop a kind of shell, but you had to. You had to, otherwise we would never have won. By the end of the war, he had received commendations for bravery from the British, Polish, Czech, and Yugoslavia governments. Speaking, bro speaking both French and Italian, Lee spent his time after World War II hunting Nazis with the Central Registry of War Criminals and Security Suspects until he decided to give acting a try at age 25. Yes, all of this happened before Lee was 25 years old. This job takes so long. Yeah, welcome in, legendary cramp. Yeah, welcome. I, I, I just want to end. Stream's probably, uh, stream is probably going to end when we're done with this job, but who knows how much longer that'll be. Right, 64%. We are, uh, we are talking about famous actor and uh, basically British spy, uh, Christopher Lee. Basically. Sorry, sorry. I like, I like how you <laughs> Literally say we're British all. Literally, British spy. I like how you say we're, we're all talking about it, and I haven't said a single word about him. No, I just said weird. Um, while filming a sword fight with a drunken Errol Flynn during the filming of the Dark Avengers in 1955, Flynn acts accidentally cut Lee's hand so badly his fingers nearly came off and and was permanently injured. <laughs> Later, Jesus. Lee cut Flynn's wig off while he was wearing it. <laughs> There's more to this. My page reloaded. Again. <clears throat> but yeah, Christopher. <laughs> Flynn stormed off set and refused to come out of his trailer until Lee claimed it was an accident. While best known for his portrayal of Dracula in many in many countless films, he's also starred as the Mummy and Frankenstein's monster. Of course, he's known as Saruman in Lord of the Rings and Count Dooku in Star Wars and the Star Wars prequels. But his other villainous roles include. Fu Manchu, Rasputin, Rochefort of the Three Musketeers, whose portrayal was so popular, I'm going to stab my phone. Have you not gotten the last attachment? I mean, if you're talking about these, like, yeah, I have them, I just wasn't using it for this, uh, His portrayal was so popular with the characters. Now inevitably appears with an eye patch, although it wasn't in the book Lee introduced it. Lord Summer Isle of the Wicker Man and the James Bond villain Garamanga. Mephist Wait, the triple pronged one? Then yeah, no, I haven't gotten that. That's a thing. Uh, 
triple pronged nozzle. Yeah, I, I have not gotten that. Mephistopheles I did not know that existed. And Death himself. Lee was not only related to James Bond creator and author Ian Fleming, they were step cousins, but Lee was actually one of Fleming's first choices for the role of Bond, not least because of Lee's World War II and SOC experiences. He has also played Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, his brother Mycroft Holmes, and Sir Henry Baskerville of the House of Baskerville. Tired of playing Dracula and feeling that the movies have gotten subpar, Lee tries to quit Hammer Films, but studio executives guilted him into returning by stressing how many people could be out of work if Lee stopped turning out hits. Lee agreed to star in 1956 Dracula, Prince of Darkness. He felt the script was so awful, he adamantly refused to say any of his dialogue. Hammer decided that it was far more important to have a mute Lee star as as star as opposed to anyone else, and thus had Dracula hiss and yell throughout the film. In the, in the 1950s, Lee was engaged to Henriette von Rosen, the daughter of Count Fritz von Rosen. The Count apparently didn't like Lee because after hiring private detectives to investigate the actor and demanding references, he also refused to allow his daughter to marry him unless Lee got the blessing of the King of Sweden. Lee got it. Bro, what? What the fuck was this man's life? <laughs> uh, like, you get it before 47. the last... Uh, you get it before the last job. I didn't save my money. It took me about 12 hours. Eesh. Damn. Yeah, I we haven't been doing the main campaign. We've just been doing some DLC stuff for the most part. Um, Lee's life was about yeah. forty-seven separate action movies and thirteen dramas, without overlapping content. <laughs> Love the random conversations. Yeah, that's how things tend to go with collab, right? Especially with something like this. Like, if, if it's just us standing here, fucking cleaning shelves for the entire time silent, what the fuck is yeah. the point of streaming? <laughs> Even I haven't said a word in a like, while. And, yeah. and, like, every time I come in to join them, because this is, like, a, a public ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, um, is, this is in Bright support server. Yeah. Um, I always end up going on a tangent. Yeah. Today, it's Christopher Lee. Last stream, however, I'm pretty sure it was something about murder. Don't know about what? Murder. I'm pretty sure we were talking about someone's death. Oh, maybe. Uh. Uh, Lee was a major Tolkien fan, reading The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy once a year for the majority of his life. He was the only member of the movie cast who have met Tolkien personally. Apparently, ran it, apparently he ran into him randomly in a pub and fanboyed out. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> you just fucking randomly meet Jared <laughs> Tolkien in a pub. What's this? What do you want? I'm trying to clean. Tolkien actually gave him his blessing to play Gandalf in any future Lord of the Rings movie. Holy shit. I well, he didn't play fire. Gandalf. Oh. Thank you for, so much, Snudge. But arguably, Legendary it was crumb. better. I appreciate the follow. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm, I meant to say thank you for the follow, Legendary Crown. Um, when Lee heard that Hollywood was going to finally make a Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Lord of the Rings trilogy in movies, he took a role in the terrible 1997 TV series The New Adventures of Robin Hood as a wizard, specifically so he'd have clear evidence of his ability to be a wizard. When he heard Peter Jackson would direct the film, he sent Jackson a personal letter asking to be in the movies along with a picture of him dressed up as a wizard. Unfortunately, Lee's advanced age and his natural ability to play villains made him an even better choice for Sorrow. No problem. Love this game. Can't wait for the summer seasonal. 
Yeah, and if you're wondering why it looks like I'm fucking drunk, that's because my fucking giant-ass cat is standing in front of my face. <laughs> nice. Best is. Alright, so what were you saying about, like, mind backing up for, like, just a tiny bit? E L. No, uh, about the Chris Lee stuff. Oh, so... Um, basically what happened, Tolkien gave Lee his, like, permission to play Gandalf in any future, um, like, movie adaptations of the books. However, because of Lee's age, um, and his, like, natural ability to play villainous characters, he was more suited for Saruman. You got cut off. What was that? Oh, there you ah. go. Ah, there we go. Okay, you, I got it. Here. And also, Bright, I got a bone to pick with you. Why, Why do you keep moving on without fucking cleaning the entire shelf? I was gonna get back to it. Well, they badly did. Best nozzle IMO is the orange one for close. The others might hit more, but orange tends to clean better. That's fair enough. Probably, yeah. Alright, I changed my audio settings, so hopefully it'll catch me better. Well, a part of it is probably the fact that my internet occasionally, like, dips randomly. So, like... Yeah, mine also does that, so that's probably doesn't call any. Yeah. Because it, it bounces between, like, orange and, and green a lot. That's fair. Um. <clears throat> That's close. So, so, did, so did you get the part that Christopher Lee didn't play Gandalf because he was old and, a, and like played a bazillion villains in his earlier career? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm just wondering, like, how did Chris <clears throat> Lee feel about that? I don't know. Um, the story has gone around a lot, but bears repeating because it's incredible. During his death scene in Return of the King, oh, in the yes. included in the extended edition to Lee's disapproval, director Peter Jackson was describing to him what sound people getting stabbed in the back stabbed in the back make. He gravely responded that he had seen people being stabbed in the back and knew exactly what sound they made. <laughs> yeah. Lee was quite interested in the history of public executions and reportedly knew the names of every public executioner employed by England, dating all the way back to the mid 15th century. Bruh. That is that the is most. So... In... That is an intense hyperfixation, if I have ever heard one. I mean, it's it's almost. I would say it's almost like it's it's on par with people that are like that hyperfixate on like Henry the Eighth's wives and like their unfortunate ends. Well, I mean there's gonna be way more though. That's fair. <laughs> plus you're plus you're thinking about uh people who killed people for a living. I mean, there are a lot of people who hyperfixate on like Anne Boleyn specifically. Um, yeah. and know every location of the, like, H and A intertwined from when Henry and Anne were married that wasn't removed because the, the people of Britain loved her so much. Damn. Huh. Um, like, there, there are, like, there are wooden carvings, like, intricate wooden, uh, detail put in, like, the crown molding and the... Like the the baseboarding in like the palaces, um, that have like their intertwined, um, like coat of arms, um, that was ordered to be removed, but they didn't remove it because the people loved her so dearly. Uh. And there are people that know every location, and there's like I don't know, like a hundred of them or something out of the, the thousands, if not millions, that there were before she died. Hmm. 
I hate that. It, you know, it's ironic. I commonly complain about, like, how, like, um, segmented everything is. But now that I'm mm. cleaning, like, a giant bottom of a ceiling that isn't segmented by every single tile, I'm getting frustrated. Because <laughs> I, I don't know, like, is this tile, have I cleaned this tile well enough to get everything out? Do I move on? That's fair. Number 19. We were on 19 out of 22, folks. Nice. He, is, he has always been a big metal fan. But he released his first full heavy metal album in 2010 at the age of 88. Titled Charlemagne by the Sword and the Cross, which won the Spirit of Metal Award from the 2010 Metal Hammer Golden God Ceremony. He made a metal Christmas album in 2012, and he was the oldest metal performer and the oldest musician to ever hit the Billboard music chart. How oh, have I never heard that fucking Saruman the White was into metal and made metal <laughs> albums towards the end of his life? I wonder if he's still the oldest metal performer. And music, like oldest musician overall to ever had Billboard music charts. I wonder if he's, if the, like he's still holding that title. That was this, an this awesome is almost a decade ago. Yeah, true. Hold on. Right, let me just. Finally! It's fucking almost 2 a.m. Almost 4 a.m. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. This game really does have a strange addictive quality to it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Like, why, why the fuck would this monotonous-ass job translate into such an enjoyable game? So... Um, unfortunately, he is, he is no longer the oldest person to ever be on the, the Billboard charts. Uh, that now goes to Ariana Grande's 98-year-old grandmother. Because she is credited on... Uh, ordinary things from Ariana's new eternal album, Eternal Sunshine, as of March 18th, 2024. Okay. I can accept that. Hey, at least this place isn't as bad as Santa's workshop. Um... Yeah. I think a part of what made Santa's Workshop so bad for me is just the fact that my first experience with this game was fucking Santa's Workshop. Yeah, I, I literally thought I was gonna lose you. <laughs> yeah, for reference, Legendary Champ, um, when we did Santa's Workshop for the first time, like... Oh, how, how long ago was that? That was like a few months ago. Uh, yeah. I dead ass like became delirious out of frustration. I was just laughing the entire time, and I felt like such an ass afterwards. I mean, it's kind of funny in hindsight. Yeah. I don't blame you. Um, but I would I, say. I imagine I can end up sounding pretty funny when I get overstimmed. Yeah. That's fair. Um, okay. So, a couple of things. Now. Well, never mind. I won't give you the, the interesting information. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, so, the, we are, we are, um, throwing 
Ariana Grande's grandmother to the side real quick. Um, the well, that's kind of rude. She is currently, <laughs> unfortunately, she is currently irrelevant to my my uh. <laughs> <New Indian population>. <laughs> <laughs> Random currently irrelevant. Um, so the oldest solo artist to hit number one on the Billboard charts is Brenda Lee. Um, huh. hey, she bro. uh. Sorry, real quick. Bright, can you come over here for a moment? Hi. I want you to look at this uh, look at this armor and press the look for dirt button. You notice something? Ah. <laughs> you did not properly clean the armor, Bright. <laughs> I'm docking your pay. Um so hey, sound like my Lee. company. Um, at, what, 78, became the oldest person to hit number one on the Billboard charts, with a song that was 65 years old. Yeah. She recorded Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree when she was 13. Damn. Aw. Oh. Yeah, and anyway. prior, oh. um, it looks like the highest that song has ever gotten was in 2019 and 2022, where it hit number two. And it didn't even hit the Hot 100 until 1960, when it peaked at number 14. Hmm. She, uh, the, she overcame, uh, Louis Armstrong, who uh, previously held the record at 62 years old when Hello Dolly peaked in 1964. Hmm. Uh, but uh, Chris Lee still holds, uh, you know, besides Nona, I believe he uh, holds true with that 88 year old man, Happy Metal Music. Yeah. And I will I will be checking that music out later. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that that <laughs> actually sounds interesting. I feel like uh, I have a friend IRL, it's called Bernie, that is like a massive m m music junkie, so I'm kind of interested to see if uh, they already knew that and whether or not they'd actually like Old Man Saruman's <laughs> music. Um, number 20 on our on our Christopher Lee box. In addition to his impossibly prolific film career, Lee was a world champion fencer. Oh yeah, I knew that. An opera one. singer. Like, opera singer? Six languages. And was a hell of a golfer. Damn. Jesus Christ. Uh, he was made a Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in 2019. Or in 20... 2009. Sorry. I was about to say, it, he had that posthumously? Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> a Commander of the Venerable Order of St. John in 97 was made commander of the order of arts and letters by the French government in 2011 earned a British earned the British Academy of Film and Television Arts Fellowship Award in 2011 and received the Bram Stoker Award for a Lifetime Achievement in 94 and many more awards. Damn. And last but not least, despite everything you've heard about the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, 
Christopher Lee was recognized as being the most connected actor in in the world in 2008 again by Guinness. He connects to virtually any actor in 2.59 steps feeding bacon. Ah, finally. Mm. Oh, we just got the ceiling now? Yeah, looks like it. But yeah. There are 22 impossible Christopher Lee facts. So impossible that they were very easily described. That man was... He did everything in his lifetime. Man, you wanna, like, actually tell us what that source was? Uh, that was... Uh, da -da -da -da. If I can find that. <laughs> yeah, after having watched some stuff about plagiarism, it's probably a very good idea to mention who the author of that art article was. Now, the article was written by Rob Brickin for the Gizmodo site, uh, and ju on June it was published on June twelfth, twenty fifteen. Thank you. That's just twenty two insane facts about this man. But I think technically that wouldn't end up being plagiarism, but still probably best to cover bases. Yeah, that's fair. I'm still sitting at three viewers. Kind of surprising. But. Pain. Nice. Don't think there's Bookworm still here? Because this is way past when Bookworm would normally go. Oh, hey, Apollo. <laughs> How'd you get into my chat? Bookworm. Bookworm died. No, Bookworm died. Which means we no longer have a billionaire. Uh, d did you not hear what we just said? No. Bookworm just typed in my chat. Oh, Bookworm said, yep, and dead. Yeah, we now have Bookworm 2 as a billionaire. Yeah, this is Bookworm Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> now you have the undead billionaire, says Bookworm. And then obviously we've got new follower, Legendary. Did I say? I just realized I was calling you Legendary Champ early. I am. My brain. I have not been reading well today. <laughs> no, you have not. Um, okay. <clears throat> Back to Pinterest Tumblr posts. Which are just Tumblr posts that have been reposted on Pinterest. Kind of funny when English teachers say stuff like. I can tell if you didn't read the book, or I can tell when people BS their paper. No, you can't. You can tell when people are bad at being BS in their paper. I didn't even read the spark notes, and I barely skimmed the Wikipedia, and you gave me an A. You kneel uh, before my throne, unaware that it was part of lies. Which you would have the thought. Wait. Which she would have thought the billionaire part would have made me undead already, but my ass not. So I am double undead. Nice. You know, I just realized <laughs> my beats were model artists. I'm gonna have to explain them exactly what the story is. <laughs> we're gonna understand the transformation thing. You have fun with that. Oh, Hatchet knows I would describe a lot of shit about the story. Um, one time this girl really hated me and wanted to ruin my reputation or something. 
So one day I was talking to a boy and she came up and really obnoxiously said, you know she has a crush on you, right? He was like, man, I hope so or else this is going to be really awkward. She fucking told my boyfriend I liked him. Oh yeah, I saw that statement before. Hey, Hatchet, I want you to come yeah. stand underneath me and hit the key so you can see the dirt. Look up. Damn it, <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Why did I expect anything else? <laughs> but yeah, my main goal is for the next few streams to hopefully keep at the very least three or more viewers consistently so that I can finally get over that three viewer average thing to get onto affiliate and then I actually have a source of income. Nice. Nice. For the first time in my life. I'm 90% Out outside of certain. mowing. That's yeah. fair. I'm 90% certain I'm gonna get a waitress job at this little joint in town that's only open for like 20 hours a week. Oh yeah, by the way, like, the earn- I'm... Oh, sorry. Oh, you can go ahead. I was gonna say, earn, uh, in order to get receive the money on Twitch, you have to at least make $50. Yeah, I get- I know. You've mentioned that before. Yeah, I wasn't sh So sure. it's just gonna- it's, it's just gonna sit there until I've made at least $50. Yeah, so that's you know, how it works. You know how you're gonna do that? I'm gonna get this waitressing job, and I'm going. And, and once you get affiliate, I'm going to gift and subscribe. Well, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, do. do... Mm -hmm. do subs count into that, or is that just AdSense? Do subs count into like the fifty dollars thing, or is it just AdSense that does that? They. I mean, it, it, it's AdSense do. and gifted subs. Uh, donations are its own thing. Okay. Yeah. Because you have to use so, a third party site for donations, so. Yeah, and, and it'd be, yeah, like it'd be subs, bits, any ad revenue. Yeah, so yeah. literally just any revenue. Yeah. You, you have to wait until you get at least 50 bucks to cash out. I gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. your first $50 um, will hopefully be just 10 gifted subs. <laughs> That would be greatly appreciated, but you don't have to. It's chill. I got it. Okay. I just gotta get this way to speak down. Yeah, you also... Which eventually I will do. You also get the ability to control how long you want their ads to be, and when they appear. I assume okay. to a certain degree, because it feels like you never know when your ads are gonna appear. <laughs> but, well, well you I said it, it until on you got intervals. Hold on. I can look. Real quick. I mean, you you don't need to worry about it. I'm, I was, I was just fucking yanking your chain. Yeah. I know some like bigger streamers um, have a like a like points reward um, for for like ad redemptions. Yeah. Okay. Ad length and frequency: one point five minute ad break every sixteen minutes. And I can. And your schedule and minutes per hour, I can change it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Okay, this is kind of funny. Steampunk gender swap Joker in a Willy Wonka. Congratulations, you've made trying too hard into an art form. Oh my god, if you're going to judge somebody's cosplay, you better learn your fucking shit. Because this is Dula Dent, goddamn assholes. Perpetually laughing over the fact that real gamer comic book nerd males keep insulting women for cosplaying things they've never even heard of. Who's the fake geek now, fuckers? <laughs> and it's, ac it's actually like a really good cosplay of this comic book character. But just because these motherfuckers didn't know who she was, they just assumed it was a joke cosplay. Like, not everything's about the fucking clown, assholes. I actually don't know who Dula Dent is. 
but she looks fucking cool. It sounds like her. Sounds kind of familiar. Who? Yeah. Find out. Character called Dula Dunk. I probably don't know them. Yeah. I am so glad there's a button to just automatically spray, because otherwise my finger would have broken off by now. I've just been holding this on uh, the manual spray button the entire time. How, okay. how, how are you still managing that? You're gonna have carpal tunnel when you're like fucking 25. That's because the, the hand I'm using it is my archery, uh, where, where I usually pull the bow in the archery. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm, okay. I'm very well used to. That makes a bit more sense. <laughs> okay. So, Dula Dent's background. Dula Dent is an enemy turned former member of both the Teen Titans and Titans. Introduced under the alias of Joker's Daughter, she has also used the alias of Catgirl. Scarecrone, with Riddler's daughter, Penguin's daughter, Cardine, and Harlequin. Since the new 52 reboot, she was reimagined re as a member of Batman's Rogue Gallery. <laughs> Duel of Dead first appeared as Joker's daughter in the Batman Family series of comics. She gained the attention of Robin, as she later claimed to be the daughter of Catwoman, Scarecrow, the Riddler, and Zinka. She reduced Robin's she deduced Robin's identity and re he revealed that she was Dula Dent, Two Faces daughter. Dula claims she wants she wants to join the Teen Titans to atone for her father's crimes. Not everyone was in favor of this idea. In Teen Titans number forty eight, she changed her identity to Harlequin. As Harlequin, Dula utilized gimmicks such as smoke inducing powder puffs and bullet firing looks. After the Teen Titans comic books were cancelled, she popped up in the Batman titles calling herself Card Queen while infiltrating a criminal organization called Maze. Lula's last pre-crisis appearance is in the Tales of the Teen Titans number 50 as a, as a guest as Donna Troy's, at Donna Troy's wedding where she appears to be a middle-aged matron. Dick Grayson notes that he finally realized she was too old to be Lula to be Two Faces' daughter, which she agrees with, but disappears before he can take the matter further. Such crisis. Delusional and schizophrenic, the mysterious Harlequin has been in and out of mental institutions for several years. An acrobat who possesses numerous unlisted um, gadgets, she calls herself Lula Dent, while her true identity remains unknown. Her first significant post crisis appearance is in the Teen, teen Titans comic book as a patient in a mental hospital. The writers of the title originally planned to reveal that Harlequin was a time-traveling member of the Teen Titans driven insane by her warping experience. However, due to the cancellation of the series, plans for her return were aborted. The final issue of the Teen Titans solicited a non-existent story for Teen Titans 25 and provided a commentary on the title's cancellation. In the solicitation, Gula steals a reality altering device and shifts New York City into the late 1970s. Ultimately, it was revealed that Gula is the daughter of the jokester Earth Marie and Three Face Evelyn, Evelyn Dench, who is the jokester's heroic counterpart and arch enemy of Hollow Man, Thomas Wayne Jr. This means she is Joker's daughter, just not the mainstream. She is also the stepdaughter of Earth 3 Riddler. It is unknown, however, how and when she came into the main continuity of Teen Titans. Not gonna, <laughs> Not gonna lie, listening to all this, I feel like I'm having a goddamn stroke. <laughs> Welcome to Superhero Comics. She, oh, actually, no. Sorry, sorry. Welcome she, to DC. <laughs> yeah. She's the daughter. She's the daughter of apparently every well-known villain in Gotham at this point, while also so, being. Okay. Like somehow related to every villain in Gotham. Does that mean that all of Batman's like Rose Gallery 
like most well-known villains are just a fucking crime family? Are they the fucking mafia of Gotham? What the fuck? So that could be argued. Yeah. Um, however, originally she was just using, she, she was calling herself the daughter of all of these uh, villains right. to right. confuse yeah. the Robins. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, kind of. Um, however, I vote that we um, we we just shun the Joker. We don't like him. <laughs> in a in a romantic sense, we despise the Joker. He is a shit partner. We don't like him. He is not appreciated, and Harley and Ivy would probably. Kill him. Not a problem, but she would. Almost done. This is the last section, right? Um, we get to end stream. We're coming. Yeah. Yes! Yeah! Yes! And like, we uh, just that, run everywhere. Yeah. That happened. Um, but it, it looks like... Rita. <laughs> yes, but no. Oh, and that actually is the last level. <laughs> Oh, that's the last level? Okay, that's extra perfect. Also, I got the lore on the door, or on the, the sound from the button. It's a, it's, it's an easter egg towards the Tomb Raider 3 game. Where they introduced oh, okay. this room, and it is in fact the sound of the door opening. Oh, it's just oh, the sound, okay. though. There's no actual, like, you know. Okay. Hey, Hatchet, I just realized something. What? That with the money I got back from Toytopia, I can either get back to the future or Warhammer for Power Wash Simulator. I'd say that I'd be more interested in Back to the Future, but right. that would be a you thing. I, I, I was mean, just asking which one you wanted mind. to do. You just answered my question for me. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> the problem is I, I, I need money to do that. Oh fuck! Nice. That's right. God damn it. Yeah, and I, I, I spent like about half of my total budget on my up and coming right. VTuber or PNG tuber art. I fucking forgot. I wish it was just only one person. Yeah. Let me see if there's anyone I want to raid. Do not mean to do that. Fuck. Oh well. It'll work. Oh, oh well, there's you. <laughs> well, I'm I'm ending stream. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a trial stream, seeing if I can play Minecraft if the internet will work. Yeah, nothing I would, no one I would want to raid right now is on. Wait, I don't. I'm not going to San Diego. Fuck off, Twitch. I'm in San Diego. So I guess, Bookworm, if you're still here, do your final words. Uh, I gotta look at my achievements list. That's the thing, yeah. like, I hit 50 followers, like, a couple, or, like, yesterday, or the day before that. And yeah. I'm only in Hatchet's chat now because I'm on my phone now, says Book. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but I hit 50 followers, like, a day ago. But my fucking Twitch, uh, achievements were still saying that, um, I had 49 followers. Even though I very click clearly had 50. It's iffy like that. Yeah. But I should, come to think of it, I should also now have the ability to oh it's it's still not it's still not it's still saying i have 49 followers come on twitch hatchet what? sometimes it took me a week and a half it took me a week and a half for it realized hey you had everything right <laughs> That's I, 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 yeah. want, I want i want to i like I just, it literally just needs to recognize my follower count, and I'll be able to make VIPs. Ooh. I'll Ooh. immediately give Book VIP. 
So, uh, book says, so, uh, book says in my chat, so only last words would be good night, and you shall never be free from power watching hell. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, I just realized we've been doing this for eight hours. Yeah, jeez. Long stream. I... I should probably get on the stream grind. Honestly, this is actually how long I want my streams to be. Like, when I'm not working. Valid. That's fair. So I guess, what time are we meeting tomorrow night for Phasma, if that works out? Yeah. I sh I have no idea what time I'll be home. I should be home before 6 p.m. I would ESD? think. ESD? Yeah, what, uh, what? Central Standard. I Central don't... Standard, so that's... I'm one hour behind you, right? Yeah, and one hour yeah. ahead of me. So, like, seven my time. And... Five. Four my time. Five yours. Or si five. Wow, my brain... <laughs> I'm going to hit the go live button for the first time in two years, just to see if my internet can handle it. Okay. Um, Alright. So, y'all have fun. Right. Yeah. I have no idea if anybody's going to join. Uh, uh what's- because... what was- uh, what was your Twitch na wait, what- what am I saying? I can literally just copy your name in my chat. <laughs> Okay, but yeah. Um, everyone, on my end, uh, thank you very much for uh, hanging out tonight. I guess we're going to be streaming at some time between uh, 6 and 8 Mountain Standard Time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Some in there. I'll try That's my hardest, my guys. I mean, I guess a backup could work if, like, Apollo can't do it. We just do Minecraft. Yeah, I mean, we can play more of this if you wanna. It just, I'm just like concerned that if we like do it for fucking five, five conception, conception, five days in a row, it's going to literally destroy my brain. That's fair. But anyway, everyone on my end. Thank you very much for hanging out. Thanks to all of the new followers. I think I had like, I want to say like right before stream and into stream, I had like five new followers show. So y'all are very much appreciated. Okay. And I'm, otherwise. Actually, I'm okay. fairly certain you follow me on Twitch. Do I? I think, I think I saw you on my followers. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But either way, thank you everyone for coming out. Very much appreciated, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. The button has been hit. All right, button has been hit on my end. Hey, do you want to do any last words, Hatchet? Uh, my last words are. Uh, a skibbity Ohio. Uh, bright as a toilet, and a furry. Chickens are made out of beans. So brights made out of bird bean being birds of the beans, Brad. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for your uh, next mission and uh, penis and ball cock cactus torture. You worry me sometimes. Oh damn, would you look at that? That that there's some Minecraft right there. Alright, I'm leaving chat.